Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. Let's start the stream. There we go, chat. Happy Monday, dear. There we go. My take from the recap of Kyle's playthrough so far, Gordius has creepy looking hair that looks like Lord Farquaad from Shrek. That's your take? Insufficient take. I find your take insufficient. Surface level. Too broad. I feel like I'm watching ESPN right now. NBA kickoff on ESPN. Uh, can we get a final reminder of the Demon Sigil Kickstarter, which is ending soon? Hell yeah. All right. Firstly, congrats on smashing that goal. There we go. 42 hours to go. Mac now supported. Funded in 30 hours. This is cool shit. Let me play that. Is it the same trailer from before? I think so. Oh, okay, cool, cool. So you can basically, you can change your, your thumbnail to update it. Chad, this is a game that originally was it's like an evolution of a game jam game. The card game itself was for like from the game jam, but all of these systems and all of this have expanded beyond it. So cool to see. Uh, a Christ next to being a 30 monther. Can I get no no for having my first migraine in like 10 years? Still had to drop by for Happy Monday to you though. <laughs> that helps with migraine. Yeah, here's the oh no. Wait, hold up. How did that treasure appear? What was happening there? Cursed treasure. As you investigate the shipwreck, a skeleton appears before you. You're looking for treasure. Pay me and I'll give you the map to our cursed treasure. Maybe it will do you more good than it did us. Cool. Special charm. Use charm to get the map for free. And then, so if you pay for the map, then you can go to that. That's, that's cool shit. I don't think that kind of element was there. We played the demo. We also played the demo for this game. Uh, for the, like, the late December stream. The playing chats games uh, stream last year. That's cool. Uh, can I get an oh yeah for beating Baltius in Armored Core? Took what felt like three hours. I don't remember which one Baltius is, but absolutely. Oh, yeah. My respect to people who handle this shit regularly. Oh, we're talking about migraines? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. If I had regular migraines, I wouldn't be a streamer, dude. I just, I can't, actually, like, can't process. I can't think through anything when I've got a migraine. The first boss, the one you punched to death. Now, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget that if you run out of weapons in your hands, you can just start punching. <laughs> if you run out of ammo, you can actually just start punching. Um, so hopefully that will help. Yeah, if you need any help with Armored Core 6, just go and watch my playthrough of it. Generally, you'll get a lot of uh, really key strats. Second world map, thanks for being a 37 monther. Are Chocobos or Moogles more iconic for the Final Fantasy series? You know the answer to that. Wasn't worth asking. It is absolutely Chocobo. Any takes on the Yuzu stuff? No. Uh, generally, no. Uh, from what I understand, there's a Switch emulator that's got a Patreon attached to it. And... 
that put themselves in a position to make money, but also a risky position legally. And Nintendo noticed, and apparently there's been some settlement, right? It's like $2.5 million settlement where they're like, okay, 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 we'll stop. We'll stop. We'll stop. We're sorry. We'll stop. And I was honestly, when I saw that number, I thought about like how that would just ruin my life. You know what I mean? I thought of like, if I'm just me, uh, with my Patreon, with my YouTube, right? Uh, with my Twitch, and suddenly I owed somebody two and a half million dollars. <laughs> my life would be over. That'd be it, man. I'd spend the rest of my life just working to pay Nintendo two and a half million dollars. Suicide Squad Joker, March 28th. They, ha they ran that ad on the front page of my PlayStation today. You think I don't know? <laughs> now, here's the thing. Uh, that's good. What, what that means is that is the day I have to be done with Final Fantasy VII by. If I just, uh, if I just lock that in, then when March 28th comes, and here's the thing, I don't think we'll even stream it. If you're, chat, if you're interested, maybe we stream it. Honestly, I think future Suicide Squad playthroughs will be solo. Would I still play Nintendo games if they sued me? Yeah, absolutely. No question. We have to see the Joker. I'd like to see how bad the Joker is. All right. Yeah, maybe we stream it then. <laughs> when is it? What is the 28th? The 28th is a Thursday. So it'd be like maybe on a Saturday, maybe the 30th of uh, March. We do some Suicide Squad Joker because I bet I bet it's like two hours. No, I didn't see any of the mini Fortnite event stuff. I know hands were rising out of the ground and stuff like that, but I didn't see any of it. Bad weekend, bad weekend to try to get me to pay attention to anything other than FF7. Actually, so I beat Infinite Wealth last night. Played into the wee hours. Um, and I felt so bad because, like, Rebirth just robbed my enthusiasm. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's the... Uh, the meme where that boyfriend is holding hands with his girlfriend, but like turning around and saying, whoa, look at this chick. Uh, I was spending my time with infinite wealth, but my heart wasn't there. <laughs> but the good news is I'm done. I'm done. All side quests complete. I'm never going to get the platinum. You got to do a new game plus to get platinum. So it's never happening. I'm never, I'm never going all the way with that game, but, uh, I'm, I'm happy with my completion percentage of it. You know, Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out this month. You're not even playing Rebirth. Yeah, I mean, I don't think... Honestly, I think we're not even going to stream Dragon's Dogma 2. It's a really it's a really interesting Friday. I wonder what we're going to do with that Friday. Rise of the Ronin's coming out the same Friday, but also uh, Peaches. And really, what I have on the schedule right now, I'll just tell you, instead of variety stuff, instead of doing Peach on Friday and then something else on Saturday, I got Peach booked for Friday and Saturday. I say, let's just beat that game in a weekend. Unicorn is next week. And I think Unicorn's getting bumped. My God, thanks for being a 10-monther. Yeah, Tomb Raider remaster slipped through the cracks. We got a lot of slips already. I think I, think I got like three or four slips off the docket. And it's only the beginning of March. <laughs> DRD, thanks for being a 45-monther. Unicorn is Friday, yeah. So uh, Friday and Saturday are booked today. Uh, this week, I mean. So Friday is going to be Euphoria 2 for five hours. Nice little, nice little dabble into that game. And then at 9 p.m. Eastern time, the witching hour. We'll be switching to Outlast Trials, the multiplayer horror game. 
Michael Huber is going to show up on Discord. We're going to co-op that game. And, uh... I don't know how that's going to go. That's, it's, I, think, I think, like, multiplayer horror implies none of it's actually that scary. But we'll see. And then, uh... Saturday is another really big day. That starts at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That will be the Mahjong stream with my mom. That, that you hit from a stretch goal for the Trevor Project charity stream we did not too long ago. Um, my mom's only committed to four hours, so we'll find, we'll find some other, perhaps, stream to cover the last two hours of that, but know that. We're getting four hours of Mahjong with my mom. It will be educational. And, uh, the plan is more FF7? No, because I'll be too far ahead. I'll be playing FF7 this week. So I don't, I don't think we'll be playing any more FF7. What I have committed to doing is like, um, a recap kind of spoiler thing where once we hit midnight on a Saturday, I'll show you clips and screenshots and stuff. Does my mom know the meta? I'm going to say there are really good Mahjong players out there. She showed me the website she goes to and how they set up lobbies and stuff. And you have points, basically, um, as opposed to like levels. You know what I mean? And there's no skill based matchmaking. You just go to a table where the people have a number close to yours. And I got to say, her number is not that impressive when looking at the other numbers out there. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like she is, while she loves Mahjong and has had played hours and hours, I think she's like mid-tier. She does not have a crazy auto-sorting table, no. She's got some nice tiles, though. And you're talking real life? She's got some nice tiles. All right, drop Peach in the calendar. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, the Saturday right now is tentative, but I, that's what I'm thinking. I think I'd rather play two days of Peach than Peach and the beginning of a AAA RPG. You know what I mean? I am Becky. Thanks for being a three-monther. Appreciate that. Does Mahjong have shinies, unfortunately? No. Uh, I see that I missed two resubs at the beginning of the stream. Yearly, weekly, Dan, thanks for being a 22-monther and never too old. Thanks for being a 24-monther. Congrats on two years. It's the Gordius. Chad, I haven't laughed at a meme in maybe years. Uh, but what is that it's the unknown fucking killed me. It actually, like, it was actually like, oh my god, this is an actual funny thing on the internet. It's been years. I, I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, this feeling. Laughter. <laughs> I was, it was so strange. It was so strange to, like, watch a video on the internet and laugh at it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Here comes a feeling you thought you'd forgotten. Yeah. 100%. I think, I, yeah, I honestly, so I saw unknown art. Okay, chat, let's all catch up. Let's all catch up on the unknown. So there was this weird thing in Scotland where it was like, bring your children to this event. It's going to be like a Willy Wonka themed uh, world that you can walk through. And the promotional image was created in AI. It showed like this really cool tunnel with like lollipops and, and fantastical colors. So these people are coming in expecting like Disneyland level touring through a Willy Wonka chocolate factory, right? Um, they show up and it's like a ne nearly half empty warehouse that's sparse. The there's, the there's like a chocolate bar here and like a rainbow gateway here and like 
a little table of science experiments here. You know what I mean? It was it was really messed up. Um, and so like the kids were unhappy and the police were called because it was such a disaster of an event. Now that's already like that's level one, right? That's like it's really fun to look at those photos. The idea of children expecting to go to Willy Wonka's chocolate factory and being so disappointed with this cold reality. That's already funny, right? But I think that's when people started digging in and uh, finding more clips, right? Like the sad looking Oompa Loompa scientist. Um, but there's this crazy clip of, I presume Willy Wonka walking up to this mirror, right? And he says, uh, what is that? And then from behind the mirror is this tall, mysterious figure wearing like a silver mask and like bushy black hair and a big black cloak. So just like, just like this, just like. And sorry, the full line is, what is that? It's the unknown. And the kids just scream, no. <laughs> Is this the clip? You got the clip chat? Yeah, this is, this might be better than me explaining it. This doesn't seem like the clip, but we'll take it. What is that? It's the end of... <laughs> what is that? It's the end of... <laughs> What is that? It's the end of <laughs> But But I think like what's so cool is like what I had seen before anything is like fan art of the unknown, you know what I mean? And it's like, hold on, what is this connected to the weird Willy Wonka experience? And it was and then on top of that, yeah, apparently, like, for whatever demonstration is happening here before these children, they just asked chat GPT to, like, give me Willy Wonka lore. Gener please generate Willy Wonka lore for me. Give me a story. And the unknown is part of it. But I don't think, like, the unknown hiding behind a mirror is part of what the AI generated. But, like, like, this is so, like, it's such... Bizarre, true, real shit. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Her only direction was be creepy. She crushed it. She nailed it. An evil chocolatier who lives in the walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The unknown is an evil chocolatier who lives in the walls. The company apparently does everything by AI. But like, so the true beauty of this shit is... Like, it's like th having the worst possible director give you this material and you just have to run with it. You have to use it. God. So, I mean, like, the humanity is what's funny, right? The AI didn't write. It's the end of. <laughs> and the delivery, too. It's the unknown. Oh, my God. Did I see the apology from the creator where they said their event fell short because they didn't get holographic paper in time? No, but like, that's like, hey, if you created this event, that's the proper line. I would do the exact same. I wouldn't apologize for shit other than, I'm um, sorry, we, I, like if the holographic paper was there, you would have understood. God, that's wild. The gang started Chocolate Factory. It's so, fu so funny to me. All right, so anyway. When someone said, it's the Gordius, I assume that was the reference there. Is the unknown now allowed in art shows? Yeah, I love unknown art. I fucking love it. There's some inspired shit out there. The script had Willy Wonka suck up the unknown via vacuum that they didn't have. 
Oh, so is there like is there like a walkthrough? Is there an actual like video of them performing the script? Is the Pokemon unknown allowed to cross over with the unknown in the art pieces? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've streamed plenty of games that have a uh, Pokemon unknown. That would be allowed, yeah. The unknown is just a nod to the Lola Bunny trope from Crazy Castle. <laughs> It's an evolution of the trope. I agree, yeah. All right. Uh, let me grab my coffee. Before we get into that, let's at least pull up the events. What's happening on the, uh, the old Discord this week? Uh, exclamation point Discord, if you're interested in checking out the Robot Party Discord. Um, Here's what's happening. Monday's today. Tuesday, nothing. Wednesday, music club. 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Going it alone. Bring a song by a successful solo artist who was previously part of a well-known band or group. For instance, Carolyn Polacek from Chairlift or Phil Collins from Genesis. What an interesting couple of picks. All right. So yeah, the way music club works, everybody brings their own tracks. It's kind of like, it's like a uh, book club, but everybody brings their own, right? Music club. Uh, bring a song by a successful solo artist who was previously part of a well-known band or group. Now, uh, Rivers Cuomo has an album that's not quite a solo album, but kind of is. Does it have to be a solo act? Or could it be, you know, like, like, uh, like Karen O's got some music, right? I feel, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, it doesn't have to be like, I feel like just like if somebody produced a song, I feel like that should count. Yeah. Bring a song by a successful solo artist. That's what I'm caught up on, is successful solo artist. You know what I mean? They gotta be successful? I saw Andre 3000 do his flute music last week. It was transcendent. Good example. Hell yeah. Peanut B. Wolf, that's awesome. Dave Rabbit, thanks for being a 20-monther. Meaning a whole career on their own. I feel like that's so limiting. What has Phil, what has Phil Collins done? A couple of fucking gorilla movies? That's a whole career? <laughs> um, Roaming, thanks for being a 30 month there. Hey Kyle, I was inspired by your pack openings and Bellatro to make this holographic shader. Let me look at that. Xbox partner showcase on Wednesday as well. Not that many care. It does seem low key. Like I'm, I'm already thinking like, uh, will that work for delayed input this week? Not sure it will. Let me uh, chat. Check this out. Nobody ever shows me shaders. Chat made that. Who made that? That was roaming. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, even on the Discord, I don't think we're doing a watch along of that. Uh, sorry, going back to the Xbox event. I, I, don't, I don't think it's an event enough event. You know what I mean? I think, I, think, I think the point is to be kind of low key. I don't think they're going to make any announcements. I think it's mostly just going to be, here's some trailers from previously announced games, which is cool. I like that they do stuff like that, to be clear. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it's an event necessarily. Apparently a horror movie based on the unknown is already in the works. That's a mistake. Uh, it should be like a tragic, anti-romantic comedy. Um, Thursday, Digimon Club, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Here you see Mucho Mon sleeping on its iconic pink bed. <laughs> I like that. 
Uh, Friday, Saturday, we are streaming, of course, and then Sunday, no events. Uh, let me grab my coffee. Uh, exclamation point Discord once again, if you're interested in uh, joining the Discord. I'll be right back. Chabello, thanks for gifting that gift sub. The Unknown, a Wes Anderson film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horror movies the wrong direction. We also have a new Fighting Game Club channel up on the Discord. You're working on getting that to become a regular event. Check out the channel for more info. Cool. So quite recently, uh, there was an event for Tekken 8. I think that's sweet. I, uh, God, I, I was so bummed I didn't play more Tekken 8. I can feel it slipping. My plan is to play more. I want to play through that whole arcade story, right? Um, it's definitely not happening before Final Fantasy VII is done. And it's like, when am I, when am I going to fucking... I want, to, I want to give that game as so much as it's given to me, you know? Can I get an oh no? I've been in bed for two days because of bad back? Yeah. No, oh, no! That sucks. Can I get an oh yeah for hitting 10 years at my employer today? Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, career shit is always two oh yas. Oh yeah. All right. The art show has begun. Uh, Learned Fingers here with a Barrett. Charismatic Barrett. You know what I mean? I don't think there's enough art where Barrett's smiling. I think it's because of his key art from FF7, but uh, the guy smiles. Alexander Arts here has uh, illustrated Gordius and... No, I know her name. Minthara. Gordius and Minthara uh, as Cloud and Tifa. I almost forgot. It did. I had to. I had to pull that one out of the cubby. But I won't. Obviously, we're gonna boot up uh, Baldur's Gate three today. <laughs> As an enjoy your dreams, any thoughts on the fact that Media Molecule almost got shut down, but they chose London Studio instead? All right. So I think that. I mean, in the middle of the art show, must we? Uh, I think that. Um, when it was announced that Sony would be closing a, a studio, or maybe it wasn't announced, but hinted, uh, leaked, it was part of that fucking Insomniac leak. Uh, honestly, Media Molecule was one of the ones I was scared of. Uh, but, um, I mean, I'm an enjoyer of dreams, but also, like, Sony's got to make some money, right? So, like, that's why I was scared it would be them. I'm really happy that Sony's like, Media Molecule, we know you'll make us money at some point. We know it. We know it. We know it. Stick around. Stick with us. This I love a lot. I was going to present this like a comic, right? I was going to presume, I was going to do it like, do, do, do. But honestly, I think it just works as a complete piece. Now, it does require, I mean, it does require shit. All right, well, here's what you need to know. There, there is a card game in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's all you really need to know. Like, the particulars of that beast, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about the particulars. <laughs> And actually, yeah, that's the thing. It's actually, I mean, the, the 100 is a joke, right? But it's actually like, that's actually a good card. You would love a card like that. And shit, it kind of makes sense based off of the shape of that beast, too. <laughs> of 
Queen's Blood is the name of the card game. Here's another thing about it. Cloud, I've seen you've won a game of Queen's Blood. Well done. Hell yeah. Uh, EGP Noodles. Thank you for this piece. Corsa uh, defeating Crying Ned. I, uh, I love, um, Queen's Blood. FF7 has a card game, and I actually also really like it a lot. Uh, I think it's got a bit of, like, the FF9 thing, where, I mean, this is probably most RPGs that have a card game, right? Your beginning cards will be most likely irrelevant by the end. Uh, we're already starting to see that kind of early, but, like, yeah, it's, like, I think that's kind of how it has to go. Um, whereas in the real world, if you have enough money, you can just buy the best cards. Did Square Enix figure out how to win Kyle over game by game? And not just me. Believe me, they know what they're doing. They, they, put, they spent a lot of time on Queen's Blood, and it wasn't just to make the game slightly better. It was to get susceptible people to love the game more. This piece I love the shit out of. Uh, Enigma is the character you unlock in Jet Moto 2 if you do everything or just punch in a cheat code. <laughs> it's the Enigma! <laughs> What is that? <laughs> it's the enigma. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I, what I really like about enigma is it's apparently like lore. You know what I mean? It's not just like a, a cheap secret character. Like maybe like, you know, like a Tony Hawk thing where it's like, oh, yeah, this is not part of this world. Don't worry about this. Enigma is Jet Moto lore. Esther Devil is the artist you find in the upper right hand corner. That's good shit. So refreshing how weird and full of little mini games Rebirth is while still being a massive big budge game. Yeah. True enough. Chaco, I like this piece. This is nice. Uh, this is Snake Rattle and Roll. We played a bunch of the rare games that they put on the uh, Nintendo Switch Online service last week, I guess. Um, it's kind of cool. I like the depth that you put in there. Which I assume is just the same repeated stacks, but just darker? But with like the same highlights. Yeah, that's nice. Pig of the Apocalypse, 2024, Artist Unknown. Now, this is actually a demonstration of great restraint. This will be our only depiction of the Pig of the Apocalypse. <laughs> I don't understand Grimace is coming. Oh, yeah, I do remember Grimace is coming. That's the sign that uh, McDonald's had. They straight up had a sign that said Grimace is coming. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's a nice piece. Taco Boy, thanks for being a 39-monther. <laughs> and I said, what does that mean? What do you mean the Grimace is coming? And there's like, the, there's going to be a guy in, the cos in a Grimace costume showing up, taking pics. Now, I actually need this explained to me. There's more, there's more going on. I need, I need something, I need what this is to be explained to me. What is she getting out of that bag? Hey, the wizard Patchamus. 
Uh, yeah, somebody actually just posted this in the Discord. Wild Chat tries to figure out what the meaning of that piece is. This was, this to me was a truly interesting sight to behold. This is every stage of Snake Rattle and Roll patched together. Oh, I can't zoom in though. Shit, why can't I zoom in on this? So basically, this is what this what's cool about this is like you could see secrets that you would get in a later level, right? The entire game, the entire game, every single level in the game is a uh, on this island. And then for some reason, there's also the letters Nintendo and then Game Boy here, because as we all know, Rare likes to get cheeky. I don't know why they picked those words, but they did. Open and tap. There we go. Good thinking, chat. Good thinking, chat. Look at that hole. So this is all of the levels of snake rattle and roll. Actually, you can kind of see Nintendo better from that uh, thumbnail image than you can here close up, right? Yeah, I was staring at this shit. And then there was a whole website where there's like, all they do is stitch together uh, levels from Nintendo games. And I was just looking at like maps of like, this is level two. So cool to look at, honestly. Uh, the name of the website was, it's like VG Map something. It's called, it's, uh, shit, I'm so sorry to remember that. But yeah, VG Map something. Okay, so anyway, I can't rest. Until this is explained to me. Um, I do know it's in reference to something that was said or happened during the Threads of uh, Fate playthrough. What does it mean? It's not Zahira. No, 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 no. This is something to do with Threads of Fate. Why don't you get comfortable while I freshen up? And she's reaching into a bag. <laughs> There's a, the, the bathroom is clearly seen. She's about to go to the bathroom. She's on her way. She's leaning forward on her way to that bathroom, pulling something out of the bag. Because here's, here's the thing. AFB... would not create a lewd piece merely for the sake of its own lewdness. <laughs> this is a stealth pilot. All right. Is she handing you the bag? Oh, maybe. I can see you handing a bag in a weird way like that. Is it lewd? It's in, this is, I got, I'm looking at some of the lewdest art. Wait, wait till you see. We got, we got some lewd art this week. This was funny. This person just sent this to me. It's Chadley saying, do try to collect the chip before that happens. I don't think, I don't think that's even an edit. I think that's actual, like, an actual line from the game. Um, and they said, is this art? And the, the sad fact is, it is art. <laughs> Chadley says, do try to collect the chip before that happens. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Chadley. Got it. There's that piece again. Corporate needs you to find the differences between the pic this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. <laughs> Excellent reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I feel like I missed one there. Missing in action by Mimi Moonbeam. It's me! Mimi Moonbeam! 
There is no bi-weekly bossman this week. I'm sorry. Managed democracy calls. I have taken up arms against the bug and bot scourge. Rest assured, the bi-weekly bossman will return next Monday. And thank you for waiting. Glory to Super Earth. Now, I don't have a lot of rules for the art show. One of them is explicitly, don't make it about me, don't make it about you. And here Mimi Moonbeam is speaking to you as Mimi Moonbeam, saying, it's me, Mimi Moonbeam. <laughs> this is utterly disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> this is utterly disqualified. Democracy has spoken. The Inn at Calm, 2 a.m. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Hi, Cloud. Chadley here. Do try to answer quicker in the future. <laughs> I have good news. Thanks to the data you've collected, I can now grant you a ticket of approval to get any tattoo you want. Ticket of approval issued by Chadley. Sorry, I can't accept this. It wasn't issued by an authority figure. The only tats I can give you are I Heart Shinra, Red 13 as a backpack, or that military dog thing, Default Ears. Like Gooblock. Now, what's nice about this meme, even though it is, you know, using one of our more esoteric running jokes of the uh, ticket of approval, is that it's stating how weird it is to have Chadley giving you orders, even though Chadley is not a figure of authority. I like it. I like the meaning of this piece. Thank you, Gooblock. At the museum. Ah, art. But you know what? I mean, there's too much text here. <laughs> I don't typically do mid comic commentary, but there's too much text here. It is so interesting when artists have the opportunity to express themselves, their visions, their ideas, their sensitivity. For example, in this painting, the artist seeks to render at the same time the effects of speed, rain, and steam. To achieve this, he uses large, generous brushstrokes, which mix all these elements together. The shapes are almost disappearing under the vibrations of the painter's brush, resulting in a stunning effect when you see it. Whoa. Honestly, yeah, it is a stunning effect. In this self-portrait, the artist chooses a difficult task because painting oneself is not an innocuous act. It is a questioning which often leads to a crisis identity. The blue-cold tint dominates the painting, barely contrasted by the orange color of the beard and hair. You know what we're looking at now. Added with the contrast of the immobility of the model and the undulating, almost hallucinatory arbesques of the background, the painter looks at as us as much as himself without any complacency. He seems intransigent and anxious, determined and tormented at the same time. The epitome of psychological portrait. Masterful. Arabesques, says chat. Got it. You gotta be shitting me. What a great composition we have here. The representation of a subject no longer seems to matter anymore for the painter. He's more interested in the relocation, excuse me, relation between lines, colors, and shapes. In fact, straight lines, curved lines, round shapes, square shapes, pure colors, my, mixed colors, and soon, all seem to take their own freedom, excuse me, and so on. All seem to take their own freedom their own independency from each other's. It's like witnessing the birth of extract art. 
This really is a brilliant work of art we have here. I mean, the thing is, he's not wrong. That is nice. And... <laughs> Alright, here... Okay, so here's... Here's the... Like, the... What I... The rules that I stated are... Don't make it about me. Don't make it about you. So we back to back here. We've seen two disqualified comics. You can't make stuff like this. Mr. Cack, six for being a 38 monther. You can't make stuff like this. It's about the bear. Shut up, chat. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, you know better, asshole. Uh, this is simply, uh, a portion of FF7 Rebirth reminding me of the noises I used to hear my neighbors make when they made loud music. It's a simple piece. And this, I think, Woojack here has presented a piece that I... I think is good-natured, but also deeply horny. <laughs> Kyle is projecting! <laughs> There's- it's like, chat, it's like really early. Aerith is like, well, I'm tired. And then Tifa's like, yeah, I bet you could use a back massage. Let's go to bed. And then they walk out of the room. So wild. And so that's what's happening here. Yeah, they do, and good for them. Yeah, good for them. They weren't bedmates, though. You don't know that. Unless, unless you knock on their door when they're sleeping, which obviously I would not. Uh, you don't know that they had different beds. <laughs> the idea of rubbing someone's back who's on another bed is wild. You gotta be kidding me with that. You gotta chat. If you're, if you're getting a back rub, you're on the same bed. Be honest with yourself. All right. That is all our pieces for the day. If you want to submit any art to the art show, send that to dearbossman at gmail.com. Don't make it about me. Don't make it about you. Make it about the streams. Make it about the games. Make it about the unknown. Anything, anything really other than those two things. Great stuff today. Can we make art of Mucho getting a back rub? Hmm. I guess. If it, like, here's the thing, here's the thing. If it comes off horny, like this, no. If it's a non-horny back rub, then absolutely. <laughs> Do art show submissions usually only relate to last week of streams? No. Uh, you can submit art from anything. Honestly, way back to even Easy Allies days sometimes we get like, oh, yeah, I did a... You did a playthrough of, like, uh... Chicago Enforcer? Here, I, drew, I drew that moment, dude. Here's this. So, like, that's really cool, too. Looney Tunes. Except, there is a Looney Tunes exception, yep. Looney Tunes art is allowed the week of a Looney Tunes game and then nothing after that or between. <laughs> Alexander McGram, thanks for being a 33 monther. Here for non horny back, back rubs. You're in the right place. You're home. <laughs> Welcome home. Twitch.tv slash Kyle Bosman.
All right, so how big is the latest update? Is this going to take a while? Uh, Ferris K, thanks for being a 13 monther. Chewy, we're home. Such a funny line today, isn't it? It's our foreboding line today. It makes you uncomfortable. Russell Wilson no longer riding. Are you about to give me bad news? Chewy, it's the unknown is very funny. I'm sorry, chat, I've actually, I've done that precise unfunny gag twice now, where I pretend that I did not do the update. <laughs> At that point, it's just like a dad joke. We can never presume with tech stuff, and that's the other reason it's unfunny, is I'm always fucking up some other shit, too. That's a fair point. The things the things I do actually fuck up are more unbelievable than the things that I joke about. <laughs> My actual fuck ups are funnier if they were jokes than the jokes that I make about unfunny fuck ups. Um Here's the thing. I feel like it would be a good idea to do a recap of where we are in the story. But, like, honestly, I'm gonna, like, this is me in most of my college classes. This is me, like, meeting most people I haven't seen in three years. We're gonna, I'm gonna have to, like, pick up via context clues what happened. Because I don't remember shit. I, uh... I know that Baldur's Gate 3 is a story of people who have brain parasites that will turn them into octopus-faced zombies. Um, well, uh, beast zombies. Mind flayers. You will become a mind flayer if the parasite eats the whole brain, basically. So, we and our crew of other uh, parasite-infected brain people are looking for a way to get them out. And conventionally, nobody knows how to get them out. So we're just on this journey Trying to find somebody who knows how to take him out. I do have a Gordian? A fairy godmother in another dimension who does know that nothing currently on Earth Realm will work. She's like, look at me. Trust me. Trust me. Stop doing those side quests. Nobody knows how to get that out, okay? You're not going to go on some little side quest and get your brain worm out. It's not going to work like that. Uh, I know how to do it. Just follow my plan. And so we're kind of just following my guardian's plan. Um, but we did have to take one major detour to uh, meet up with our... We shouldn't say girlfriend, but like... Deeply committed life partner. Um, Minthara. So we were just going to meet up with her to like show her how great we've become. She said, meet me here at this place before, right? We, we found her there. And, uh, J.K. Simmons sent her to prison. Like, like, before we could even say hi, basically. And so, uh, obviously our mission was to break our lover and friend. I like that term, yeah, yeah. Our, our lover and friend, Minthara, out of jail. Uh, and that was actually somehow successful. We got her out. We did not tango with J.K. Simmons, so he is still at large out there. Uh, and I think that's pretty much where we are. I think we're still in this, like, dank hellscape where the air is poisonous if you don't have a light of lamp. A lamp of light. Uh, and I know that all lamps sound like they're of light, but this is a special lamp that wards off the, uh, noxious death poison. And that's where we're picking up. Haven't played since November 19th, 2023. The Shadow Cursed Lands.
It's been some time. J.K. Simmons is immortal, and you need to figure out how to handle that. For our lover and friend, Minthara. Got it. I think we're officially in Act 2. I think once we hit the Shadowlands, it was officially acknowledged that, hey, Act 2 has begun. Hey, we got some free shit. What for? What for? I don't even see it. I thought that was a be it was like a login bonus. I'm so used to that shit, right? Hey, we're sorry about our servers. Here's a cool costume. Probably the sausage. <laughs> sorry about our servers. Here's a spicy pork sausage. <laughs> Minthara's okay. Uh, she clearly needs some armor. Wait, she has armor. What's it? Minthara? Get some clothes on. What are you doing? Uh, Twitch integration, I think, is automatic. You might have her default set to get camping attire. Are we camping right now or not? Whoa, dude, what the fuck is it? What? This thing is your friend. Oh, okay, last thing we did, we went down into this crypt and we solved a puzzle to get some good shit. Chat was like, you're gonna wanna go down in there, so we did. Um. Yeah, Gail's got a shadow pet right now. This It is going to take me a week to get reaccustomed to this game. Uh, but I would like to properly clothe up Minthara. Yeah, get that cloak on. She doesn't poison people, though, so that cloak's kind of worthless, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes you, you lose a little bit of armor to get something cooler. You know what I mean? To have, like, a cooler ability. Um, AC bonus from dexterity limited to plus two. Oh, I guess she can't wear that shit, huh? Medium armor. Body aid. Gain plus one bonus to strength and saving throws and checks. Yeah. I mean, like, that's good. Minthara, put it on, though. Click the campfire icon. What about it? Top right gear pieces campfire. This one. Yeah, what? <laughs> I mean, you don't you don't click on that. Top right of the equipment window part. That's where I'm at. Equipment window is this shit, right? Are we all on the same page there? This campfire icon. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god. Perfect. Yeah, now that's a look. Alright, so, uh, I think M for- uh, thank you, Malware Bytes. I think M for map, yep. I think we're just heading up here to investigate the Thorm Mausoleum. Why? Mausoleum? Yep. 
Back here, we could go find some suspicious sounds, but I don't want to go back into J.K. Simmons' castle until I know how to kill him. So, yeah, I think we're just heading here to do whatever this quest is. Of Rivia, thanks for being a 42 month. Happy to finally be back live and stream after a few weeks of being really busy and missing them. Glad to come back as Kyle is getting upset with chat too. Let's go Gordius, hell yeah. That's my problem. That's my problem. If you say click on the campfire icon, you're going to have to be doubly specific. <laughs> You convinced them Minthar was mind wiped, so I think you're safe in the tower. I don't think we are. I think I like. I think they wanted us out of there. This shadow friend is cool. Thorm is J.K. Simmons. The mausoleum is searching for a lackey of his to find something for him. Got it. So we're going to the mausoleum to learn how to kill J.K. Simmons. Simple. Uh, what do you hold down to? Oh, there we go. Hmm. What's that? We'll stop. Oh, we're playing as Minthara. Let's get going. Good perception, Minthara. No traps, please. A ring! This allows the wearer to receive warding bond from a creature wearing the matching ring. Cool. Wife's diary. Sorry, I meant to read that diary. In the fifth year of our union, we faced the biggest hurdle yet. My parents became quite ill, and we became their caretakers. It was a dark and difficult time, filled with emergencies of every possible type. Gone were the easeful days in which our time was our own. Our days were filled with work, each other, and little else. During our darkest moments, I wondered if we'd survive, but the bond of love we had was resilient. It would bend and bend and bend and bend and bend and bend, but would not break, no matter the pressure. What a strange little diary. I bet we're gonna like find her husband's diary and he's a piece of shit. Here lies Micaeus, taken before his time. God, this narrator is too good to be reading all of like every single gravestone for you. I wonder if the gods are watching me. The gods are watching me. <laughs> Alright, a little passageway down into this thing, which might have some good shit in it. I think we're gonna move forward, though. I don't feel safe here, dude. Okay. I mean, that looks, it looks like there's cool shit in this house, dude. Yeah, I'm moving forward. Okay. And chat, here's the thing. If there is insanely cool shit, let me know. Little audio boost? Yeah, we can do that. Propose to Minthara with the ring. Um, hey, she's just a lover and friend right now. I don't think we're ready to go that far. Like, th so far, the things that chat have told me, like, hey, dude, actually, that thing is super good. Go get it. It's like a magic glowing mace. Uh, Lazel currently uses... Oh, no, no. Uh, Minthara's got the magic glowing mace. So is this, like, something that good? Hell yeah. Let's talk. I'm just kind of scared to be here right now. Shall we? Seems simple enough. House of Healing. Wonder what 
worlds past this. Difficulty class 10. We got a bonus plus seven. There's no way we don't open this door. That's my Gordius. All right, Shabello. You love the dark, dank shadow realm? Prisoner's gloves. Whenever you deal poison damage, the target needed needs to succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. Now, we got we got some good poison stacks. If we can get a character whose primary thing is like poisoning, we could really do some damage. Every page of this medical text is crisp and unblemished, and every quill stroke precise. Sharon of Forisms are and general philosophies accompany the explicit diagrams and surgical guidelines. All right. Wasn't Poison Spray Gordius' signature move? I mean... It would be- it would be cool to get Gordius back into poison. So we had that poison armor, we got poison gloves. Oh yeah, it's a big fucking key. <laughs> no, I see what you're talking about, chat. A key, a key! It's fucking freaky. I don't like being here, dude. Oh shit, that was such a waste of a key. <laughs> Hello? Oh no. Okay, so what was... It's not like the key is spent. Okay, I'm, in, I'm Zelda brained. Um, what is quick save? We're gonna get have to get back in the habit of that. F5. Here we go, bro. Oi! You! Quit that! Quit that! Look at this fucking horse, man. Mollus Thorn. So there are several thorns, is what I'm learning. Ah, uh, they might have something to teach us. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel, indeed, is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Beneficence? Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly Was that hear horny? the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. <laughs> Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. Gods! A living nightmare is this. See? 
Shut up, what Dale. What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. No chat voting? I mean, well, let's, let's test it, actually. Let's test to see if our stuff is working. There it goes. Um, chat, you're wrong, though. You're wrong about this. We will be doing the persuasion. <laughs> when I'm t I don't care how you vote. I will be selecting persuasion in this one. <laughs> our, our, the thing is, like, uh, Gordius's persuasion check is ridiculous. We get plus, we get a plus 12 bonus on that shit. And then if I wanted to, I could add the bonus and make this guy my friend. Fuck! Hush. Fret not so. You are quite ready, aren't you, sisters? The scalpel soothes, come sing its song. We would hear your melody of mercy. All right, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, chat. Is it even possible to, uh, talk that conversation out? It is possible. Oh, okay. I kind of want to retry that then. Uh, what I thought was happening there was this was like a, honestly, infinite wealth-esque preamble to an inevitable fight. Uh, let's do a little load then. Uh, okay, so here's a problem with, also, is chat saying there's no reason not to add the bonus. The bonus is, um, make friends with, right? And I was like, I don't know if I want to make friends with this guy, but chat's saying there's no reason not to. And they're also pointing out that four is the maximum amount of points of inspiration you can hold. So, uh, we need to, uh, spend our inspiration forward. anyway. No reason to be precious with those. The objective of the Friends only gives a penalty in higher difficulties. Copy that, Zodak. For the scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. No, we know, we know that shit. Yep, yep. It Come, comes. step forward. You are Abs if in life. But we do not wish to see you. Persuasion. All right, so yeah, the bonus is become friends. We're going to do it for chat, though. Okay. There we go. Good rolls. It's not real friends, says chat. Okay. <laughs> it's just magic friends. All right. Okay. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. 
We actually also have a really good intimidation bonus. Um, I'm kind of with this. Why not have them hone their skills on each other? Difficulty class 21. Situational! I wonder what I did to get that bonus. Yes. For how we Ooh, the whole party liked that shit. Cure? The scalpel does not discriminate. Let each and every one of you partake in its soothing journey. Absent sisters, acquaint yourselves. Not like that. Not like that. Sisters, no, not like that. Oh, no. One's teaching so lovingly taken to heart. You are to be commended for their graduation, rewarded with the promised cure. Come, I will acquaint you with the lady's dark fingered embrace. I'd rather acquaint myself. Was that horny? Our persuasion checks are ridiculous, chat. Your diligence they is love exemplary. It. Very well. Your own scalpel you will be. Observe, then succeed me into the sucker of Shah. The best offense is virtually nonsense. Oh, no, 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 stop. Stop this. Okay. <laughs> and then chat saying like, you do get a lot of points of inspiration easily. T dub scuba, thanks for being a 37 monther. This is wild. I didn't know it could go this way too. I somehow persuaded Mollus to let the nurses kill him instead. I think that was option two. Something good here. I hope. Oh, well, he got Surgeon's Subjugation Amulet. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. You want to talk to this dead man, chat? Honestly, I don't think he has anything to say. I think he was kind of just stupid. <laughs> that loot is important? L-U-T-E? I only pay attention to the things that glow. Chat, I don't think you have to do one or two in chat, right? I think it like I think it's like the on-screen thing. The overlay. Yeah, so if it's not there, refresh, and if you're on mobile, I think it just won't show up. I'm not happy about that, chat. That's not what we do here. We're not that kind of guy. Battered loot? This is important? Yeah, right. Oh, the initials AC meticulously carved into the body. Remember AC. Let's get uh, Minthara to do up. some looting, actually. She's got so much inventory space. Oh, 
down, so. All right, good work, team. What have we here? Is the game coming back to you as quickly as it seems to be? No, I mean, we haven't had a fight yet. Wait till I fucking botch a fight before we uh, determine that. I'm back, baby. I guess we'll keep exploring the house of healing, dude. This place is fucked. The way is clear. Bloodborne. And our ghost familiar keeps making creepy noises. Oh, I guess you could, this is probably the way most people would enter, right? So you could like you could see what's happening from this observational uh, deck up here. Got it. Remember to hold Alt to see what you can click on. All right, yeah. If I'm missing anything, clutch. Let me know. Interesting. Interesting. Sure. Charge sure, temptation. We could get in some of that sucker of char, you know what I'm saying? Betting pool. Foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. There's not a lot of cav cavities that would get redacted. Once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Minimum one bet, one gold pence. Okay, so the the game is what do I have in my butt? Yep. The game is bet what I have in my butt. Do I want chat tips on missable story stuff? Yes. Um like I think that was pretty cool to do. I kind of liked doing that little thing right there. Um, I'm not, I don't want to see every single cutscene. Sister Cinda? Hold and listen. You okay? Could the doctor is absent today. Come back another time. Okay. Does she know what happened back there? Um, here's the thing is there's a little... Oh, okay. I saw this icon for House of Healing, but I mean, that's where we are. I was thinking that was like pointing to a quest or something. How much gold do I have? I think actually, chat, I think you can check that easier than I can with the on-screen overlay, right? Not a Theron mobile. Okay, but like I don't, I don't know. I don't even know how to check how much gold I have. I think tab maybe. I've got one thousand three hundred fifty-four gold. All told, Minthara's got zero. Gordius has got six fifty. Lazel's got two fifty-five. Gale's hoarding four hundred forty-nine gold right now. Kyle, you need to be picking up everything and selling it. But you won't, so you're gonna go broke. Yeah, I hate I I'm not in this game to like, you know loot every little thing. That's not interesting to me, honestly. Kinda hate that shit. Our hero thought but a treasure ahead. Did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark, he went creeping and awoke this what is my was demon sleeping. Friend. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed.
He uh, he took me to. He's a devil, not a demon. They are they are the same damn thing. He took me to his uh, dining hall. I ate some of his food, and then he's like, "By the way, I am a freaking devil." And somehow we escaped. <laughs> Chat, what is it? Okay, you tell me then. What's the difference between a devil and a demon? Um. How long you been standing around practicing that little recital is very funny. This guy did just do a bunch of rhyming. Until it was perfect. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Devils are lawful schemers. Demons are insane murderers. Okay, you know what? That's a good distinction. Oh. We both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering. But I can set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Just cut to the chase, will ya? Catheric is J.K. Simmons. I already did. If, through the dark, you go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Spell it out. I don't Very understand. Well. Is it a spider? There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Worse than a spider. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. Ooh, I gotta tell you, right now I'm considering other courses of action. <laughs> Hop job it. Thanks for being a nine mother. You're a real one, Kyle? Thank you. Pleasure to hear that. I can tell. You're only telling me half of what you know. I can tell. Difficulty class 10. Do we got a bonus on this? Yeah, I got that wisdom, bro. Astral knowledge. I think because we read that fucking book, right? Oh, thank you, astral knowledge. Oh, no, all gith have astral knowledge. Got it. That was a race thing. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? I should not relish its reacquaintance. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you, Raphael. I kinda wanna make friends with the demon. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Pipsqueak? Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. After all, if there is one rule I hold dear, it's that one must always give the devil his due. <laughs> he said that through his grinning lips. <laughs> I liked that. Uh... Hey, fast travel point. Fine. Yeah, I'll dig it up on our way through. Cool. And then, gosh, I kind of want to see what's in that tower. Over here. 
perhaps we should investigate this before meeting Raphael's rival devil. Couldn't hurt to take a peek. Here they come. Oh, this is above where we were before, huh? No. Yes. We're above where we were before. Cool. This is the top of the building we were in. We killed that man. Through the powers of persuasion. I'm wondering, does this lower? It's got chains. Could we have had a grand entrance where we lower in from above? Uh, and chess says you hold alt to see all the clickable things. We got a gilded chest. Crack that bad boy open. I know you can. Lock thing. What is it hiding? Hey, hey, hey. What is it hiding? Just some bullshit. Yep. You're on Minthara. Oh my gosh, Gordius could have pecked, pick, 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 pick that easily. Still Minthara, alive. let Gordius handle this, please. So that's progress. This is his shit. Don't give me trouble now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is his shit. Oof. I don't think we have a lot of thieves tools left, by the way. What is this button? Do? Here we go. There's another button just hanging out right there. Look at that shit. Do I have to mage hand the button? This would I think this really would just take us down to where we were before it is. So you could have made a dramatic entrance this way. Chat, what's the lore behind this floating button? All right, so I actually think there is nothing that cool up in here. We got a godly guide to death and divinity. Can I take it? No, 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 let me take that. I bet that's valuable, bro. Take that shit. Yeah. I'm going to sell that fucking book. Another gilded chest. Yeah, I don't love that all of these uh, gilded chests require my precious thieving tools. I don't think the stuff we get out of them is worth it. I think we're going to just go slam open that door that Raphael was so scared about us opening. Very well. Tools are not spent on successes. I swear when I opened that door, it said like thieving tools used. Oh, thieving tools, excuse me. They were used, but not destroyed. Is that correct? Wait, what path did they take? <laughs> Generations of Ketherick's family are buried here. Okay, here we go. Too late, Mimi. We're in.
Hello? Hello? Me, Zarel, Minthara, whoever you are, leave. I shall carry out General Form's will alone. What the fuck? Not wanted. Not needed. Leave. What are you? This place is not for you. Go no farther. I'm going farther. I see a button to press. Yeah, that button. Oh, I see several buttons. All right, Moonrise Tower has a button. JK's got a button. Grief has a button. All right, let's do some exploring. Go no far. That's Merkel's symbol. Whose symbol? He passed a religious check. Small note is squeezed onto the margins of a tome detailing necromantic rites. General Thorm's orders were clear. In order to find what lies beyond this mausoleum, one must walk in his own footsteps, deed by deed, from splendor to tragedy to infamy, as he put it. B. Splendor, tragedy, infamy. That might be our hint we're looking for as to which order we should press the buttons in. But let us continue to explore. Let's have a look. Yeah. He's good at this shit. He's just good at this shit. We got a new vivacious cloak. After casting a spell while in melee. That's so fun. Particular shit, dude. Yeah, read the plaque. Okay. Here lies Melodia Thorn, beloved wife and mother. A Armiel Tellere Manon here. Melodia Thor. Oh, hello. Ah. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. The getting evades me in this infinite darkness. Balthazar's my own source of barest comfort. The thought that perhaps she might be brought back to me. If oblivion can fail, what defense have we against death? None except its mastery. Balthazar's words have never felt more promising. What's going on with the crack in here? What lies beneath this floor? Sewage? Alright. I'm gonna start pressing buttons. I'm prepared to begin pressing buttons. The hand-drawn map shows the gauntlet of Sha. Its labyrinthian tangle of chambers and passageways stretch across multiple levels, with a vast statue of Sha dominating the central hall. Here and there are sides written in jagged, spidery hand, probably Balthazar's exploratory notes. Intact wing, 
Proving grounds? Ruined wing. Something present there. Strange sounds reported. Rats. Why so many damnable rats? Jagged spidery hand. Looks like there's a temple under this place. Hmm. And something deadly sealed inside it. Yeah. Uh, Raphael's enemy, dude. My new ally. Alright. So. Uh, Splendor! Disarm. Oh, I see. There's a lot of traps in here. Go ahead and save now. Splendor to tragedy to infamy. So I think we're doing uh, the tower to grief to uh, the self-portrait. Uh, the portrait. No reason to think he's painted that himself. Yeah, I guess we can split up. Just in case. All right, you ready, bro? You got to be very precise about this. Empty. Not in the slightest. He is not seeing those uh, plates. Uh huh. To tragedy. <laughs> He's just not seeing them. Okay. There's one there and there, but it seems like if I just go down the middle here, we'll be okay. Uh, question though, am I going to start getting gassed if I get too far away from Lazelle? Does the toxin slip in here even? Oh yeah, somebody in chat hinted earlier in the stream. Inside it's okay. I thought that was a rule too. Uh, that Russell Wilson was cut by the Broncos. You stupid chat. Gail's inspired. Why, Gail? Why? Everybody group up. Come on. Bring, bring me, bring me the torch. End turn-based mode and bring me the, bring me... Bring the torch to me. Okay, good guy. Yeah, we don't care about the traps anymore. All right. Where will Russ go next? Honestly, like, I think he's going to be a bench player. 85 million dead cap hit. So they they cut him from the team, but they still have to pay him? Break the lamp, it'll make life much easier? What do you mean by that? Oh, look at this. He's got one of those fucking lamps, too. You can't with this lamp. Okay, apparently some other lamps you can break and then just glow automatically. That disc looks like it can move. I love how our Shadow Familiar is still hanging out with us. This is cool. Broncos have been cursed since Peyton retired. They weren't that good before... Peyton played for two seasons. <laughs> Broncos have been a mess. Try examining the lamp proper. I don't think so. I'm going to do that. Oh, action, not reaction. What do you mean examine? Oh, right here. I'm examining it proper, chat. Are you properly pleased? Uh. 
Where are we? Consider me intrigued. Shah, singer of eternal night, protector of the lost and forgotten. Protector of the lost. Cross from light into darkness. Give your life to the shadows. Is that a riddle? <laughs> Whoa, look at the water flowing through here. For your pain to Shah's embrace. Hear the night song. Last time we were in a temple like this, we did have to do little fucking riddle puzzles. Here, I guess the doors just open. Oh, we're getting in it, bro. The answer lies in darkness. All right, so we should take this, right? Yeah. Shah's warriors must not be caught. Oh! Must not be tricked. Only loss awaits the unworthy. She said, fuck! Could it be Shah herself? The gods are watching us. What lies within? You all right, Gail? <laughs> All right, light your damn to why am what happened, bro? Light your damn torch. You set off traps. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let's just, I guess just reload. Uh, I thought it would be fun to go and touch the gem, but like, let's just don't, just don't. Just don't. So what traps could, oh, vent, disarm. I still like want to check this shit out. But I'm scared to walk anywhere, dude. They, they put my torches out. The answer lies in darkness. Bill Dozer, thanks for being a 16 month. Heads up, Kyle, this area has a few traps in it. I wonder who in our party has the most perception. Uh, it looks like Lazelle with her wisdom, right? Is that perception? I never know like which what ties to what. Bro. Our lover and friend does not even like us that much. Minthara has no strong feelings towards Gordius? Yeah, right. We're going with Lazelle as leader. Oh, she is the leader anyway. Gail likes you more and he threatened to leave. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, Minthara. Strange. The center of the room is protected. Yep. Take heed. I see a trap. All right. Can everybody just like be cool and don't step on traps? Good. All right. We do have one guy who's pretty good at that. With a flick of the wrist. Difficulty class 15. Ooh. Interesting mini fact. The voice actress for Shar, the statue that spoke, has never been confirmed. No one knows exactly who it is, though there are a few theories. It's the only one in the game that is uncredited. So it could be like another character from another time or something. Time to press ahead. Time to press ahead. Looks like we're going mushroom hopping. Better not be cursed. It better not be, dude. No more traps. In darkness, beauty is equal and wealth unseen. Okay. Let's go mushroom hopping. Gordius, Lazelle, and Minthara all have three for perception. Gale is at zero, and he's a goober. I agree. Where are you all going? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are you all going? <laughs> I said get to this mushroom and you're all walking backwards. What's happening in there? Do I have to tell you explicitly to jump? Good. Good, Gail. Good jump. This is scary, bro. I think we got to climb down that cragged rock. Break soon. We got to we got to meet Raphael's rival. I can't break in the middle of a cave like this. Yeah, we're close. Balthazar. Balthazar knows shit about eternal life and necromancy. Yeah, right. Only someone who's never played Dark Souls would touch that chest. Oh, shit! Okay. Cloaker. Got us anyway. All right, Cloaker. How about, um... What's free? Fireball's free. So that shit. Yeah. Critical miss? God damn it. At least get in front. Get like, get like over here. Night to King Five. He says Night to King Blood Five. Easy these days. Dolo. Critical miss. God damn it. Uh, I think it's because it's like it's in the dark. I think we have to wait for it to like lurch forward to start hitting it. Nice. Oh, critical miss. Good job. Yeah, come on out of there. What the fuck? 
Fuck this shit. God damn it. Come down from your mushroom. Come down from your mushroom. It can just summon three fucking phantoms. In one turn. Jump to it. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to jump to it, dude. Uh, here's what sucks though, is we're still in the nasty demonic underworld, right? Where like, uh, immobile frightened. Oh, she did get frightened, dude. I don't think she has any rain shit. Oh, I want to compel this thing to a duel. There we go. Good job. Don't forget scrolls. No, chat, here- alright, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Chat, if there's a scroll, you- hey, you see my entire fucking inventory. <laughs> if there's a scroll you see that would be useful, go ahead. Other than that, I will intentionally ignore scrolls. Well, so much for peace. So much for pace. And then attack it, bro. You scared? Disadvantage because it's too dark and she's frightened. Boat times. Thanks for being a 14 monther. Do try to not forget scrolls. Kyle just like I can't forget the last 14 months of this awesome stream. Hell yeah. Try again. Good hit. Ah, critical miss. Yeah, so, uh, chat, that's the shit that I think is, like, actually, like, boring and not fun about this game. Is, like, uh... Somebody saying, like, check your scrolls. So you're like, okay, uh... Tab... Okay, which little... Uh... I got animal friendship... Uh... Crown of Madness... Uh... Ray of Frost. Ah. Uh, I got Hold Person. Ah. Uh, protection from evil and good. Ah. Uh, fireball. Ah. Uh, scroll of cup. You know this is this is chat. This is how you want to play the game. <laughs> Is that it? Uh, somebody says Minthara's got some, like, she's got a cantrip for creating light. Dancing lights. We're gonna do it. There you go. So now we won't be missing anymore. This man's still frightened out of his mind, dude. I don't feel like the phantasms are worth fighting. I think if I kill the cloak, uh, we win. Yeah, that's a miss. No choice but to keep going. Honestly, though, I think this is still your best shit. Too close? Come on, bro. Cancel that order. Cancel that. Cancel that out. I just wanted to walk now. Cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel. Cancel that. There we go. Okay. Provokes act of attack of opportunity. God, I just hate this shit. <laughs> I really do. Alright, so I'm too close to use my best spell. It simply wouldn't work from this distance. I need to create distance from me and the monster. To do that, 
if I were to walk away, it would be able to just attack me. Uh, so I guess we just attack it with our fancy weapon here. For one damage. God damn it. God damn it. All right. Thank you, game. <laughs> I <hate> this shit. <laughs> She's still frightened, so she can't come up and help him. She's scared out of her mind. I'll just presume and hope that she doesn't die. She's got a 30% chance of hitting this. Mm -hmm, let's try it again. Six damage, and turn. Critical miss. Uh-oh. You should not try to run from Gordius. That's good. For now we now we can do our best shit. Now we're in shit good shape. Stop moaning. All right. Uh, is Minthara unfrightened? Yeah, she's unfrightened. Honestly, though, I think she should heal her buddy. And that's something I truly, at this point, still don't know if it's possible if I can heal Lazel on this turn. I actually have no fucking idea if I can do that. You can do this, though. No, it's too early in the cave to be doing using your uh, actual spells. Yeah, you're right. Spell slots are such a nasty thing. All right. So we'll just have her use this glorious mace. Good. And again. Good. Still frightened, still frightened. Oh, that's the one, this is, <laughs> this is the one you should never use. Ignis. Ignis. I won't give in. All right, you fool. Pretty disappointed in that damage and that the second one missed. Gotta be honest, that sucked. I, will ascend. I think th I think this Gooby thing, I think the light that we cast, I think it's like outside of the light. Alright, so would you mind healing yourself? There you go. And this. All right, just fly away. <laughs> Stop moaning. <laughs> the chat, we were asking me like, Kyle, you feel like you're back into it? You feel like you're like back in the game? No, cause I knew this shit was coming. God, I hate this shit. <laughs> She's frightened, so she can't move. There we go. I'm, I, so here's the thing. Here's another thing I hate about this game and D&D &D in general, right? Is you have limited skill slots, spell slots. Those are so precious that I don't want to even use them in this first fight of the cave. I'm like, no, I got to use my free shit because if I use up all my spell slots on the easy fights, we're fucked. Good Ignis, bro. That was nice. Survival is all that matters. Tell me I got advantage from above. I got advantage. Tell me I got advantage.
High ground. 95% chance of hitting this shot. Very nice, buddy. You're good. I will ascend. You will ascend. I'm done healing you. I'm not going to heal you anymore. Great shot. Great shot. How about another one? That's a miss. Should have missed that. This is your chance. Kill that bird. You got you can't be missing these. Okay. All right, thank you, Lazel. Stop owning. He hit the mushroom. I wonder if this is worth a cost. Thank you, game. Dolo. He said, Dolo. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, we'll take all this now, dude. Even the cloud giant finger. Give me all of that. And then, unfortunately, we got to rest right here in the cave. End of the day. No, I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> it's funny. This, this specter familiar is still hanging out with Gale over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we take our break. Yeah. What? What's up for discussion? Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. All right, we'll do, chat. We'll deal with this after the break. This is this could be this could be some weird shit. We'll deal with this. At, we'll take our quick break and then we'll deal we'll deal with this. Surprise, Gale. Yeah. Time for a back rub. A little. Uh, Astral projected back rub. It's funny, you can see a very blurry Minthara back there. Legally Boopy, thanks for being a 24-monther. Congrats on two years. Happy Monday and BG3 day. Oh yeah, because I just finished my taxes early. Very nice. Congrats on that. Oh yeah. Um... Yeah, and then I guess like, yeah, it is so weird, right? Like, it's, so it's like you, you basically almost die every fight and then you just like set up a little camp right where that enemy was and then you just sleep and then you wake up with all your shit back. <laughs> it's weird, man. It's weird. All right, quick break chat. When we get back, uh, we're going to find out what Gale wants, but most importantly, we're going to make friends with the devil who will teach us how to kill J.K. Simmons.
My apologies for the silent break. That happens every Monday. I forget about that. I feel like there's some really good JK missing from this. I feel like there's some really good JK missing from this. What am I thinking of? I'm pulling it up. Not burn after reading, no. Not the accountant. What's my favorite JK? What's my favorite JK? Not Megamind, not Jennifer's body. Not 21 Bridges, not Red One, not Terminator Genesis, not Patriot's Day, not Anastasia, not Ghostbusters Afterlife, not Father Figures, not The Meddler, not All Nighter, not The Snowman, not Renegades, not Contraband, not For the Love of the Game, this man's career, dude. No, I feel like I saw him in a TV show or movie, and I was like, damn, this guy's really got it. I can't remember what it was. It's JJ, don't be cute. No, it's like, uh, I'm thinking it's probably La La Land. Where he's, he's just like a dad, right? I'm guessing that's what, I'm guessing that's what hit me. Um, okay. So, it's really fun that we're, two, we're only two hours in to today, today's stream. I'm remembering everything I love about this game and everything I indeed hate. I'm remembering the secret reason why it was not in my top 10. I was It was easy when I was doing my top 10 games of 2023. I was like, oh, I never finished Baldur's Gate 3, so it wouldn't be right to put it on here. Um, I actually like hate fighting things in this game, just like I do in real Dungeons and Dragons. He's a restaurant owner in La La Land, huh? He gets rad at, mad at Ryan Gosling for playing piano too good. You can lower the difficulty. That's not going to change shit. That fight was annoying because we were in the dark and we were missing so many shots. Fortunately, the Stingray we were fighting also was missing its hits. It's mechanically annoying, chat. Um, like, Gordy is when he was hitting his shots was shredding that poor uh, stingray. Oh, that's funny. It's apparently, the like, easier difficulties uh, affects your hit percentages as well. Got it. Just go for it. Have a nice time. Oh, we'll see. Um, all right. Should we uh, humor Gale on this one? You are speaking to a mere projection of Gale. His appearance, his voice, and a certain measure of his personality, reconstituted in this case to play as emissary and usher. Would you care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me, it is a matter most urgent. All right. Here's the thing, Gale was about to leave our team, so I think we should just uh, be nice to him. Gladly. 
Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. Wait, I think I don't want to do this right now. Why would they give me this menu now? <laughs> Why give me this menu right now? We're running low on supplies, by the way. I guess you got 40, like, yeah, shit, dude. So I guess we'll just use that. Is the streamer having fun? This game is so overly complex. Needlessly complex. Yeah, so currently we don't have enough supplies to have a rest. I love this time of night. What the fuck? There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. Does he think he's Blade? The cradle of eternity. Who does he think he is? The timelessness of lovers. <laughs> I was expecting something and urgent. Beautiful of fantasies. <laughs> Why did you summon me here, Gale? I wanted to see you. While well, I still could. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of... beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. This is weird. He's being like, yeah, he's being end game horny right now. And it's like, Gail, I'm in the middle of a dungeon. Your low amount of supplies might be a problem for this dungeon. Maybe consider coming back later. Obviously, I won't. But like, that's how annoying this game is. Sorry, gamer. You don't have enough sausages. Come back with more sausages. Yeah, right, dude. Like, what, chat, what kind of fighting system makes sense where you have to, like, set up a little campfire after every other fight you take, you know? We'll find another way, I promise. Thank you. But even if we do find another way, perhaps this is the right way. The end fate wishes for me. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. All right, so like, uh, it won't even let me be rude to him. Yeah, chat, you can vote. I, I I don't even I don't even fucking know, dude. <laughs> I think Kyle loves hate playing this game as much as he hate loves Princess Bride. No, there's a lot of this game I genuinely enjoy. Um Like I think chat. Like I th I like I think that's absolute shit that you're like, "Hey, bro, you need more camping supplies. You have to leave this dungeon right now." I can feel it. Ever since we set foot in this strange, corrupted land. The closer we get, the heavier my own heart Here's becomes. the thing, I do think I got a chest full of camping supplies. I think I sent a bunch to the chest. Stay with me a while, will you? Day will come all too soon. Even in this place. If Gale, like, truly, like, blows himself up to kill the Absolute, our team is doomed. Oh, here we go. We can be mean again. 
I'd rather not listen to your wallowing in self-pity good night, Gale. Oh, you would disapprove of that. Mm. Good night indeed. The fairest I can imagine. Chooks, thanks for being a 38 monther. Yeah, Gil wanted like a little like I'm about to die loving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's our back. We got we got backpacks. We got backpacks. We got backpacks in the chest. Not a lot, dude. Um I do want I chat told me that like if it's in the chest it counts towards my supplies, but clearly it does not. Backpacks are not supplies. What are they? It's a durable bag. <laughs> There's stuff in those backpacks. Bro, I'm beside myself right now. Okay, all right. What is inside of the backpack? Open. Camp supply pack. Mm hmm Keychain. Sure. Peridot. All right. Alchemy pouch. Stores your ingredients and extracts. Sure. What's in this backpack? That's when he just opened. What is in this backpack? Potions. Camping supplies. Another alchemy pouch. Another key ring. And a scroll of revivify. Which are pretty good to have. So yeah, really, I just, I just like don't have, I don't have uh, any camping supplies. Act three is a doozy. Now, Butlet, why would you come into chat and just say that? <laughs> I'm in act two. Um, have I seen the Coyote versus Acme leak? No. What leaked? Magic era. All right. Well, leave the game. Imagine you're watching a movie, right? You're halfway through. Your friend sits down at the couch and says, Oh man, the end of this movie is a doozy. What? I, yeah, of course it is. I'm at this part right now. Two alchemy pouches are empty. Yeah, I like I don't even like care to see what's inside of those alchemy pouches. I did not add any of those things to our actual inventory. I should have added the potions. We're desperate for potions. Look at these mushrooms. What's in here? I don't give a shit, bro. I just need food. Just give me sausages. Always room for more. No, don't take the cauldron. God damn it. I don't want the cauldron. I want to look inside the cauldron. For sausages. What 
What is a dragon egg mushroom? What do you mean you can't get there? Ashes of dragon egg mushroom. All right. Sure. Walter. Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. Okay. I mean, three bowls of mushroom soup? We're camping. Acorn truffle? Sure. Yeah. At the ready. I love cooking in games. Crazy sandals. No thank you. No thank you. You can't reach, bro. Oh, unfortunately, all those mushrooms we picked up are just ingredients. You cannot eat them at camp. Not that kind of mushroom. The soup's probably good, though. Just look at these fucking rats. Shall we talk to them? Nobody in our party has talked to animals. Not a single one of us. Hey, hey! <laughs> do you have a potion of animal speaking? Oh, fuck, we actually do. <laughs> hey, welcome in, Min Max Raiders! Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. You're deep into the playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. We're in Act 2. I know Act 3 slaps, but we're merely in Act 2. I'm so sorry. We're not there yet. <laughs> we're, we're, we're just in Act 2. Eventually, we'll get to the good stuff of Act 3. Uh, currently, we're in the depths of a cave. There's um, a devil's rival down in this cave named Balthazar. Balthazar, we hope, has the key to destroying the immortal miscreant voiced by J.K. Simmons. The rat holds its ground. It almost seems defiant. I mean no harm, rat. I mean no harm. A defiant little fellow. Seems oddly purposeful. Purposeful. All right, I actually, I think we actually do have a scroll. I mean, you'll know, chat. You can check my inventory. I think we actually do have one for talking to animals. Animal friendship. Oh, that's all I got. I can't talk to animals, but I can be their friend. Kaylee's hosting her bonus pod episode with Eric Silver, who you had on the MinMax pod while you were hosting. Funny enough, they were also talking about Baldur's Gate 3 and D&D this week. Hell yeah. And I'm so sorry because I ask this every week. What is the new pod show called? Is it called Pod Show? I like Haley's direction with it. Like this week we got a topic. What are we covering on the pod? Bonus pod is what's called. It's called bonus pod. Your main character's weapon looks awesome. What is it? It's an invisible spear. Nobody knows it's there except for you and me. And everyone in the party. But yeah, it's invisible. I forget how I got it. Chat just told me to go find it. Yes, these are camp supplies. Hell yeah. Fuck the boat, big guy. He's so close to becoming encumbered. Um, 
So unfortunately, I think I just have to let these rats be. Nobody in our party is qualified to talk to the chittering rats. The strange thing is, this team has done many crimes against many humans. The rats I respect. Feed your bodies and rest your minds. Lady Shah needs her warriors strong and ready. Ready. All right. Um, these are also traps, but unfortunately, I need camping supplies so badly. I'm going in. No. 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 Not even interested. Give me that bed roll. Yoink. A key. Lady Shah continues to preserve me, though escape is impossible. The beast still prowls our halls, though she's the sounds of battle no longer reach my ears. I fear all my brothers and sisters have fallen in defense of the Night Singer's sacred gauntlet. But I shall wait. The beast will not linger for long, surely. A shorter entry, the handwriting even more skewed and erratic. The beast still remains. Why does it not just live? And why does it sing? The food is gone. I must preserve my strength. That means no uh, uh, sausages here. Um, I now I gotta I gotta offload a bunch of this shit so that uh the encumbrance doesn't begin. Can you take this? Thank you, darling. I don't I don't know what this. Is. Can you take that and take this? Great. And take this. Thank you, darling. <laughs> okay. All right. Or you can right-click send to camp. Got it. But like, what, chat? Why even though? Why even? Then if I want to get that, then I got to camp to get that stuff back out and then sell to people. You know what I mean? Why even? This is an inventory playing game. All right. We got some baddies ahead. Oh, it does seem like they'll talk to us. Okay. Who there? Who there? What are you doing, Gordius? You find yourself in a dead, putrid skull, somehow hosting a tadpole amongst a squirm of maggots. Another presence lurks within, manipulating the corpse like a puppet. Ah, a friend. An uninvited friend. I do not request help. Uh, Zrel sent me looking for someone called Balthazar. Is that you, Balthazar? Did she now? Enter. I will see if I have any use for you. Chat, I do not remember who Zrel is. Stinking pile of ogre afterbirth! The quakes herald the shadows. They found me. Oh no. He said stinking piles of ogre afterbirth?
what have we here? Umbro Tremors. But the uh, duelist is indeed our friend. I think we all we gotta do is kill the Avenger. Ignore this shit. That shit's just there to distract you. All right, let's out. Let's, uh... No, 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 no. What's your actual weapon? What's your actual weapon? I don't want you using the torch anymore. Trios, thanks for being a 10-monther. Happy Monday to you. Back at you. All right, Zrel was a grumpy big shot in Moonrise Tower, Servant of Thorm. So I just lied? Was it really Zrel who said get on over here? Real gamers ignore portals, exactly. Chat, you're an absolute dork if you are hitting these portals first. What's up? Uh, well, here's the thing. I think we might still be in the land of darkness where if she gets rid of the moon lantern, we start taking damage. Nah, you're deep enough in the cave. You'll be all right. All right. So what was her main weapon? This bad boy? This is a sword of justice, bro. All right. There you go. There you go. Come on. Can't stay idle. Yeah. Done. Uh, Gordius needs 14 to hit. They rolled 17. Luck of the Far Realms. Yeah. Good shit. can end this. Oh, actually, do we want to do this shit? I don't think so. Okay. Well, that's really, like, all she can do. All right, so we'll get her out here. And then bring in the light. The orbs are going to fucking hate this shit. Not weirder. Thanks for being a 13-monther. Hey, where's my lunch? Box. Foul assemblage. Foul flank. Foul smart. Oh my god, smart. Okay, bro. Easy win, bro. You take the one to the south. You bow, or you Good. Again. Excellent. Where do I go from here? Where do we go from here? Um, I would like to, <laughs> not to take that path around. He really does. He can't make that little step. How about this thing? No, he's still even to jump there. Okay, so jump here. <laughs> Path is interrupted. Dala! Dala! There's so many fucking orbs. Who put all these orbs here, damn it? <laughs> okay. Minthara. Why don't you just come get this? Yep. Lilalo! Again. Again, Minthara. Again. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Ah, 
Good. Gale, you shall go here. Use this shit on this shit. Good, Gale. Good, good, good. Good dashes. I like to see these dashes. Silent Trapper, thanks for being a 25 monther, and to which I stream, thanks for being a 24 monther. Congrats on two years. Is there a mage that keeps popping in these orbs? At least not within view? Uh, I think the orbs are creating orbs. Because we killed every standing enemy at the beginning of this fight, and then the orbs kept coming. This is, chat, this is the kind of shit where your dungeon master just goes like, another orb appears. Another orb appears. Another orb, and you're just like, okay, all right, I attack the orbs. You failed to destroy the orb. Okay. I'm on a fight. Let's go. Can't slow down. And then your chat is like, fucking goatee. <laughs> like, all right. Okay. <laughs> is this all written in D&D &D? hate? It, a lot of it is, absolutely, yes. It is not the same as Midnight Suns and, and reinforcements. That, that's false. Lee la la. Seek an advantage. Gale? On my way. You flank from the east. Kill that orb. You destroy the orb. Yet four remain that you know of. All right. My skeletons are dying, bro. There's five fucking orbs now. What do you mean, what do I want? I want no more orbs. Why are you asking me, what do I want? I want no more orbs. <laughs> Chest cross the arms like, what do you mean? This is fucking goatee, this is awesome. What are you talking about? I, what, what do you want? <laughs> How could this possibly be better? What do you what do you mean? Kyle, what do you want them to do, bro? <laughs> Kyle, this is game design in its finest. What are you talking about? Of course there's more orbs. Should there be fewer orbs? Yes. <laughs> Yes, of course, there should be fewer orbs. She's at disadvantage, so maybe she could take this one out with a bow. Uh-huh. No, 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 shit. Okay. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment with orbs. Here we go again. <laughs> For what it's worth, this is the least liked part of the game. Bad fight design straight up. All right, that does help a little bit. Um. I should have, I'm sorry. I should not have been using his melee weapon there. That was on me. All right, uh, Minthara, I would like for you to just go up. You break. I don't give a shit. That's not an attack of opportunity, bro. You're you're fucking here. You ignore Minthara, please. 
Yeah, right, this guy wants an attack of opportunity. Be gone. Okay. Um, I think she's going to have to help up a lot. Stop doing the putrefication. Oh, hey. Critical miss, dude. Oh, okay. All right. Gale. Let's have you get a good angle here. Saving. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Thank God there's click for confirm, bro. Shit. Gale almost blew up the world. I really don't even like this game, but I don't really understand how it could be different. They did it, they did the thing, they made a whole ass D&D video game. What should be different other than orb frequency? What do you mean other than orb frequency? That's the number one thing that should be different. <laughs> That's my primary complaint, shit. Give him that psionic backlash, dude. No, let's do counterspell. I mean, serious. I mean, seriously, other than just like spawning in 12 enemies that each do seven damage to you. I mean, seriously, like what could they even possibly do differently? They did the thing. They made a really slow, annoying fight. Why would you be dissatisfied? And I, I mean this seriously, like. I'm actually like I'm actually I'm actually genuinely curious what your perspective is. What could they have done differently? All right, so let's get you out here because we got this shit now. But I don't think we're going to be able to eldritch blast from that distance. Best be on my way. Let's see if we can. Yes. Dola! Dola! Probably heal too? He doesn't have any heals on him. Okay, well then don't heal. I'm gonna put a hex on you. This one. A charisma hex. Critical miss! I mean, they did the thing. Misses happen all the time in classic DD. Like, do you want them to take that out of the By game? Like, d d is a game about doing five damage. What did you expect? All right. Um, I do wonder now if these two should be arbors. We got two more arbs. And, like, five more baddies. Kyle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more baddies. Oh, my God. What nooks are they all hiding? There's eight baddies? Where are they? One baddie. Two baddie. Three baddie. Four baddie. Five baddie. Six baddie. Seven baddie. Eight baddie. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, the question is... Do you continue with the orb run, or... Do you to like try to fight these baddies? Can we lure them into a choke choke point and do area damage? Yeah, you can do that. Um, the problem is there's orbs. <laughs> the problem is the orbs make more baddies and orbs make more orbs. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't lure the orb into a choke point. <laughs>
Okay, so I think, yeah, I think honestly, this man's got a lot of HP left. He's gonna become an orber. With haste. With haste. Four damage from that, come on, Gale. We're gonna have to start using his good shit too. I'm using my free magic too much. Do not react. That's weird. Alright, fine. Charm. Fuck. God damn it. Fuck. That's so nuts. That guy just getting two hits on Gordius like that. Shit. All right. 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 Yep, run into your corner. Good shit. These all these guys all get two fucking turns per turn too. Holy shit. Yeah, here's the thing. I think chat strategy was really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna get all these guys into a damage choke point. <laughs> Here, chat. Here's what you need to do. You need all like this is actually this is actually winnable. All we gotta do is we gotta take all these guys. Fuck it. We just gotta take them into a choke point. <laughs> all right. Uh, it's clear to me like if you don't start orbing from the start, like my chat told me to, you don't win. So you have to like fucking ignore that first guy. Why use counter spell when you could have nuked them with a fireball? This is the kind of shit. What do you mean? What do you actually mean? Is that a good question or are you, are you just typing shit into a chat box? <laughs> what do you actually mean? Counter spell uses a level three slot. Thank you. Thank you. Cause I have no fucking, I don't fucking know that. <laughs> Find yourself in a dead <sighs> I don't fucking a know these things. Thank you. Dead. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for asking the actual question. Thank you. Dolo. This is the same. This is the exact same as Marvel's Midnight Suns. If you think this is stupid, you think Marvel's Midnight Suns is stupid. And there's no in between here. I will not fail. <laughs> Sunbeam. <laughs> oh, weird. Well, I don't want to hurt my buddy. So let's just do this right here. I think something fell from the ceiling on her head. All right, can you just like bash? Can you just like get you out? There you go. Fuck. Gamer, you told her to attack with a lamp. Yeah, you're no, you're right. I did. I did that. Gamer. You can't drag and drop. Yes, I can. I can. Stop, please. End this madness. Her turn's gamer. Her turn's over. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Next time. <laughs> Jungle cat. Thanks for being a four monther. Glad to see the gorgeous, gorgeous gorgeous back in action. Heading back to the vods to catch this masterful playthrough. Thank you very much. Yeah. You will. Uh... Don't get too close. You will find my mastery of this game.
I picked blow up. You you will find it to be quite educational. You will learn much. You will learn much. Okay, yeah, get rid of this and swap it for a weapon. Thank you very much. Uh-huh, let's just do an F5 right there. Yep. Quick save successful. Good to hear it. Uh-huh. And then can the rest of you catch up? So, like, when you start this fight, you're not completely tucked in that corner. Actually, watch this shit. Yeah, this is the shit right here. Yeah, we know where you like to drop orbs. All right, so actually, uh, we're gonna unlink you, Minthara. Our enemies still draw breath. You are the Southern Orb Mistress. Lazel. Dance breeds madness. You are the Eastern Orb Mistress. Let me work my magic. Gale. You are the Eastern Orb Mistress. And Gordius, you shall be the central orb mistress. Nope. Okay. You prowl my battleground. Why? Are you friend? Foe? Thieving scavenger? You find yourself in a dead, putrid skull. Gale's still swimming, swinging lamp? Yeah, I mean, what does it fucking matter? Gale's not gonna hit anybody with a weapon. Gale's not a weapon guy. Oh shit, Gordius is a southern mistress. Yes. Fat lapdog. Dala. Dala. Good shit. The path lies before me. I am fury. I am death. Good damage, Lazelle. We love that shit. Good shit. I'll draw. Happy birthday. Um. All right. All right. I kind of feel like we should keep Minthara down here. We need a southern mistress. We can do this shit again to kill this guy. All right, uh, Grease Man, come on up north. Ignis! First playthrough, absolutely, yes. So close, Skellington. You needed one more hit on that. Cool. All right, so Gordius, you give a little Eldritch to this shit. Pop, pop. Dola. that shit great I think I'm gonna keep you there Gail D 
Huge miss. Shit. I get two turns. Such is my class. All right, Gordius. Uh, you can do that one, and then our southern mistress. Dolo. Dolo. Time to strike. She's gonna have to go to the west. Lazelle, I think, has no choice but to kill this thing before getting down to get some of those kills. Taste my fury. Good. And then... We'll take it. shot hey man all right minthara i think we're gonna have to get you to dash get on over here understood understood all right and then that's her whole turn unfortunately So probably I could have gotten her to do a cool spell, actually. That was suboptimal. Uh, Gail, can you hit from up there? You feeling good about your shot? Yes. Um, would you like to do something that maybe does more damage? Sure. He's feeling confident. Okay. Damn it, Gail. Big miss. Critical hit. That makes up for it. Good, my skeletons. Minthara, look out! All right, we gotta back her up. Time to press ahead. Yeah, yeah. Dola. Oh, that was a bad Dola. Uh. I wonder if he's got an attack of opportunity. No way. All right, so let's get her. Can you jump? Down here. I'm gonna attack this bozo. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Very good. This is second wind. This would allow her to have one more turn. You kind of want to save that, but this might be the time. This is not the time. Okay. You only get to do that once. Big miss. Big hit. All right, so Minthar is just going to smash this shit uh, and then probably take some damage from that bad boy. Good. Yes. Putrefy it. Gale, your turn. You're up. Gailey boy. Alright, why don't you do this? Ignis. Ignis, bro. Dude, so close. Got 3 HP. Alright. Beckoning darkness! That's a miss. That's a hit. Good skeletons. Your turn. I shall give you the Eldritch Blast. You Judiciar Crusader. Path is interrupted. I doubt that. What do you mean path is interrupted? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You don't talk to me. All right. My path is not interrupted. You're wrong about that. What do you see, game? What do you see?
Air is interrupted. Yeah, I can't click on him. It says path is interrupted. No, no, no. The 90% shot, I like, can't. I can't even take the shot. It says too dark. Now it at least says too dark. You see that? Okay. All right. Well, it's too dark to attack that man for some reason. <laughs> Fuck. You've done this fight five times and you've never seen this creature. That's wild. Vengeance. I wonder why it died. Overwhelming grief. All right, Gale. Please, Mistra. Hurt this man. What's your good shit, Gail? What's what's your actual good shit, bro? Scorching Ray is good. Fireball. Alright. No, that'll hurt Lazelle. Shit. How about this shit? Is her? No. But 49 disadvantage from what? I feel threatened. It's too dark. Oh my god, come on now. Somebody light a candle. It's too dark. I'm sorry. All right. Sleep. Too many hit points. Got it. Well, let's do level three sleep. Too many hit points. Okay. Yes, it is. Encrusted with frost. All right. Saved. You cannot charm a tadpole warrior such as me. And then it shoves her. My God. Eldritch Blast. Disadvantage, difficult terrain, encrusted with frost. Two darks. At least I think I can click him this time. Yeah. Dolo. Dolo, bro. Ah, you're not doing so good with your health. Yeah. Good? Good. Okay. Now, Minthara, unfortunately, she could do a lot of damage here. But I'm so sick of it being like, oh, it's kind of too dark. Then we're just not gonna, we're not gonna deal. He just stepped out of that grease, no problem. Subsume shadow, umbral form. Nice try, umbral form. Nope. Subsume shadow. What was that? Good, good. Yeah, right, bro. Get charmed. You cannot charm me. You cannot darkness me. You missed. You missed. This shall not miss! Actually, hold, hold. Cancel that, cancel that order. First, I will hex you. Dollar. Ooh. That thing had a squid billy.
Watch out for the grease. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nice, there we go. There we go. Oh, fuck. No, this guy's your friend. That guy's my buddy. I think he's gonna be impressed with what we did there. This is how we do it. Uh, miss some subs above. It's a sub above. Drack me off and Zfax. So, drag me off. Thanks for being a brand new subscriber. ZFAX, thanks for being a 29 monther. We got through it, baby. We got through it. All right. So, unfortunately, the proper strategies for that fight are to attack the orbs immediately and get your party spread out immediately. That helped a lot, too. All right. Link up. Let's get together and. Feel all right. I want to talk to the big boy, the jiggling big boy. Balthazar, there you are. All right, yeah, we can save. Bring me a and can I get no ya for my polychrome banana carrying me from anti one to the win? Only going extinct after beating the anti eight boss. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good banana. And that's the thing is like, you got a shot at that uh, 3X banana. Where's that bloody embalming fluid? Am I feeling any better now that I figured it out? Kind of. I mean, it, it's not a puzzle fight. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not like I executed a strategy in that fight. This is why I'm still so cranky at chat where they're like, well, some people like the scrolls because they like strategizing. And I'm like... Mario strategizes every time he hits a Goomba. Something being complex doesn't make it more strategic. You know what I'm talking about? All right, Balthazar, let's talk. Let's talk shop. Seems bro. like a good moment to talk. You had the southern and northern mistress strategy. It was good. <laughs> ah, the interloper. And in one piece as well. Thanks, chat. I'm glad you uh, like, just you can uh, you can in your playthroughs you can use the uh, following my path. Southern and northern place. mistress strategy as well. You should be pleased. Bold of you to assume I'm a comrade. I was hatched in a circle in a crèche and have fought ever since. What do you count of my gestation? Well, I'm not just a true soul. I have some extra planner help, so to speak. His name? Bob Whackett. All right, uh, I think I should do this one because he seemed interested the second we mentioned Zrel's name. That seemed to pull him in. Aramite, you just used camp supplies to beat that fight? <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not able to use that strategy. Help would have been useful. He did help, honestly. He did help. All right, I'm going with number one. I This seems honestly too forward. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Gordius is a bad man. He's done bad things to good people. But he is a strategist. And remember, strategy isn't just about having 1,000 scrolls that all do different things marginally. Uh, sometimes being a master strategist is about manipulating people. You hear what I'm saying? Like, he knows how to play the game sometimes. And I think he's doing that right here with option one. General Form. Rubbish. Everything is at hand here. Zarel merely envies the General's faith in me. I 
am in the midst of a grand strategy. But you're here now. You must have a lot of scrolls. to put those limbs to work. You know what's at stake here. I take it. I do like using history checks. The name Balthazar seems familiar, but not as a servant of Catheric Thorm. Where have you heard it before? Yeah, I'm too curious not to click on this. 14? And all, I, my intelligence is so shit, Chad. We got a bonus of one. So we're probably going to fail this shit. success no I know my history mm -mm. no I know my history uh-uh uh-uh it comes back to you Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran yes I remember this now mm -hmm. but he is long dead from what you recall yes 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 I remember that now <laughs> mm. I heard of a monk by that name once he died a long time ago. Oh, him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bones. Suits me better, I think. But in the idle back. chatter, keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes. Yeah? Okay, so I'm guessing that was a reference to something that happened. Like, there's a Balthazar in Baldur's Gate 1 or 2. Is that correct? Enlighten me. There is a relic here. One which General Thorn desires. No, needs. I will retrieve it for him. And you will help me. Ignorant you may be, you've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. Warlock persuasion. I'm not the type to make a deal without the details. What exactly am I looking for? No way we fail this shit. Watch this. Ba -ba -ba. The relic lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. Balthazar was a monk in Baldur's Gate 2. Yes, of course. This is basically, it's like, uh, in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, when they show white deadshot. And Deadshot says, look at that imposter. You know what I mean? Like, they're just, they're acknowledging, like, yeah, we're using the name Balthazar again. We are. This is a different one. Here's some dialogue to just make that very clear to everyone. Sorry about that. This Balthazar ate the other one's baby back ribs. Okay, so there's a magical relic that makes J.K. Simmons invincible. If his enemies attempt to exploit it, he would no longer be invincible. I think we should play along for the time being, chat. For the time being, there's no reason to try to attack this man. This is not a problem. It is an opportunity. And it is not a choice either. You will obey. Oh yeah, right, dude. There's always a choice. I think we're good at intimidation checks. Plus eight, and then we can be friends. Why can't we be friends? All right, here we go.
Power of the Hag Eye. Hey, hey, okay. All right. Paid the price, dude. Success. Go then. You'll be back once you've had another taste of Shah's hospitality. Why can't we be friends? Stone bed, bro. This man sleeps on a stone bed with one blankie. Though that blanket does look very comfortable. He did not sound intimidated to me either, no. Eric Cartman has thanks for being a 36 mother. Congrats on three years. Can I get a snarky oh yeah for being 10k away from joining the Million Marble Club? Uh, no such thing as a snarky oh yeah. We don't have one of those. Oh yeah. Bring me a femur bone. Did we speak of not Good Titanfall one, 3 not at all? I know a lot of people are excited. No, what are you talking about? This is like an indie game? Yeah. A spiritual successor? No, and by the way, I still haven't seen the leaks um, of uh, Bugs Bunny versus Acme. Excuse me, Wile E. Coyote versus Acme. Shit. It seems like I'd like, I can intimidate Balthazar, but the only way to progress the quest is to be nice to him. Plot leaks. Oh, no, I don't give a shit about plot leaks. I mean, I guess we could just progress without him. All right, here's the, here's the weird thing, chat. The party's in pretty good shape, except that... Lazel used her coolest thing, which was a uh, second breath. Need to find a way forward. You can short rest. Yeah, I'm kind of like I think I gotta save that shit too. Short rest resurges, recharges action surge. Sure. The thing is, you get two of those, right? To me, it's not worth it to short rest to refresh one ability when everybody's HP is pretty strong right now. And we did not use a lot of spells either. Chat's always asking me. They're asking me, like, they're asking me, like, why isn't Kyle using more spells? It's because I'm an economist. Waypoint discovered. Oh yeah, look at that. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Cool. Now if we do have to go back and get some camping supplies, we'll be okay. Upstairs or downstairs? I'm going downstairs, bro. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that or that or that. I'm not touching any of this shit. Ooh, I do think I want to touch that shit, though. Hell yeah. Don't touch any traps, okay? This dungeon is like some Halo level design. I don't have anything to put here. Hmm. Okay. So we must find a thing to put there. To progress deeper. Yeah, I did check my storage. We got some camping supplies. We have enough for one more long rest. Uh, but I do not have a lot hanging out in the chest. Paid the price. Oh. Friend of foe? That's a beast, bro. Shit. And that's a one-way road down there. How about we, like, hang out up here and just take pot shots at it? Sure. Don't Fuck know. you. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's all this? Right. 
Oh no, 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 no. Your turn, Gale. I think we gotta reset again, unfortunately, chat. Eat this. Yeah, this was this was not a good example of good economics. So, uh, I'm gonna want to talk to these orkies. I, I don't want to. I don't want to fuck up their tiger. All right, so we'll go long around. We'll go around the. Okay, we're going around the long way. <laughs> All right, I was about to say that. You were taking too long, my friend. All right, moving ahead. Moving ahead. He doesn't like play fucking Halo, dude. Oh, another rat. If you could talk to rats, this one would be like, Who the f You fucking rat! God damn it! What? <laughs> Nothing about the rat seems peculiar to you. Nothing stands out to you. <laughs> Overcome my trials and win my embrace. Ooh. Standing torch. So that's the one where so, so people are saying they don't know who that voice actor is. No, let me read it. <laughs> let me read it. Read Gordy's. Pay close attention. Seek the means to access the relic. Search in the library. Do not deviate. Do not fail. Return promptly. We did have one other thing from a B before. What a donjon. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. What makes me think is Sacrificial bowl? Some sort of prison. A lever. A button. How mysterious. Let's save and find out. Salt step trial. Well, I certainly don't have a salt step. The bowl contains an ancient rust colored blood stain. It Look forms at my mouse. a neat disc as if spilled calmly and willingly. Now, if you're smart like Indiana Jones, you would just pour some wine in there. I shall spill my blood. Take my blood. Supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? Ah, fuck. Okay. You're alright, bud. I hear some snarling, dude. You snarling shadow. Yeah, it's gonna wanna fight. Watch this shit though, ready? Okay. If it is for the best. Shadows cannot exist in the light! Well, that ends. No, not as bad as it could have. Oh. 
So it's a maze then. Ah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. And there's the orb, which we'll place in the plate. Okay, 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 okay. So. Oh my god, the dungeon master is losing his mind right now. You know what I'm saying? You all get sent back to the, en the entrance. There are four doors before you. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I, I step into the proper door. Nice try. Awaiting Choose a door orders. player. Okay, I step into door into four. Position. The one with a button at the end. Let's see what happens to that belching shadow when it tries to step into the light. Okay, 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 okay. So it's not that there are, is an incorrect path, it's that the belching shadow just is like a Pac Man ghost. <laughs> right away. it further getting the hang of it getting a hang of it timing is everything timing is everything all right all right back 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 <gasps> fuck off okay so it's got it can it's got some range dude it can see <laughs> yeah right it can see behind it that's bullshit Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Bullshit. I don't know. I don't know which one saw me that time. Crouching is a thing. Yeah, right. You fucking crouch. Like, what, what, do, what is crouching going to do? There is a sneak action. All right, so time out, chat. You're telling me the belching ghost is listening to me too? All right, here you go. A trap. Don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. Give a shit. It's not, okay. Open up. Clumsy tools. You can do this, Minthara. You can do this, Minthar. Come on now. No. Oh. Yeah, at this point, my inspiration is more precious than my thieves' tools. 
Sorry, is less than. You can do this, Mintar. There we go. Iron Torch received burning. Oh, is, are they okay back there? Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> All right. The belching has ceased. Yeah, I think you're fine. Challenge complete. Look out for the traps. Let's get out of here. Stormbringer would have loved this. I'm sure she would have. That should be a lesson to all of you. To not instigate violence. No time to rest. If not over, then through. I should speak up. Even when the faithful abandon them, sacred places do not lose their power. Be on your guard. Okay, all right. Hey, Minthar, what do you think about our companions? A disparate collection of vagabonds and strays. Did you have anyone particular in mind? Yeah, what do you think about Gale? The wizard? No. <laughs> He's right fucking here! <laughs> He's right here! It is pointless. <laughs> in my experience, the moment they leave their libraries, wizards have the life expectancy of a gnome in a war. Either the enemy recognizes they are a threat and kills them swiftly, or their curiosity leads them to combust while experimenting with the limits of magic. Fair. Our wizard is already Fair. in a state of suspended combustion, thanks to that orb between his ribs. <laughs> I want my... I suspect it is only a matter of time before he goes up in smoke. I will reserve my social graces for those who might live long enough to appreciate them. Yeah. You like Lizelle? I have encountered few Gith Yankee in my life. Those that I did were raiders. They croaked out pleas for mercy in their alien tongue as they died. Meeting you and Lizelle makes me wish I knew more of your culture. What do you wish to know? What happened there? What's the nature of your oath? Oh no. I took up my oath long ago when I swore bloody vengeance against any who defied Loth. Loth. Now I myself have sinned against the Spider Queen. Though my faith is shattered, my oath endures. I am sworn to destroy all those who serve the Absolute. Your crusade against the Absolute is nothing more than a convenient excuse for the bloodshed. It is a noble purpose. It is not noble, it is necessary. If we do not destroy the cultists, they will destroy everything. We are all that stands between this world and a She's right about this shit. All right, so all I really wanted to do was click on this box, but Minthara's head was in the way <laughs> before I clicked. So we got all that dialogue. All right. I do not want two candles. No, thank you. All I want is sausages. All I desire is a sausage. 
This way, team. I ambushed Minthara on your playthrough. Didn't realize she was a possible party member until way later. Feels bad. So something I really love about this game, honestly. Actual optional party members is so fun. The idea that we could fight back against Stormbringer. We could, that we could defend ourselves. Everybody's favorite party member is not even like a, a part of this story. It's cool. Um, I remember it looking kind of square-like. I don't see it here, dude. There is a gem that I intend to put into this thing. Oh, you don't have it. Okay, of course. Mm -hmm. Minthara did the, the hard work. There it is. Put it on in there. Put it put it on in there. <laughs> All right. We move on. Um, I'm a little nervous to progress too far into this place because I know now that there's this cool demon party happening over here. Look at this shit. Ah, uh, I think I think this is not not the way. Okay. I see no need for a short rest. If you're looking for supplies, keep an eye out for sweet potatoes. They have a camp value of three each. No, thank you. You have two poison items on Gordius that synergize well. They really, really do. They really, really do. However, uh, Gordius is pretty much exclusively a an Eldritch Blast man now. He doesn't do anything else. All right, so here's the thing. The only way to get to the Orc Party is for me to jump down these stairs, right? And then there's a fucking elemental bobcat that will attack me, I think. You're on Minthara right now? Yeah, only she had the orb to put into the elevator. Never a dull moment. It won't attack. Okay. Never a dull moment, he says. Get on over here. Never wanted the easy path. Gale still, still doesn't have his weapon equipped. Gale doesn't... Gale doesn't hit people with a weapon. Gale does magics. Be kind, beast. Yeah, that beast though, uh, really didn't care to attack. Weapons do more than melee. All right, so to your chat, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You see my inventory. You see it right there in front of your eyes. You tell me. What weapon would you like Gale to have? I don't think we should pick up that orb. No, let's get in here. Let's see what's going on. Who that? Sure. Enough viscera to rival a Githyanki sparring circle. There's something out there. What's this? Fresh entertainment. No. But you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? There's a whiff of the surface to you. A new arrival, then. You burrow too deep, little rabbit. This is good shit. I'm from outer space, bro. Mm. You are star touch, that is true, but. There's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. 
musk, and sulfur. Raphael, I can smell him all over you. Where is he? I hate that guy. I hate that guy. That perfume trickster swindled me, trapped me. Jake Twitch and next bring a 40 monther. Yeah, did you know he wants you dead? Where is he? Spit it out. Now! While two devils fight over a bone, well, we should just run away and let them sort it out amongst themselves. Shut up, Gale! Let's share our experiences about Raphael. Perhaps we can help each other. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? Yes. A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. Show codpiece. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. I see. <laughs> I happen to be an expert in such deals, and there is always a loophole. That's true, too. Raphael is no foolish story devil. He's mind is devil. different, sneaky. Listen. Spill all the blood swarm to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder shall's halls hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. We had to kill a justice ER. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Swear it to me. Well, that explains where all the dark justices went. <laughs> there is almost an admiring thrum in the back of your mind. Your patron seems to enjoy a well-crafted contract. Especially one with a built-in loophole. The song's last couplet is a clause that's nearly impossible to fulfill. That's it. Hmm. So Bob Wackett is the one who is like, oh, that's good shit. Parchment can burn. All agreements aren't worth the tongues they're waggled out upon. A song lingers. Raphael made double sure of that. I can't forget the damn thing so long as my word's not finished. I did as instructed, but the song still rattles about in my head. The contract still stands somehow. If I break it, I will become Raphael's slave forever. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. I don't think you understand my persuasion skills, my friend. Oh, we got a couple options here. There must be something you missed. Let me search this place for you. Or the lyrics are a trick. You've always had an audience. Your followers. Get rid of them. Oh. <laughs> I do like sicking him on Balthazar, no doubt. What do you think? 
Uh, you could try to, but the fact that it doesn't use our persuasion check on top of it, uh, makes me nervous, right? So I feel like, uh, like, look at our, look at our bonus here. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're talking, we're talking about a plus 10 bonus, plus we can try to be friends with this guy. Um, I don't like searching this place. It reminds me of a Halo level. So really, I think I would really just like to see him kill his own followers. All right. The Merigans. They barely have a thought to share among themselves. You. But they do have ears. Kill yourselves. Back to the house with you. All right, this was bad. I still hear it. Seems your theory is wrong. The displacer can hear you, can't she? Kill her. 21! Can you do it? We'll try. Where'd my bonus go? Oh, uh, we gotta we gotta use an inspiration. Why not use it, friends? Rare Rappy, this is this is where you fucking kill me. Okay? Cause that you're not asking the question you're actually asking. You watched me click this. You watched me click on that. You didn't watch me click this thing one more time. So you know, you're not curious why not add friends. You're not fucking curious. What you're trying to type is, Kyle, you have to click bonus and then click on the bonus too. It's two clicks. <laughs> That's what kills me. Okay. Is it three clicks? Where's my bonus? <laughs> Where is it? Where is it, bro? Where is it? I'm beside myself at this point. One is an auto fail no matter the bonus, but it didn't roll two dice. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> Fuck. All right, so if you get if you get a one in either of the two die, it's that's just a critical failure. If you get a one in either of them, it's like no, 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 that doesn't matter. I'm taking the lowest of the two in this case. Got it. I've got a long road ahead. One day I'll catch a break. Haven't seen a lot of this game. Do you get infinite rerolls? No, those were precious, actually. Um, every time you do something kind of cool, the game says, let me give you a little point of inspiration. You either discovered something in a neat way or you solved a problem in an interesting way. Let me reward you for that. Uh, and those are called points of inspiration. You can hold four maximum points of inspiration, which means we had four maximum rerolls. That's not true. Advantage can negate a crit fail. Then what happened there? It's either glitched or he's immune to charm effects. Maybe that's what it was. Fresh for this place, aren't you? There's a whiff of the surface to you. The devil might and be immune to charm. Right that I would buy. You burrow too deep, little rabbit. Mm. Somebody tell that to Rare Rappy. Star touch, that is true, but... Quench that genuine curiosity. Else. 
almost hidden by your fear stink. Raphael, I can smell him all over you. That perfume trickster swindled me. Were it Tell him, or don't. It doesn't matter, so long as you grant me the killing blow. Oh, well, that was different. We had Gale last time there. Show happy Dying meter, Kyle. You don't want to see the happy meter. My freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael. That's what's fucking nuts about this game. Happy meter goes up and down dramatically. Alone. Might not want to get on his bad side. Parchment can burn. Rough. I did. Anyway, time to die. Um. All right, so I think we, I think I have to stick with the same decision I made last time. I think it's a bad idea to make this guy kill his followers. Uh, but I want to see where this path leads, unfortunately. Do you want to know about this guy and how to avoid a fight? No. Yeah, it fucking nuked my second second roll. Kyle, do you want directions on how to beat Act Two? Let me drive for you. The Americans. They barely have a thought to share among themselves. Yeah, yeah, they Chad, just take the wheel. Years. Kill yourself. You want a link to Back the ending to the on house. YouTube? <laughs> Okay. I still hear it. So our still cheap friendship tricks simply don't work wrong. on a demon like this. Kyle, Act Three is a doozy. Okay, chat. <laughs> Add bonus friendship. Roll two, but it just—it's gonna kill one, most likely. Yeah, dead. However, we got a good roll this time. Stay very still. My beauty. I still hear it. Oh, shit. All right, this is gonna, this is going to be the persuasion check of our lives here. Twenty one. Okay. Roll again. So, uh, chat. I feel like I feel like uh, what the roll you need is a fourteen, right? So you got like a thirty percent chance of hitting this. I think. There it is. About this. Ooh, Lazel fucking loved that. My way out of the furnace and eat you alive. Contract be damned. Nicely played, Raphael. Bastard. of executing a war devil. <laughs> Fucking well, Smug Gordius, goddammit! Oh no. Oh, he's so proud of himself. Charlatan! Sour Patch Homeboy, thank you for gifting five gift subs. So anyway, that was a point of inspiration. So we used a reroll in that fight, but we got one back because the game's like, yeah, you did some weird shit there. 
Fun fact, this fight is a nightmare if you do it straight. That's what I was assuming, right? So first he kills all of his little gobbies, right? And then this thing, Nessa, who is probably really crazy to fight too. But the best part is we leveled up. Um, Here's the bad part about that is I had no intention of being cool with Raphael. He's going to fucking love this. He's going to be like, ooh, you killed him, did you? Well, I suppose this is a budding friendship. May I offer you my sucker? You know? Quite ready for you. Level up, See brother. Then you shall find me. Let's level you up. To level up your character. <laughs> there it is. Speak with the dead. You're crazy for that chat. Let's do it. Health increase is huge. Subclass features. Entropic ward. As a reaction, you can impose disadvantage on an attack roll against you. If the attack misses, you gain advantage on your next attack. Roll against your attacker for one turn. Gain dispel. What would you like, chat? We got level three spells now. Fear. I do like fear. Grunt flight. No, we're not like that. We're not that kind of team. Hunger of Hada. Which option is the most harny? Enthrall. Um, Hunger of Hadar is pretty fun. Huge radius, warlock only. Okay. I do like the name of it too. And it's got acid. Flying is so good. <laughs> it's not my guy. Hunger might impede Lazelle? No. So the radius is too wide. Vampiric touch. They cannot move or act. Okay, let's do some of this shit. That seems pretty Gordius to me. New feet available. Um, ability improvement. I always like this shit. I don't like care about any of this. When you land a critical hit or kill a target with a melee weapon attack, you can make another melee weapon attack as a bonus action that turn. Like, how often does that happen? Sentinel. Oh my god. Chat, this fucking, this fucking game, bro. It's too much. When an enemy within melee range attacks an ally, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack against the enemy. Target ally must not have the sentinel feet. Okay, and I don't think anyone else has it. And then also, chat, I'm kind of right there with you. What does Lucky do? You gain three luck points, which you can use to gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws. Or to make an enemy re-roll their attack rolls. So this, this adds a whole new mechanic called luck points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing lucky. I don't like that shit. Now I'll do sentinel. Savage attacker is great. When making melee weapon attacks, your roll, you roll your damage dice twice and use the highest result. Oh my god. <sighs> this is... That's like... Incredibly good. That's an incredibly good ability, and it's hidden in this nonsense. Yeah, that's in chat. That's insanely good. 
It's hidden. Okay. Now, hold on a second. Uh, when I was doing Gordius, it said he forgot a spell. Potent cantrip. Your cantrips become harder to evade entirely. When a creature succeeds at saving throw against one of your cantrips, it still takes half the cantrip's damage, but suffers no additional effects. Cool. Got a spell... Uh, new uh, level 3 spell slot. Animate dead. Yeah, goody two-shoes Gale is going to learn how to animate the dead. Now you'll see, Gale. Feign death. All right, if I'm, hey, if I'm playing D&D in real life, feign death I'm absolutely using. Haste is insane. It is in Final Fantasy. Target yourself or an ally to become hastened. Gain an action, become faster, and gain plus two armor class. All right, chat. One for me, one for you. Um, when I was leveling up Gordius, there was a thing that said, um... Lose, uh, like, forget a spell. We should equip some cloaks, dude. When you poison a foe, heal yourself, right? After casting a spell while in melee. Got it. So nobody's really, like, doing this shit, right? Minthara kind of does. All right. Put the cloak on. Oh, now she's got a cape, too. Hell yeah. Great. And I never want to take off those the gloves of dexterity. We got these nice poisonous gloves. Where are those? Whenever you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. And then if they do become poisoned, you get to heal yourself a little bit. I realize that's nice, chat, but we're not a we're not a poison guy anymore. That's not who we are. Wizards can replace spells anytime. Warlocks like Gordius can only change spells during level up. Oh. Yeah, I think I like skipped that. All right, uh, I actually don't know where that poor demon is. I think he's upstairs. Oh, those fucking rats are here. You won't talk to me. All right, he's not by his throne. <laughs> I kind of want to kill these rats. They're up to something, dude. They took the throne. Loot the ash piles. Anything of use. Yeah, we'll take a break after we talk to the uh, dead demon. All right, chat. Honestly, I thought Reporting. when you said loot the ash piles, it would be all shit, but that's nice. That's very nice. Oh, look at these scrolls. Chat's so excited. Did she carry all this shit? She is so far. So many halberds. Curious. Oh, this is our guy. Possibly inflict burning when hitting a creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible, and we know he turns invisible. Cool. Neat. Give me that shit. Looking ahead. 
looking ahead, I would like to speak to the dead. Oh, the corpse is too damaged, chat. It's too damaged. And it looks like, uh, Revive the Dead isn't here for me. No, I think this was Goody Two Shoes who has Revive the Dead. Was ripe with magic. Right. See invisibility? Oh, we would've been able to see him. Alright, um, but chat says you can talk to the bed. No one in this party has animal speaking, unfortunately. Still breathing, despite everything. Why is it a, a, a three spell slot, though? I got a necklace that lets me do it for free. Yep, yeah, there it is. You get three questions. What did you do in life, corpses? What was this place for? What happened to you? Did anyone survive or escape the beast? Who are you? Okay, so I think you get eight questions. <laughs> the spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Uh, see, this is like another fucking little skill point. <laughs> or sorry, point of inspiration. You're right, I am being too precious with those. We like the XP though, obviously. Um, should we kill these rats? There's something up with these. Let them be, dude. Let them be. Okay. Uh, and then there was a treasure over here. There was a hint in there for how to defeat the beast that we're about to find. It wasn't apparent to me. Restore bardic inspiration. We'll take it for the cash, dude. Nobody, nobody's, nobody's, no, we have no inspiring bards. Okay. All right, all right, here we go. Friends is apparently bugged even more so with the latest patch. Sorry for the comment, doubly so. Basically killed a lot of my motivation to finish the game with previous bugs even though I'm close to the end. Rappy, you and I, we can do this. We don't need two dice. We can re we can survive with one. What's hiding here? We don't need friends. I've always said this. Oh, ponder the orb. You're right. There's a there's an orb hanging out on some stairs. Chat, you see that little statue butt for a second there? That statue's just got a cheek hanging out. <laughs> no, one, no one else was looking, Kyle. Alright. Alright, I'll take that. Yes. Get your arb. Orthons are immune to charm per 5th edition rules, so there's that. Okay. I mean, asking to be friends is different from charming someone, but I get it. So, it looks like we could take a different way down?
I, I'm going to take my elevator. Okay. All right, so we should take a break there. That's a nice natural stopping point for us, Jen. A stopping point. Uh, when we come from break, we're going to take the elevator down. You could probably have checked him mid-dialogue by switching characters and right-clicking him, but honestly, I ain't even doing that shit. Good to hear, chat. It's good to know you have limits, at least. Yeah. Good job. Even Gale made that jump. Good job, Gale. I, okay, here's the thing I actually like about that. There's a little bit of magic in the jump. The jump is impractical. Nobody can jump that high. But they have like a little bit of a boof. A little like a visual effect on the jump. Boof. You see what I'm saying? Oh, nobody else jumped. <laughs> There's people on Reddit saying that Friends works on different parts of the conversation with your gear, while others, it disappears. Yeah, well, that's a good spot for a save, no doubt. Your gear has always been kind of bugged. Oh. Can I get no, oh, yeah? I just won my first run of Bellatro. First of many. Not your last. Oh, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> Get him in. We never took that break, or we're about to right now. This is break time. I'm going to get on that elevator and see where it takes me. We're all going to do our best to respectfully not look at the statues behind. Keep going just like Kyle did with Nier Automata. <laughs> hey, I haven't hit credits for uh, Bellatro yet. Once I hit credits, I'll know my time is done with the game. I wonder why he did become a bunch of ashes after that fight. Gotta be like some like hell spawn thing. There are no credits to Bellatro? Okay, so I think that once I unlock every deck, I'm going to be done with the game. That's what I decided. I don't think I'll ever get every Joker. There are some unlocks that are so crazy. <laughs> Stay addicted. There are some unlocks that are like, uh... Discard a full house. I mean, I guess you could just do a run that's like, okay, chat, for this run, we're going to discard seven of seven of diamonds. I think is what it was like. Discard five seven of diamonds. It's like, that's our only goal for this run. Let's do it. Maybe that's what we gotta do, but yeah. They purposefully destroy some corpses so you can't speak with the dead. All right. Your Automata playthrough has ruined Splontot's life? <laughs> hey, not that's not, and that's not even the first life I've ruined. That's not even one of the first ones. Okay, uh, let us... Someone put Automata B through E on the docket. Yeah, I guess we could load up my save file and start with B. And I mean, I haven't played some of B. I kind of imply typically I hit credits and then I was done with the game. I played some of it, dude, and it was like, oh, it's really the same thing again. I couldn't hang out with that boy. I didn't like his hacking segments. There's a setting in Bellatro that unlocks everything so you can see what it all is, as well as reset it all. Like a cheat code? No, I didn't know about this. You can just you can just straight up say unlock everything in Bellatro? I'm about to quit that shit. <laughs> Uh, 
It's just a setting in the, in the profile options. Oh my god. What's the point of any of it then? Dev thought some people wouldn't want to do that, so he lets you unlock everything from the get-go. Yeah, of course some people wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> it disables trophies, though. Good to hear that. Good to hear that. I mean, you know, I'm playing on Switch where there are no trophies. That's such a... chat. it's a funny comp conversation to have, right? And it's not even like a matter of difficulty, but dedication. Like, I, I feel like, uh, Palatro's about just sticking to it. And I mean, honestly, also, you have to get lucky on some of those runs. If you don't have the right cards early, you're not ever going to get seven, seven of diamonds or whatever. Basically, you need that one, uh, astral card that randomly creates all of one, like, takes out, uh, makes every single card the same card, right? And you would have to luck into that being seven of diamonds. And you're like, you got it. You're going to get that one. What if you could play poker, poker and BG3? Then maybe I would understand the goatee praise. Then I would get it. In that case, I would absolutely get it. I would not question it at all. Um, all right, so let's take our quick break. Uh, statue time when we get back. See you soon, chat.
good track. <laughs> not even, not even, not even close. Don't even bother betting. Sorry, don't even bother voting. In real life, yes, go ahead. Um. Primaries happening in North Carolina this week. And if you happen to watch Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy, you're going to hear about it. <laughs> the ads are out of control. They have found this time slot where they believe older voters are watching and they fill every ad break with political ads. In North Carolina, it's a lot of, ooh, I forgot about this thing. No, 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 you've already done that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what this thing is. It's like, it's like a lot of like, uh, Republicans saying that the other Republicans don't love Donald Trump enough. <laughs> and that's really, that's really all they're saying about each other. Like this guy, this guy, he doesn't love Trump enough. It's so weird. It's so, so weird. Uh, can I get no, no for my entire apartment floor being fumigated because of one neighbor's roachy apartment? Yeah. Oh, oh no, but no, no. I think you're going to appreciate that. You know what I mean? All it takes is one Rochi apartment for all of them to become Rochi. I think, I think, I think you did the, I like, obviously it's going to suck. It's going to be a bad week, but they're doing what they got to do. There was a Nikki Haley rally one block from the gallery on Saturday and the vibes from the people coming from it we're fucking rancid. I do wonder, I mean, chat, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, we should not, but I do wonder who the Nikki Haley fan is. Did I hear Martin O'Donnell is running for Congress? Yeah, I think state Congress, right? But still. Save it for the political podcast. Okay, we'll save it. We'll save it. <laughs> Sometimes I do. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Sometimes I do just like reading my chat. <laughs> I think like that's a big difference between like a radio show or anything. You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes I like to sit back, take a sip of my coffee, and read my chat. <laughs> Derek, after dark, thanks for being a forty-two mother. I think it's time everyone admits that Tommy Pickles was a bad influence on Chucky. What the fuck? Are you shitting me? Chucky, what Chucky would be nothing without Tommy Pickles, nothing. And that's never more apparent than in Rugrats All Grown Up. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I got no problem trying this thing again. Pact of the Blade. Yeah, all right. I think we're good. Oh, do we got a choice of which direction we go in? No. The disc is moving. Might be useful to navigate this place. Be respectful, chat. 
It's just a statue. What is that about? All right, this one has three slots. I wonder if we can take the two slots from upstairs. Yeah, let's try removing them. You cannot. Yeah, so they're powering the other one. Uh, obviously, yes, I did as well also think to do a Dark Soulsian mid elevator drop, but uh, that was not an option. The dungeon master said no. <laughs> All right, so why don't you just go here? <clears throat> Needing more orbs is pretty crazy. So what that means is that uh, you have to interact with that demon one way or another. I mean, maybe you could stealth through and just uh, pick it up off his... We got... We went through here. Uh, pick it up off of his stairs. Let's see what this does. Have any Rugrats games aged well? Oh, there's a new one coming out this year. Uh, Rugrats PS1 has aged terrifically. The bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. That that's the one with the mini golf level. Yeah. What are we supposed to do here? Another puzzle room. Last one was a maze, where if you got too close to the belching ghost, you'd be sent back to the entrance and take one hit point of damage. Let's see what we have here. This is called the self-same trial. What mysteries await? I smell a trap. Okay. Good sniffing. Good sniffing. The self same trial. Oh. Shit. This is a trial of combat. All right. Funny we could just see them hiding, right? Luckily our party sucks. This will be our easiest fight yet. Okay. You got fun cheese for this fight. I'm not opposed to some fun cheese. Oh, and I'm so sorry. I did actually have one other question. Uh, so what's the other way to play out that um, Yargle interaction? Um, the other options seem to be like saying like, let me look around this dungeon. I'll find something for you. You unequip everything before going in. Then before the fight, you can equip them back up. Now that's an Elden Ring trick. That's filthy shit. Oh, we're so close. All right, a little more. A little more. A little bit more. Bro, critical misses? Come on now. All right. Um, your turn, Gale. Gale, you can't see the corner is too dark. All right, 
don't you like get up here? Indeed. Indeed. Ignis. Ignis. Your turn, Minvara. Oh no, it's not Minthara's turn. It's Gordius' turn. And he'll fucking he'll hang out in the dark, bro. Victory awaits. Alright, do you think she can jump up here? Yep, check this shit. Yeah. What a warrior! <laughs> ah. Cheater's folly! What what was cheater's folly, dude? Why did I do that? I didn't cheat. Do a shove? Can't. I did a big jump. Fresh orders. I really don't want to explain how to break his contract. It's a big spoiler. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't feel great that I am now allies with Raphael. That's scary. Yes. And then... Alright, here's the thing. I feel like the light is protecting us from their hits. But if I did this, we'd all be able to see each other. I'm not doing it. I'll let them struggle like we struggle. Psionic backlash! Do not react. Your turn, Gale. Gale versus Gale. Mirror match. Too dark, I say. Too dark. Too dark. Ignis. Ignis, bro. Oh. All right, should have counterspelled. That time he should have counterspelled. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> AI, AI Gale is like crazy, bro. <laughs> AI Gale is a menace. Dala. Dala. One day I'll catch a break. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. All right, so there's an invisible Gale out here. <laughs> All targets within the light turn visible. All right. I think I, I saw I saw him. There he is. Oh no, that's Minthara. Oh, I see. All we, we all turn invisible. All right. A little return shit. Let's go upstairs where the Gale can't hurt A us. A wise move. Victory awaits. God damn it! So close. All right, but I actually think I actually think if you jump and then attack, you can. I'll try. Yep. Oh. Critical miss! You gotta be shitting me. Oh my god. Not laser. Game you piece of shit. Ah! 
He said, not Lazel. What do I pick up? Oh, we need to revive somebody. No can do, my friend. All right. Oh, oh shit. It means you rolled a, rolled a one. Chat, do you have any idea how many ones I've been rolling? You have any I clue? Uh, we, I mean, we fucking lost this. Is, congrats, game. Good job. Here's what I hate about this shit. Is... The CPU doesn't have to take a long rest after this. <laughs> you know what I mean? The CPU can fucking burn all its resources. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to eat sausages. Just roll better, and maybe I can roll better this time too. Um, all right, so let's do this shit first. I am listening. So much bad shit happened there because it's like I'm in the dark, gamer. You can't see me. Okay. Can't give up now. I can't. Light on my feet. Where are you going, bro? Get there. Dulla! Dulla! All right. Your turn, Dale. All right, Gale, you got to kill a leaf. He does way too much damage. 55? Why? Why, 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 why? No, 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 no. You tell me why it's 55% chance when I'm right here above him. Why is it that? Why do I have a 55% chance of hitting this shot? Gale has good decks. All right. We'll keep it Gale v Gale then, because he's gonna do he's gonna do a fucking shadow step, and then he's gonna be like, on the move, doing three fucking spells. Okay, evil Gale is dead. We can win this now. We can win this now. Let me strike. All right, I don't think anyone else has like AOE shit, so there's really no disadvantage to us bunching up on the stairs, I think. Um, we could do so- I mean, she's got so much crazy shit. Can you hit anybody from where you are? No. Not that kind of range. Do something that, like, protects somebody, then. That's, like, mostly healing. I did not know Minthara is such a healer, dude. Target is too far. How about yourself? Okay. All right. Enter. Surprised, are you? 
You didn't expect this. Don't waste a step. All right, so who's the next biggest threat is the question. I think evil men. All right, dude. Dala. Dala. Critical miss, Chad, and that's another nat one. <laughs> it just happens a lot. Um. Hold person is not that bad, actually. I'll take a hold person. That's a waste of a turn, bro. Let's light them up. Light them up. Fireball! Just 13? I'd rather use my free spells, you know? Your command. Your command? Right away. Baby, when the lights go out. Counter spell. <laughs> she did have us fucking lined up. She did have a really nice spell that would have killed everybody there. All right, and nice we got her using action surge not to attack anybody, you know? That's really nice. CPU getting crits out here, I love it. Yeah, 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 I love your crits, they're awesome. Disadvantage on evil Minthara, why? Because you're threatened? Target is too close and you feel threatened? I don't feel threatened. Path is interrupted. All right, so this is a case where we can't use our best stuff because I feel threatened. 30% chance of hitting that shot. Dealt three damage, healed three damage. Waste of a turn. Okay. Uh, we still fucking have evil Lazelle next to us? So it's like, which one do we kill? Not you, bro, not you. Be mobile, right? What the fuck? There we go. She's electrified. Eighty-five percent chance of hitting evil lasers. You bow, or you break. <laughs> Weave, save me. I think she hit Gale. Much more. Why? Not enough move, god damn it, god damn it, god fucking god damn it. Alright. Alright. Okay. I speak, they burn. Uh-huh. Just do it then. Just like they're right fucking next to you, Gale. Target can't be ally. I'm not pointing at an ally. I'm not. I'm not trying to. You're just fucking stacked on top of each other. Good God. Too many hit points. Really too many hit points? Okay. All right. Then it's time for Grease. Yes. All right. Um... Where's your sword? Where's your damn regular attack? Ooh. 
What happened? God damn it. If I, I can, I can, yeah, I know not enough resources. Sure. Oh my God. All right. All right. Enjoy your turn game. Hit your shots. I hope you hit all your shots. All right. We charmed evil Minthara. Who got to walk all the way around. Zero attacks of opportunity. Holy shit. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, so Gordius was basically uh, enraged. So he couldn't do anything but attack. However... <laughs> The game, in his rage, made him walk backwards, so both of these two had attacks of opportunity. However, they both missed. The AI does, in fact, have some bad rolls sometimes. <laughs> Great. The AI is better at every character other than all right so she can't even like go over to attack me. what the fuck oh they were sleeping oh shit okay all right poof poof and then yeah let me um not enough resources oh i don't have that anymore because we didn't do our short rest okay shit then that would be an end turn All right, good Minthara. You can't reach that guy. He just keeps tucking himself back in. Yes, I can reach her. What do you mean I can't fucking reach her? Come on, game. What do you mean can't reach? <laughs> All right, fine. Let me just get Gale back to life. Get up. <laughs> All right, good job, Gale. Disarmed. And then can you get this? There you go. You're good with that. And then can you do some healing? No, that would... All right, let's do like a compelled duel to yes. evil Gorgons. Save himself. Okay. Your turn, good Gordius. All right, buddy. Eldritch blast your bad self. Oh, he's invisible. <laughs> what the fuck? Did he die? No, nah, he's still out there somewhere. Okay. Well, Eldritch blast. Sleeping evil Minthara. No fucking way that misses, bro. There's no fucking way that misses. That's incredible. Dolo. You rolled a one. Isn't it shocking how often that happens? All right, Gale. Why can't you do anything? Because he spent a turn waking up. Okay. And chat's like, uh, rotate your healing spells. We don't even fucking have any. All right. You need to hit these shots, please. Good. And again. Great. All right. Now we just have one evil Gordius dancing in the dark. <laughs> On your command. All these misses are why I'm a dirty save scummer. I get it. Mm. Karmic dice is off. Karmic dice is super off. All right, Gordius. Sh show thyself. We see you, bro. <laughs> All right. We see you, bro. Oh, cool. That's for somebody on your side. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I should be doing on these turns. Your turn, good Gordius. 
70% chance of hit. Dollar. Dollar, bro. Where are you running? Yes! Alright, bud. Alright, bud. Wake up. Such a frustrating fight, bro. <laughs> but that will fit in my back. Umbral Transporter. I think that would just take us back to the, to the front. I don't see any other reason to hang out here. Everybody's so hurt. Yeah, so let's use our little 12 more. Try yeah, I think Minthara has her mace still. I saw her pick it up mid-fight. But it didn't count. Didn't take. There you go. All right, why don't we all rest? Ooh, we cannot go to camp. Oh, because you're in like a red spot. Should Watch this. He'll be fine. Now we can. Ooh. Rough fight. Brother. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Old person is your strongest spell on human enemies, and I think you need to summon your spectral weapon. I mean, the thing is, I don't want Gordius to ever have to use this thing. There should be no need. But I'll do it for you, Chad. Uh, I guess it's a glaive. Different bolt. This one. Look to confirm. There we go. We packed it up. All right, go to bed. Drink your soups. Auto select for me, would you? Okay. Oh. Summon Shadow Buddy? I thought that was a one time deal. Can you do that multiple times? Every long rest, you can summon Shadow Buddy. Is there something you Not should tell me back, buddy? Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, let's wait on that then. Let's wait till we need it. Oh, what do you think of that? To the lever team. You have a button for that? I'm trying not to press it too much. Last until next long rest. Yeah, but I'd rather, um, oh, there's fucking rats over here. I'd rather, um, save it for like, uh, let's say we, oh. Gale, you're the leader? <laughs> Look at Gordius and Gale going up together. With apologies to the women. Gail and I have business. Uh, okay, this will be where we go once we get the third arb. Back down, Gail.
the button resets every time you do a long rest. <laughs> I said. Is there something you should tell me, big buddy? All right. All right. So I'm assuming this lever actually works like Dark Souls. If the elevator was up, that would make it come down. All right. So let's uh, let's see about this door, shall we? By the way, Gail, you're not the leader of this team. What is our next challenge? Whoa, look at that head. Faith Leap Trial. I don't want to do this one. I'm skipping this one. Another bowl bearing the stains Another of bowl. an ancient blood offering. They changed Dino Dance back to the original version. What a weird thing that happened, right? Very suddenly they changed like one of their most popular emotes to something that's like slightly better animated, but has like a uh, supposed to do less character, I guess. What am I supposed to do? No target. What am I supposed Breathe to do? Breathe deep and move. Everybody let Gordius handle this, all right? Where there once was three orbs of light, there are now two. Thank you, DM. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Your typical maze would have you go here. Your typical pedestrian maze. Fair enough. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. You're right. That is just annoying. <laughs> yeah, that is just annoying. You're right. You're not wrong about that, chat. They're like, they're like trying with like this and the, um, the maze. They're like trying mechanics that their engine can't fully make on my way fun on a video game level. No, 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 no. Just Gordius. Just Gordius. God damn it. God damn it. The level designers are writing checks that the game engine can't cash. All right. Moving in. Is that the map of the floor beneath your blood? So it is. So it is. So it is. So 
So, my mistake was just uh, going a little further here. Honestly, if we, if we make the right turn a little earlier, when we're perpendicular to the top of this, we got this. All right, memorize that shit, Jack. That's fucking tough. That's fucking tough. Oh, I guess you can just like, come back and look at it at any time, huh? <laughs> No, 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 that's on you, bro. That's on you. That's wrong. You're wrong about that. All right, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm stopping here, right? And then when I move forward, it's like, no, 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 you're falling off this edge. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. No, 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 no. I've, I refuse to believe that. Go a little deeper this time. This shit makes me miserable, bro. <laughs> How much further can I go? Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, a dungeon that is full of challenges is a cool game design thing. No matter what game you are, hell yeah. Hell yeah. We love that shit. It's a little before perpendicular. If you go all the way to the ledge, you will die. Okay. You can use your gas form spell to float over everything. Okay. All right, which one is that? What's the name of it and who has it? I think oh, this guy's got it. Around, so it might as well. <laughs> I fucking hate this shit, dude. I was right there, right? Like I was like, sorry. Yeah, I guess I was right here. We were standing still. We were fine. We were fine. We we're standing, right? And I moved forward. It's like, no, either we clipped this. That's the only thing you could have clipped because we died immediately. Gordius has it. Let's move. Bottom of right tray. Gaseous form. All right. Let's get to here. Swift as my feet can carry me. Let's get you to here. And then we'll turn into gas. Gas yourself up. You toss it, you toss it. And then we'll... Use the fly command while gas. Mutant. 
No hesitation. Okay, chat, chat, chat. If you, I, I, I love your dumb ideas. I fucking love them all the time. Here's the thing. If you don't know right now, no more tips. If you don't know, no more tips. That's bullshit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Joe Town, if you know, if fairy fire will work, yes. If you don't know and I'm just gonna die again, no more tips. <laughs> I used Misty Step and it worked. Well, it didn't work for me. Great tip. It did not work for me. Give yourself super get the Yankee jump. Jump to the other statues. It doesn't work. Oh my god, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. All right. All right. I've got five fucking tips in chat right now. Super jump on yourself. Misty Step. Click on the purple orb, let auto-pathing try it. I mean, chat, if you don't know at this point, I'm beyond frustrated. You super jump on yourself, it works, okay. This, I tried this shit. Is super jump something else? Is Githyanki Psionic's jump the super jump? <laughs> it's this, okay. Alright. Uh huh. Makte Batum. Makte Batum, bro. What's next? What's next? What's the next idea that we try? What's your next idea? What else do you have? <laughs> Separate your party. Maybe that's what happened there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet fucking Gale crushed us there. Okay, okay. That was Gale's fault. Mm, seems like the best way. <laughs> All right, so we're thinking that maybe some of chat's cheesy solutions were patched out. I'm thinking that the developers of this game felt emboldened by winning, winning so many Game of the Year awards <laughs> that they truly thought this was, in fact, good game design. <laughs> And it was wrong for anyone to try to cheese it. All right, fairy fire level one evocation spell. All targets within light turn visible and attack rolls against them have advantage. All right, break everybody up. Minthara, she's got the fairy. Hey. Perhaps you are not worthy of my embrace, child. Why'd she say that? Yeah, and then using the light mace to anybody who asked that, uh, it does not, like, clear the shadow. <laughs> You're fine. Fairy fire the floor, not the party members. Okay. Why would they why would they patch this to like make it make creative solutions not work? <laughs> Some fucking designers like it's actually it's so fucked people are fairy stepping past my clever maze. <laughs> I'm furious, bro. All right. In your Do name. You use this spell on the floor. I saw something. I saw something there. The platforms are there. At 
ones. I like chat's idea of just like saving every time we stop. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Dancing lights should have infinite use. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do shit. Do you see the platforms now, chat? intent. God, that was annoying. A Bopo, thanks for being a 43 monther. I missed it. How did he do it? Okay, so I did have a slight memory of the map I was supposed to take, right? For some reason, every time we tried to walk forward here, we were just very, we were extremely censored, centered, excuse me. Every time somehow we'd clip this or somehow we would like clip this right so we just started jumping we jumped to here then we jumped to here we jumped to here uh we jumped to like here and then we got in update the guides chat <laughs> advance look at these fucking rats what are you up to little rats Advance. Oh, let's party up. The DM is displeased at your solution. Oh, we never got in here, though. Did we? I choose to ignore this room. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. As the player, I am making the choice to ignore it. No, thank you. Did I save? I did indeed. Fair question, though. <gasps> uh, what? Oh, the rat bit us. Minthara is uh, immune to uh, infection. Gear there? I don't give a fuck. Paladins are immune to disease. I forgot about that. I think that is so funny. Villian Dimitru could never have a disease. <laughs> Alright, we all good? Let's mosey. There's a spell called Daylight that illuminates the platforms. However, none of the party 
is the right class, sure. At your word. And I'm sure the daylight is fundamentally different from the dancing lights. <laughs> I'm sure there's an excellent justification for why dancing lights didn't work and daylight would. In lore. No doubt in my mind. At least things have stayed interesting. With haste. They think all of these things. Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. My hands on everything. There it is. Yes! Oh, we're gonna touch that relic. Get our filthy little nits on it. Candles receive condition burning. Oh, how fancy. So Gale loves Gordius, correct? Gordius loves Minthara, yes. Minthara doesn't care about Gordius, and Lazel is just watching the shit show. And Dragon Smacking, do I have that right? Yeah. Um I feel like uh Anything of use. There was a moment where Lazel was interested in some raw boning. We had just slaughtered a bunch of innocent people, and she was like, I feel the blood of- I still- I smell the blood of them on you. Give me your body. Let us savage each other. Ravage each other, excuse me. She said, let us ravage each other. But then- since then, she hasn't- she hasn't been like that, you know what I mean? We don't speak about Shadowheart here. Is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. So I'm picking up the vibes that, uh, for most playthroughs, like, sh this place is important to Shadowheart. Depending on your choices, the state of the region could change, and some active quests may become unavailable. Yeah. Take me in. As you step into the silent it determines water, her hairstyle a Got foreign it. dread travels through you it curls its way up your leg squeezing tight Chat says, if you do this mission without her, she leaves the party. That's so funny. I love shit like that. Honestly, there are more parallels in this game to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League than Chat is comfortable to admit. I knew you would do my bidding, even though you pretended otherwise. Otherwise. Is Lisa Frankenstein good enough for me to abandon this stream? Wait, as a username? Lisa Frankenstein is awesome. Soon to meet the woman I have the biggest crush on. Now, Mimi Moonbeam, that counts. I know, like, we got loosey goosey spoiler rules here, but that would count as a spoiler to me. That's like a. Look, this next part is going to be good level spoiler. 
You know, I don't want to hear that. That's that's essentially the same as like, man, Act 3 really pops off. <laughs> that's here it comes. That's here it comes. That's a here it comes, should we tell him level spoiler. All right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm really sorry. There's something important happening in the story right now, but chat is telling me that Lisa Frankenstein is not a clever username, but the name of a movie. Is Lisa Frank the binder and folder artist involved at all? It's a movie written by Diablo Cody and directed by Zelda Williams. Is there any like pink and blue tigers? No. Okay. All right. Only the name and the era. Correction, Minthara can learn daylight. I'm not teaching her daylight. That's not who she is. Okay, um... I cleared the way to this place, not you. Why shouldn't I just kill you instead of letting you interfere? Lean on, then. Gladly. And once proceedings begin, please show some wits and do not interfere mm. oh he's got a good float bro I had Lisa Frank platform sneakers when I was eight and I'm disappointed that there's no blue Under, leopard print in the game Move. as if the softest push could send them drifting away first step is the hardest I said jump Oh, okay. I thought... Shit. I thought because of what he was saying that we'd have a uh, low grab. I think you do. Oh, just in particular spots. Got it. Who are you? Just other justiciers. Excuse me? Justiciers? Justiciers. Hell yeah, dude. You got it. This... This one said kill her. I don't know about that, dude. I kind of want to fight these guys. Yeah. Does this count as platforming? Yes. All right, we're not coming down here for a fight. Chat thinks this is an epic boss fight that's about to happen. Yeah. Not on my watch. There are four gold coins in there. Singular of Sorrows, one HP on this man. Dolo. Dolo. Let us make short work of this. How is this guy still alive? Ray of sickness. I hex you. Rough tempest I will raise. Your magic against mine. 
yours against mine. He <laughs> fucking fell over, bro. <laughs> Oh, that's good shit. Yeah, right. Nice. I thirst for combat. Me too, me too. Taking a position. Sunbeam! Blast! Dola! Fool! You think striking down my body will be the end of me? Take exit. Was it everything you hoped for? Was it sweet, Sharon, to murder a paladin of Saluna? Her daughter? Her sword? What are you talking about? Congratulations. Your mistress, Shah, will write your name on her hand. What? I don't know what you're saying to me. I will come for you. When the time is right. When your sons are grown. And your beard is long and wiry. When you cannot hold your nightly water, and your nose grows as long as your weary, weary days. Love this music right now. That is when this immortal will visit you, Sharon. That is when I will show you what it is to be afraid. You counterspelled his army. That was sick. I didn't know you could do that. So get, apparently at the beginning of that fight, he summons a whole little stupid army. And so it was made way easier for us because uh, Gale had an immediate counterspell. Um, all right, I gotta be honest with you, chat. I have no idea who Night Song is. There's like 15 guys in that fight normally. That's nice. Thank you, Gale. Chess is no shit. <laughs> Chess just says, yeah, no shit. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to say I'm sorry. I'm actually, this is rare. I'm going to say I'm sorry. Ha. Are you afraid, Sharon? Do you rattle and jump? At the realization that an immortal has your face emblazoned in her mind forevermore? Run along now! Go tell your darling Master Ketherick what a good boy you've been. I do not serve Ketherick. I've come to talk, make him vulnerable. A blood sporter then? Yes. No, Sharon. What? But a killer without cause. Oh! What sickness plagues Faerun? But perhaps an inoculation to make the sickness less catchy. If you seek to harm Ketherick, our aims are aligned. Yes, yes. If you seek to make him vulnerable, your task is done. Open this cage. She's very convincing right now. Is that all it takes? That and nothing more. So certain was Balthazar that I had no friends in this place. Oh, how he taunted and cajoled. But if you are a friend, you can be my salvation. I'm not a friend. I'm not a friend.
You know what's funny is, um, play, playing Infinite Wealth, uh, with subtitles. And whenever they say friend, they say Tomodachi, which I only know from Tomodachi Life, the, the uh, 3DS game. They say Tomodachi. <laughs> um... I'm gonna do as she asked. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just do as she asks. Minthara will never be free as long as J.K. Simmons breathes. Scroll options. Attack or no are the other options. All right, Night Song. <laughs> Jess is no shit. Yeah, all right. So we don't we don't know really what kind of a threat this woman is, but she just you know what I mean. She just like she's a good speaker. She she's she makes a convincing argument. She has conviction. High charisma, yeah. Shit, here we go. Yes. This is cool as fuck. The music right now? I am resplendent. I agree. You have injured me, soldier. But you have given me a great gift, too. It is your turn. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. Thank you. So too must be your weapon. It's all right. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said, thus will it be so. Are you ready? Ready for what? <laughs> what just happened? I guess, chat, I mean, I guess we as dragon smackers, we just say, like, give me a weapon. She doesn't think you have a weapon since yours is invisible. <laughs> it's true. She can't see this shit. She is an Azamar. She's literally half angel. She is a direct champion of the goddess of the moon, Selun. Would Kyle be interested in reading the script for the canceled Coyote vs. Acme movie? The whole script leaked? That might be a fun thing to do at some point. A read through of that entire movie would be really, really fun. I do think it's highly illegal. Okay. Oh, and it shall be yours. And then we're going to kill Ketherick Thorn. Hmm. 
There's another streamer doing that right now, FYI. Is it Yerma? She's healing the land? Oh, this is not who we are. This is not us. Oh no, we've cured the land. What have we done? The land was annoying for us, yeah. Catherine is vulnerable now. We should hasten to Moonrise, lest our angelic friend kills him before we have a chance to. A lot of XP for that, bro. Go away. Um, we need. We freed Nightsong and have been blessed by Saloon for saving Hodolta. You receive the Moonlight Glaive! It's not even that good, bro. This object shines with a glowing light in a radius of six meters. Weapon enchantment plus two. I mean, all right, we'll take it. I kind of like the invisible weapon, but we'll take it. Gorgeous. What's so funny is like, uh, all right, so let's say you have like a weapon like this in this world, right? Bestowed upon me by a god. Um, what does that sell for? 380 gold. Gorgeous isn't proficient with it. Oh, watch this. Now he's proficient. Will it show the shadow maze's path? I am not I'm not going back down there. Gale with a lamp still. <laughs> yeah, he's just walking around with a lamp in his hand. <laughs> Poor Gale, dude. He's such a weirdo. And he's like so essential to this party too. Circle of Bones! Allied undead within six meters are resistant to bludgeoning. Oh, I do have a spell that um summons a dead guy. But Psionic Revenge has been really good for Gordius. Summon Golem Bell. Uh oh, you can only use it in, you can only use it here in this area. Damn. That's awesome. Soul Cage Research. Gordius reads the book. Rambling notes in a spidery, jagged hand fill the volume. They speak of a soul cage, binding the life force of one of to that of another. A crude drawing shows two figures side by side. The one on the left appears to have a dagger protruding from its chest while the other one on the right has a corresponding wound in its own chest. Weird. Two figures side by side. One on the left appears to have a dagger protruding from his chest, while the one on the right has a corresponding wound in its own chest. Soul cage. Remember that. Uh, I mean, we'll take all of it. The bell is only worth one gold, unfortunately.
You already opened the soul cage. What are you talking about, chat? This thing? What's There's nothing in these piles of bones. Here goes nothing. That's what Night Song was trapped in. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I guess we could go into his room and take all the shit. I guess we could do that. Oops, no. Doesn't work like that. Is he deeper still? Oh yeah, there's traps in here. Part of my snorts. It is deeper still. There's a teleport you can use. That's right. Yes, there is. Uh-oh. Okay. Not quite what I wanted to do, but I did do it. Yeah, we touched so many. I thought you could just fast travel to those. Maybe they're only escapes or something. Gauntlet of Shah is the one you want. Okay. Come back. Party, come back. <laughs> I like seeing them hustle on over here. Gauntlet of Shah. Where is your office? I believe it's up here. Oh my god, dude, this map. Don't be intimidated. Alright, this is where we killed that demon. Raphael's not heard about that yet, by the way. I think this is the office all the way down here. So I think you're actually going the right way. What's happening? Just some splotches. All right. Did we visit Shar's feet? No, does something cool happen down there? Um. I wonder what happened to that Lisa Frankenstein who was in here. So I'm sorry, chat. It seems like uh, what we did was like the main thing that everybody does on their playthrough. It seemed like we did the absolute good boy best path thing to do. You. I mean, I guess we'll take. All Uh, if you're with Wish I had a bag of holding Stormbringer I wish I had a bag of holding he says Is she happy with that shit or is she mad about it Ooh, give me some veggies Yeah 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 Give me that dried pork sausage 
All right. Uh, surprisingly pretty weak uh, loot in here. Treasure chest on a ledge, you say? Treasure chest on a ledge, you say? A gilded chest, even. All right, we'll just get over here first. You don't have to make a big deal out of everything, Gordius. That should work. Uh, kind of weak loot. Speak with rats. I cannot speak with the rats. Oh, you picked up a potion of animal speaking. Stormbringer has to choose whether to defect to Saloon or to stay with Shar. Do it, trust us, Kyle. I chat, I only got one of these potions. I only have one. I have but one of these potions. You'd have me use it to, uh, to talk to some rats. I'll do it. Why is Gale so hurt right now? <laughs> I don't know. Gale's fucking hurt, bro. I think he stepped on a trap. All right, we'll take a ring. Thanks, bro. Do a short rest for Gale? No way. They have a New York accent in my dreams. What door are you talking about? What are you talking about? All right, chat, guide him to the feet. We're not going to the feet. It drives me crazy that this chat likes statue feet more than statue butts. You have health potions? Barely, 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 barely. They're not worth using on this one guy when there's no imminent threat of combat. Gale doesn't deserve it. The king rat is still there. The others are gone. The followers. All right, we're going to talk to this rat and then we can take our quick break. What's up for discussion? Unworthy. Unworthy to walk among friendly bones. Leave. Talking of you, intruder, invader, unworthy one. These halls are not for you. Back off, bub, or I'll be scraping your guts off the heel. Try it. A lot more guts than you'd expect. A lot more. Chai, you said this shit was worth it. You explicitly said worth it. I'm gonna kill this little rat. He says a lot more guts than you expect. Target is too close. Okay. 
How about now, bro? Dalla, bro. Now what? Can't target beasts. This is but step one. Now we go to the feet. All right, I'm going to those feet. I'll go to the feet. Chat sees an absolutely caked up statue like this and they say, I gotta see those feet. This is just wild. It's not a bit. This is a, chat says it explicitly that it is important to go to the feet. All right. All right. Let's go. Should I follow them? You kill many, but many remain. Stop! Spare our lives or face my teeth and claws. Every little death fills my head with more thoughts. It's too much, too painful. Kill one more of us and you will pay. There are treasures. Useless to us now, but once they had value, meaning, we hid them away, untouched for a lifetime. Keep your word, and we will reveal them to you. Now we're talking. And you better be true to your word. I am small, but we are many. Now fetch your prize and leave. Where is it? Where is it, rat? Charin provisions, you say? Yeah. All right, so this is where we get to the feet. By the way, Lazel hated that we negotiated with that rat. How am I going to get over there, chat? I think we can Dark Souls jump mid traversal. No. <laughs> Perhaps not. Save? All right. There it is. I was pressing the wrong button. I pleaded, I bargained, I warned. You didn't listen. You made me remember again, hurt again. I am coming for you, all of me. Did I land on one?
They saw that as a threat. You crushed a rat. That's crazy. Dulla, bro. Oh, I think he's dead. And Tropic Ward. <laughs> Gordy is up here fighting alone. What is the rest of the party doing? Blazel, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, no, 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 we're doing Gordius time. Breathing, despite everything. Um, I don't think we got any. We can't. We can't do shit, dude. I don't have AOEs. Yeah, it's a reload. Misty step away chat. We still we had three HP. We had three HP. Hunger of Hadar I did not equip because chat was saying that would hurt my partners. Wrong button. I wonder if a regular jump would do it here. It would. Y'all you all want to party with me? Do we have a target? Yes. Ugh. Action, not reaction. Your desire. You can access the loot. Again, doozing. Look where we are right now. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Sure. You can access the loot going near where you face the demon. But look where we are right now. <laughs> what do you well, look where we are? Let's go. Yeah, I think I accidentally jumped on top of a rat. Minus six HP. How do I get down there without hurting myself? Oh, cracked rock. I pleaded, I bargained, I warned. You didn't listen. You made me remember again. All right, I'll fucking kill you all. I don't understand. No, 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 no. I didn't touch another fucking rat since your deal. I will kill you all. Get a life. Dolo. Dolo, bro. I am fury. I am death. It's not through here. Ganduzin! Stop! <laughs> it's okay! What do you want me to do? You want me to walk away? <laughs> Stop. My path be true. Good rat kill. Good rat kill. One can't always be a gentleman. Um, I wonder if you've got some AOE shit. I got grease. Sure. Yeah, that's the thing is everybody said Kyle go to the feet, the feet go to the feet. It's not a joke. Go to the feet. I'm here, and there's Ganduzin in chat being like, it's, he shouldn't be now. It's not through here. Oh, why are you here? It was like, what are, what are you, chat? I'm about to lose my damn mind playing this game. It's, a, it's about to be gone. <laughs> I will not fail. This game makes fools of my chat. Not enough movement. All right. 
Well, let's do our light beam. Nah. How's BG3 going? Moments of it have been excellent. Ooh, they got tadpoles. No way, no way they get out of my grease. There's no way you got out of my grease. Yeah, fucking right. All right. Dulla. Dulla. Wait, that just summoned more rats? All right. Yeah, because here's the th here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. Chat's like, yeah, you killed one already. It's like, yeah. On the second rat I, I talked to, it said, bro, I saw you kill that rat. Don't do it anymore. I'll take you to the treasure. I said, okay. All right, don't worry about it. I won't. But then, I, the next rat I saw said, I warned you! Ah! Hold on, I warned you! And then chat's like, yeah, this actually makes sense. And then my chat is like, yeah, 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 this actually checks out. You did kill a rat. It's like, I know I killed a rat. And then I said I wouldn't do it anymore. And I didn't do it anymore. Look at this heart. Done. These rats can't keep it up forever. Just have to outlast them. Victory awaits. Gale can fireball? Here's the thing. Gale can fireball once. Gail's got, Gail's got like two fireballs. Death is but a word away. Okay. On your command. Absolutely. No more tips from chat. Absolutely no more. After we're done with the statue's feet. I'm not even going to listen to another another one dumb thing you tell me to do. <laughs> Absolutely no more. No moss. Charm that rat. <laughs> Tried to smack it with his lantern? Why? The fireball killed three rats. I wish it killed ten rats. There's fucking 10 rats on the screen right now. <laughs> ah. Dolo. Dolo. What happened? You killed that rat and it put her to sleep. Okay. It is not this character's turn. Well then fucking, I don't give a shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck. 
End turn then. I, what do you want me to do exactly? Click the green hand. Okay. A cleave move would allow me to hit more people. I think Minthara's got some cleaving shit. I guess not. Narcoleptic burst when they die. She doesn't have any good potions. She's gonna die. Mangus, thanks for being a 40 monther. Bring back the sexy knee cam. No, that's done. You won't be seeing that again. Well, I mean, that rat is sleeping. Dala. Dala. Time to strike. I'm not trying to target self. I'm not tense, I'm like incredibly unhappy. I fucking chat, I fucking hate this shit. Do you know what I mean? I actually like, I'm actually like mad that you like told me to come down here. Imagine this is like an FF7 rebirth, I'd be having a blast. <laughs> I'm so mad about this. I'm going I'm going to spitefully crit path the game after this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to game FAQs. I'm gonna be like, what quest next? What quest next? I'm so mad about like fucking go to the feet. We're not joking the feet. Like this is really important. I'm furious about this, bro. To be fair, this is not how I remember this fight going down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we can't win. We're about to lose. That's the thing is we're out of shit. This party doesn't win this fight. I'll go till we die. A tale for the ages. Yeah, we're out of fireballs, dude. <laughs> that's, what, that's seriously like chat. It's such bullshit advice to like chats like you got to use fireball, dude. Sure, it's gone now. I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. And now he's sleeping again. I fucking hate this shit. Lilalo. Lilalo. Reload, ignore the fight, and we tell you what would have happened? I don't even want to know, bro. I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, here's the, th here's the thing. 
this fight, it was it was cute and good after the second rat phase. All right, here we go. Lacerate, I think, is the sweep, right? But we get two kills doing uh, this shit. I think you should stick with that shit. Dolo. Dolo. It was cute for a moment. I like it's I, like we get what they're doing. Cleave, swing your weapon, attack up to three enemies. That's what we're talking about. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Couldn't shove the rat. I did not mean to do both of them on that one rat. Damn. Camera kind of fucked me there. Dola. Cleave? Must take a short rest to cleave again? Come on now. I'm not pressing the button. I'm mad at you, Chad. I'm not pressing the button. I won't give you the satisfaction. These hands. Too big. Where are the others? Where's the rest of me? You! Why did you have to keep trying? Why couldn't you just leave? The Thindor. Last dark justicia. I kept watch over Lady Shah's temple. Kept the faith alive. I'd love After to kill him, but we have one HP. The entire party has one HP. But you ruined it. Trespassed. Spoiled our... My secret. Now, you will rot in the dark. Fair enough. And now I'll make you into an offering for Lady Shah. Okay. Let's go, Bob. Gale's still dead? God damn it, Gale, wake up! Gale's inspired, just dead on the floor. Wow. At least walk over here. Gail's like, wow, that was pretty cool. Um, all right, so I'm wondering if a quick save here is just doomed. Um, is it possible to win this fight? Well, I mean, it's not. It's you get several quick saves. That's right. Oh, nice crit. We love those. Fresh orders. 
fresh orders from me. Daze him. Okay. So fast, bro. He got everybody sleeping. Bro, you can't possibly miss those. 25% chance, bro. She can. Perry. Not Lazel. <laughs> Not Lazel. <laughs> Fuck off. All right, you need to go revive everybody, okay? Get, wait, get, wake up, Gale. Wake up, Lazel. Give me your shit. Give me your shit. Okay. Do you mean to not having Mintharas smites on? No. Chat, I don't know what it fucking means to have smites on. Moonlight butterflies. Strike a foe conjuring an illusionary swarm of moon pale butterflies granting advantage on attacks against the target. Yeah, I mean, like, generally, chat, I'm always going to prefer to do Eldritch Blast if we're talking about Gordius. We get two of those. And then they're all they're also buffed because of a lot of our brain worms. It's so, like, generally, yeah, we could be using our melee weapon, but... The rat treasure is upstairs. We're getting it after the break. The reason to come down to the feet was just to have a ridiculous tough fight against a dozen rats. You can have the game ask if you want to smite on a hit. Check passives. All right, chat. More. More, 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 more. Tell me more shit. No, I don't know how to check passives. <laughs> it's why I fucking hate this game. <laughs> Look at all of the buttons down here. <laughs> Look at this shit. Why is there a shovel there? Why is there a shovel right here, right next to the spells that are like the best thing I could possibly do? <laughs> I'm going crazy. Words at the bottom of the screen. Passives. Okay. Minthara. What's next? Passives. No, I don't see anything about smiting. On pallid. They must mean reactions. If you go to the spellbook screen, you should be able to click ask. The spellbook screen? DM, I open the spellbook screen. Exactly. I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, chat, here's the thing. For like things like that, you have to tell me the commands to get to it. Just go on break. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on break. Press K. Okay, spellbook screen. Reactions. Divine Smite. She doesn't have that shit. Takes a spell level 2 spell slot. Divine Smite on Critical Hit. We do have that, though, I guess. You have them all, it's just not clicked. Got it. Bro, I'm beside myself. 
this fucking game. So this is why it always asks if you do a charm. I'm beside myself, brother. All right, so ask on crit. There we go. Shall we move on? No, 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 no. I'm in here, bro. I'm in here. Um, unfortunately, chat has lost the right to tell me where to go. Because <laughs> the feet fucking sucked. I'm going to keep the feet up over break. Lap these feet in, okay? Lap them up. Visually commit these feet to memory. Because this sucked. None of this shit was worth it. What did I ask? I asked one thing. I was like, yeah, chat, if there's a cool thing that is worth it, I'll do it. I'll go and do it. This was not that. I was pretty explicit about that. There's a summoning circle. Yep, it's right there. The ritual circle has a note that was the point alongside the guy. Are you somehow implying when I go over there and read the point, I'm going to say, yes, Chad, it was worth it to come to the feet. All right, here we go. Where's the point? Where's the note? A simple task. In each of us, is more than what we are. Parts are in multitudes that form our thoughts, desires, nature itself. Manifold are the creatures inside you, and what you can become when you speak my words is all your parts made manifest. Your weakness can become strength if it is made legion. Waking hearts can find courage in their numbers. The lowliest vermin can humble a Goliath if they stand as an army. And a ruin can become a kingdom, for one soul made many. Speak Itori Mustag thrice, become your finest self. All of them. Raphael. This speaks of magic that can divide someone into many. But many what? Minthara. 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 What do you think, Minthara? <laughs> she said, but many what? <laughs> uh, uncheck the top option in the list you were looking at. Poor Minthara. Alright. Uh, that was you press K to bring this one up. Okay. There you go. I'm not even gonna read the rest of the comment. It's unchecked. I'm not even I'm not even gonna look at that shit anymore. So that's why the demon always had an audience? The other check, lol. Oh my god. Alright, here's what chat... Do you understand why this is frustrating? You probably want to uncheck that top option in the list you were looking at for Minthara, or else it will auto-use a spell on every weapon hit if I'm reading that right, but someone can tell me if I'm dumb and misreading that. I went in there. I unchecked the top check, and then chat says, oh no, whelp. The other check, lol. I'm going to fucking lose my mind, dude. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. The left side check. Uh-huh. Okay. And then I guess we'll recheck that. All right, break time. See you on the other side, chat.
We're back, baby. Fucking pole. This fucking pole. In case you want the lore behind the beats rats. Nope. But next, next comment. <laughs> so, Jurger couldn't find the last Justiciar to kill to be set free from Raphael and the temple, but Raphael trolled him by giving that one Justiciar a ritual spell to hide in as many rats for years, helping your gear, keeping your gear forever trapped. So tell me this. We did have that option. I was able to tell your gear, your gear. I was able to say, hey, let me look around. I might find a solution to this. It sounds like I could have come down here, killed all those rats, and then he would have been free. Can you talk about, to chat about what sorts of things you're looking to do in this game and what you want to avoid? No. No. Bro, I'm so, I'm so, I'm like beyond over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like beyond giving a shit. Kyle likes to, I like to avoid fights. That is true. Yep. But if there's like, oh, I can't wait till he meets like the the goblin who has a magic carpet and takes you up into the sky and you go to the egg realm. And then once you hatch a couple of eggs, you gain wings. You know what I mean? I don't give a shit. I can't wait to see his reaction to the egg realm. I will skip the uh, egg realm. From now on, this is my playthrough. <laughs> There's a treasure room that requires a 30 roll to get in. No, next. <laughs> Crunchy vinyl, thanks for being a 12 mother. Congrats on the year. Lower the difficulty and make it a story playthrough. Here's what I found historically. Lowering the difficulty to make combat easier ruins games. It makes me not give a shit about leveling up or unlocking new abilities or anything. Uh, Adel does. Thanks for being a 19 monther. You already don't. No, that's not true. I like leveling up. I like leveling up. I like leveling up. Any suggestions to do a thing that will result in the thing not being done? Nope. Don't give a shit. You had your chance and you took me to the feet, chat. <laughs> These feet represent your failure, not mine. <laughs> just showed up. Things are looking bloody, lol. Yeah, so we just killed like 50 fucking rats. And I, I think why I enjoyed it less was the game had just done that with the orbs, right? I, I'm never pleased. Never ever pleased in an RPG where it's like, okay, you think this is the proper amount of enemies. They're right here on the UI. This is everything. Actually, here's more. Never pleased. Never happy to see that. We're just gonna do a short Battle awaits. Um We've had a few of those tonight. Orders received. What did I get for doing this? Shit, I got a sword. I got a, I got a, like a fucking dagger. Ooh, I don't know how to get back up from here. We might have to just teleport. I think so. Crazy, actually. I don't know if there's a way back up. I shall investigate. You're going to be with this game for a while. Let us know what you want from chat. Only answers to my questions. Hey, hey. Minthara found something. Good shit. Only answers to my questions.
If I'm about to miss your favorite character in your favorite cutscene, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. Leave her handle? That wasn't like that before. Yeah, that's weird. Everybody on. Everybody on. Okay. Uh, use lever handle? Use. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? We've used this elevator before. The lever was right in the middle. Would I can reconsider respecking Gale into a barbarian? Nope. You should get a separate menu if the lever was for that. Yeah, right? You would click on this thing and it would say you could use it. The elevator is just broken now. That's so crazy. All right, all right, all right. We got a trick, though. We got a trick. Watch this shit. Uh, you? No one back home will ever believe this. He said no one back home would ever believe this. If any of you for me. Alright, we're huffing it. <laughs> Alright. What now? Follow the hand. Just warp out. Uh I still gotta get that rat treasure. You think I'm gonna slaughter a bunch of rats and then not take their treasure? These boots have seen everything. Madness. The treasure was the feet we met along the way. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, okay, so if you go down there and... You haven't yet killed a rat. You know what I mean? If I was nice to that rat on his little throne, I do think that plays out very different. No, no, no. Well, shit. Softer than a whisper. No, no, no. Don't be softer than a whisper. I just need you to jump. No, not that jump. The regular jump. Gordius, where's your jump, bro? It's normally here. I think you just press Z. No, stop whispering. <laughs> Wonder if the gods are watching. <laughs> Veggie Burger. <laughs> Thank you for being a 14 monther. Sorry about the rats. We're through. They're all gone. No more apologizing. They're all gone. Uh. Could that be the rat treasure? Yeah, that's. No, just keep walking. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. <laughs> and stop skulking. <laughs> C to walk normal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There we go. be on my way. Ooh, uh, shit. I actually can't get there from here, can I? No. 
I guess we just gotta drop. Did I tell Mucho I killed a bunch of rats? Yeah, Mucho, he, uh... He wanted to understand why I was so enraged. It took me a long time to explain all that shit. Yeah, how do I get down there? Don't do what I do, team. This is Gordius only. Not enough space. Yeah, right, dude. All right, super. Dumb. Don't do what I do. Target is too far. Well, go there. <laughs> you did the rats and Sharon first try, though. So genuine well done with that. If uh, I'm mad at them. They win. Get up. Can't control knockdown. Get up then. There you go. I don't think you understand. The rats defeated me. I killed them, but they won. Alright. So, our stone dart has this lit up, and I think I gotta put that mirror in there? No, it's just the same texture with different lighting. Okay. So what is this shit? Not be cursed. The mirrors here seem to not reflect light, but devour it. It's like, you know, when Obi-Wan Kenobi says, strike me down. And the forces of good will become tenfold stronger. Chamber of Command. Same shit. I killed the rats, but in doing so, chat doesn't tell me where to go anymore. <laughs> the original purpose of the sacred mirror has been lost to the ages. Some suppose that it was the result of Telamont Tantul's attempts to delve into the Shadow Fell itself in the time before the folly of his master Carson's. Others claim it is only became an object of devotion after the fall of Netheril, when the law-stricken survivors of the floating cities found comfort in Lady Shah's embrace. What is certain is that many of the Night Singer's faithful claim to feel some echo of her power and majesty when in the presence of Mira, even though it is shattered. They are often said to feel lesser once they step away from the mirror. Hence the name it has become commonly known by. Our scholars continue to study it, but alas, its true nature may continue to elude us. Perhaps if the Dark Lady indulges us, she will reveal another of these holy relics for us. So that we may feel the full power of her embrace. I don't know if we got a clue there and what the what's going on with that mirror. But yeah, I expected this. Oh, mirror of loss. Now that's a mirror. It was magic. The mirror is shattered and beyond any use. But it's shattered now. Yeah, right. Beyond any use. Gazing into the broken mirror serves no purpose. The reflection it offers is like a dizzying kaleidoscope. How peculiar. A silver key. A gilded What's chest. Hiding here? Arrow of solving. Kill your target of poison, paralysis, or blindness. Alright. Dragon's Horde! <laughs> Minthar is just like, hey, we got a lot of money. I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. Alright, chat. 
This is me asking you. What do I do in this room? I don't I don't know what to do with the rat's treasure. In darkness truth, in shadows justice. In the dark lady's name always. Nobody remembers. Huh. I guess we can leave the rat treasure to be a mystery. The mirror of loss. Cracked. There was a mirror outside here. That's just a regular mirror. I mean, that's no regular mirror, my friend. The mirrors here seem to not reflect light, but devour it. It says the mirrors here, so I actually think that mirror is not that special. The So this is not actually the rat treasure is what Chad is telling me. The rat treasure is right next to the small mirror to the left of it. Copy that. Oh, yeah, there was a question mark on the map. No doubt. Yep, 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 yep. Good call. Uh, all right. I guess we leave this large cracked mirror alone. Should be a key by the mirror. I did take a key. I got a key. Yeah, the rat treasure is like here. Can I get a big, can I get an oh yeah for a big thunderstorm? I love when it rains, honestly. Me too, I fucking love that shit. Oh yeah. <gasps> a loose tile. Now, to be fair, I should have expected the rat treasure to be shit. It was just the fucking rat guy. <laughs> He's got a little fucking like bat wing in there. It's like, yeah, that's what I'm like, all right. No, 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 that's on me. That's like, yeah, they're rats. Exactly. <laughs> All right, take me out of here. Take me out. Take me to the moonrise now. All right, so uh, I think I got to camp again, unfortunately, because what we're going to do is we're going to walk in here and kill J.K. Simmons. This is the woman from the cutscene who we never met otherwise. You left your party behind in the dungeon. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Catch up, will you? <laughs> the group's too far away. Okay. There we go. They were checking out that statue's butt. All right. I'll uh, save here. Instead of doing a full rest. <gasps> we're doing a short rest. Assume nothing. No rest for the wicked, I see. Yeah, we didn't refill our spell slots, but I think we'll be okay. All right. 
Let's go. We'll venture forth. There's an illithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. What corpse are you talking about? Which one? Who said that? Ah, uh, we like a key. Oh! Not proficient with heavy armor. Who is? Reaction. Can you handle that shit? Yeah, it's the same. Oh, okay. It's actually the same shit she's already wearing. You need my expertise. Yeah, can you wear that? Yeah. I'm gonna give her that plus honestly that plus three is huge. No cool no more cool like body aid, but I mean let's get her equipped. There you go. Gail, you look great. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. One of these corpses has a worm in it. Out of my way. Out of my way. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Void bulb? Are you talking about these? What's inside? What's in Ooh, a letter. Objective to maintain information about currently current activities in the Moonrise Towers. Mm hmm. Signed Grand Duke Elton. So. He was at the House of Healing. Wonder what he found. So much dialogue in this game. Did I ever watch the D&D movie? Yes. Um, It's strange. I think it's... Like, not very good. But I like it a lot. It's an absolute movie. your weapons, Harpers. Be prepared to strike at my command. You there. Friend or foe. What criterion is it that would put me in either camp? You know the criterion exactly. No, I've never met you. I've no fucking idea who you are. <laughs> I'm on your side, if that's what you're insinuating. On the Harpers' side. Prove it. That celestial being up there, I'm the one who freed her! You fool! Truly? Yes! In that case, we could find ourselves to be allies indeed. Me and my Harpers came all the way from Baldur's Gate to end the cult of the Absolute once and for all. From where? And Jahira. And if our goals align, <laughs> I may just be pleased to meet you. Join my party? Baldur's Gate? Does that mean the Absolute is spread to the city as well? Right, I'm going to tell her to join my party. I'm touched, but I'm already spoken for. Your party sucks. You got to be shitting me. All right. Your Harpers are big boys and girls. <laughs> Very well. Side by side we'll stand as we'll rip true souls from a false god. As good a prophecy as any. At the ready, Harpers! In this light. Oh my god, they're all archers, too. In this light, we will avenge the fallen! Ah! 
Not welcome to the family Time unless she joined the party. Will take she said no. She said I'm spoken for. She said I prefer my little archers. Yeah, I'm I do feel like there's Searching. probably a worm in one of these bodies. Hey, we love potions, bro. But I missed it. All right. Mind Flayer? Oh, hey, there it is. Bing bong. Oh, Minthara, I'm sorry, you can't have that. My mind. And, well, in it. Once per turn, when you make an attack roll, the attack reduces that target's corresponding ability by one. The reduced ability score cannot be decreased lower than one. Yeah, that's cool as hell, bro. And I like passives. This is the one Minthara has and never works. What are you doing out here? What are you? Secrets. Yeah! I can't even reach it. Story of progress, I bet. Alright, so let's get ability drain. Have a look. Ooh, more? Oh, hell yeah. It's actually kind of scary that these there are so many wormed up soldiers out here. Another step forward. Let's go. Here at the back has more tadpoles, you say. Oh yeah, I guess I should spend the one I just got. Your targets have disadvantage on attack rolls and take psychic damage each time they miss. Yeah, that's fun. Uh-oh. Hold on, hold on. They're, they're chatting out here. Papa Bull. I think we gotta... F I don't think I talked my way out of this shit. <laughs> I don't think this will be a conversation. I'll try. You dare show yourself here after all. Oh, uh, I remember Zrell now. I remember her now. You have betrayed me. You have betrayed General Thorn. You have betrayed our God. And for what? These harpers. Moonrise will be their tomb, and in death. You will all serve the Absolute. I will never serve the Absolute again, Zrel. And I will take your prattling tongue as <laughs> this moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Minthara, dude. Step aside, Zrel. Where's the fun in that? Boys? Make this traitor bleed. Boys. All right, this is this. Oh, this is quite the fight. Wow, this guy can't get hit. Damn. Who are you? I am first red. <laughs> Good shit. Um, all right, so we'll hang back. 
This is what chat's been dreaming of. We're tunneling them through the stairs. Oh, catch my breath. This is chat's dream scenario. I've really fucked up my menu somehow. There we go. They walked around the grease! <laughs> Damn. Grease save. I'll strip your bones clean. Everybody got slowed. You'll make excellent fertilizer. You will make excellent fertilizer. What's good? What do you got that's good? Oh, lightning! Watch for the grace. He did. Damn. <laughs> the fucking CPU running, rolling ones. It feels good. Happy to see I'm not the only one who does that. Um, I feel like Ray of Light is our, like, best attack here. No, 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 Ray of Light. Oh, I see. I want to save my Divine Smites. Okay. Unfortunately, Minthara doesn't have any range shit. So she's just got to stand back. Let these dweebs take the damage. Why did you dash? Why did you dash for that? Mig is the threat. Okay. Here's the thing. We could be doing a lot more damage if... Cool. Single use, dude. Prevent your target from regaining hit points. That's so nice. We could do a lot more damage if she walks up and starts mashing. But, uh... For now, I will utilize these bodies. Okay. Can't use reactions slowed. Okay, that's tough. Time to push my luck again. Push your luck. Yeah. Mig down. That's good. Psionic backlash. We all got hungered of Hadard. These mages, dude, spreading the damage. Jahira, can you heal? Heal, uh, Gordius, would you? I have no idea where he is. 
Where's Gory? There he is. Okay. Everything was going good until these mages fucking destroyed our team. That was crazy. Fucking rolling these critical misses too. Enough with the critical misses. Honestly, I don't believe them. I feel like the addition of karmic dice means they're ultra cheap. Um, your wounds are landing. So. Kill you. Kill yourself. She can't heal thyself. Yes, she can. Okay, 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 okay. Fucking adorable. No, what is this shit? God damn these mages. Everything was going so well, bro. Oh my god. Of course you're missing, of course. Stop even trying, stop even trying. You're never gonna hit that guy. Fuck. <laughs> no slips, there we got one slip. We're taking ice damage for no damn reason. Um, heal myself. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five percent disadvantage. Granted, not enough movement. Double movement in difficult terrain. Can you just like jump out of it? Not not a get Yankee jump. No 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 no. Oh, because we used heal, we can't jump. Okay, okay. Cancel. Cancel that order. So I guess I just gotta use my arrow. They're not too far. I got a bow and arrow, bro. Movement. I don't understand why I'm at disadvantage. Yes. Critical. Let's roll to one. Nothing will stand in my way. You got it, game. Yeah, I rolled a one. No, you're not wrong. Scrolls are revivifies. No, no heals. Absolutely no heals on them. Target is too far. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean too far, bro? Dolo. Dolo. New hex. Hope this ends well. Maledict. Oh shit, they're gonna kill him this turn, no doubt. I don't fancy their chances. He had to walk out of there to take that. You gotta heal what kind of what kind of shit you got on? No, no, no. Do uh, at least a level two spell. Okay. Sleep's not gonna work. We got two much. Hey. So we're gonna do uh, target too far. You have to shit. Sixteen percent chance of hitting you from that distance because of the fucking fog these mages made. Damn. Target too far. That's not even right. You know that's not right. No, no, no. Don't waste your mission. Cancel. Cancel the order. Why are you moving? <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. It had some kind of fucking evil uh, counter move. Oh, 
my god. Heal my friend Gordius, would you? I have no idea where he is in the smoke. <laughs> Everyone's like, I can't see shit! This sucks, bro. Damn. Those mages really fucked us up. Uh, Gordius is there. Can't heal him. Not enough food. Okay, so can you heal... Infara beside you? <laughs> Fucking game. Fuck you. Sorry for trying to attack. All right. Critical miss. Uh huh. All right. I don't know, brother. You struggle to do three damage, the thing turns around and does ten to you. That's so brutal. Yeah. I don't give a shit, bro. God damn. Woof. What can I do differently? How do we re-strategize this? Honestly, having everybody together on the stairs is what fucked you up. Yeah. So once again, we gotta, like, I, I thought it was awesome that we had so many, like, body shields, but it's not. We gotta go. We gotta get out of there. Yeah. One day I'll catch a break. <laughs> I don't know about that, Gordius. here after all you've... You have, and for I will never serve the absolute again, Zrel. And I will take your. You'll make excellent fertilizer. Fertilizer. Look at this dude. You fucking B lub. Get fucked. All right, so we got counterspelled, so we couldn't do our shit. I am fury. I am death. Honestly, I don't know if you can get down in time. Those mages are going to come fuck us up soon. Free damage, congrats, gamer. There's our crit, we like those. No better moment. On the hunt. Ice storm! We like that shit. How? God damn it. Why do you have so many arrows? Stop. <laughs> All right, Gail, get you up front. Of course. Join the front lines. Honestly, I'm, obviously, I'm thinking about just greasing it up. 35% chance. You're on the floor. Why is there a 35% chance? Tell me why. You're on the floor. You're prone. You're on difficult terrain. You're hexed. I'm still going to miss you, huh? 
sucks I forgot about the black hole the black hole is really what did us in at the start last time everybody being slowed means they're half as effective um so actually Minthara let's let you do heal wounds to like Zell Shields, I like that move. Fuck. Get off the ice. <laughs> nice. Critical miss. Roll the one. There we go. Make down. Okay, that's nice. Forty percent chance of that work. How about this? Twelve. Damn. Sixty-five. Not worth it. Okay. Damage challenge. Why 16%? You gotta be shitting me at disadvantage. Her mirror images help her defense. Yeah, I don't know why they help her hit percentage. Ah, it's interrupted. Alright, well then how about this guy up here? Roll to one. <laughs> Not enough move. Yeah, that's so the black hole means that so many of our uh, characters are ba basically like worthless. I can't even I can't even move far enough to attack this guy right now. Good shot, good shot. We like that. And because we got black hold, also we don't get that second shot. She's down to one. And I thought we were going to be friends. I don't mind facing it. Yeah, I think I see this one. Love that shit. A little flourish. Critical miss. Roll the one. <laughs> You gotta be shitting me, brother. Oh, no! I guess we don't have Counterspell anymore. Oh, you know why we don't have Counterspell? Uh... No, no actual long rest. So, I, th I do think if we lose again, we just go, we go and do a long rest. Not enough movement. All I need to do is cast a spell. Stop telling me not enough movement. <laughs> Shit. Too far. No more hunger for me. Eat this. Ah! Fuck off. God damn it. <laughs> You're right, dude. Shit. Oh no, these fucking things. Oh, the ice is gone already, that's weird. Alright, everybody slowed. Good dodges, Gale. Alright, whose turn is it? What are you trying to tell me? I'm thinking... This is so brutal. Your firebolt melted the ice. Oh, that sucks. Can't take much more. 
Same. <laughs> Why can't you jump? Because you're slowed. Okay, all right. I could take a slow jump. <laughs> Afraid not. <laughs> this seems intentionally designed to be as annoying as feasibly, like the system will allow, bro. All right, Mimfara ends turn. Takes eight ice damage or whatever. The hunter of Hadar takes eight because she couldn't even move. <laughs> okay, all right, fuck game. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> I can't, bro. I actually, like, can't. <laughs> I didn't want to, like, watch it take another turn. We're learning and improving? Not even true. No, 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 no. You're not fast travel. Oh, we're fucking Don't in waste it. A step. I mean, where they're not yelling. Gatherick will not wait on our pleasure, nor jump on his sword without our. Yeah, I need to take a long rest. I need my slots back. So annoying. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, so then we go here. We're at our campsite. We touch this. Go to bed. Yeah. Auto select. Great. Full rest. Why don't you give me a cutscene right now? Try entering the tower from the back. I no longer take suggestions from chat. I should speak up. You sell shit? If you have potions, we should fuck. It's a grim task, picking. All the way I hear it, the fighting's not done yeah, what yet. Do you got? What do you got? You what need do you got? to resupply. Yeah, right, I got potions. Who has those? They're, they're just fucking buried in the inventory, bro. All right, give me this. Give me this. Thank you. That'll do. Lady Light, your way. Lady Light, your way. Yeah. Gordius apparently has like 20 potions on him. I can't see shit. Who's got the potions? I hope this is important. For your sake. And Thara's got one. Blackets will be done. Lazal's got zero. Charmed, I'm sure. Alright, so I is think I just blood? need to slide this out. No. Never mind. Okay. See has got. Shit. There they are. <laughs> we got some potions. Here's the thing. I don't like spending turns oh, wow. healing. I hate doing that. It's such a waste of a turn. I can, like, heal myself you for, like, four... You, like, you roll a little four-sided die. die. You're like, ooh, you healed yourself you for four damage. And for I will never serve the Absolute again, Zrel. You hid it, boy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do some clean strats. And away I go. In any of the poor fucking guy. The first time, the first time we did that, he missed every run. He says, finally, some action. You Taking position. You'll make excellent fertilizer. That's interesting. We're not friends with her because I left. So now she's doing her own shit. Oh, can I undo that? You can. Shit. 
Should have grease trapped first. My victims await. Sorry, Menthar. We, we're uh, we're actually we're doing something else. <laughs> We're gonna let those a bold archers maneuver. handle their shit. Yep. Use up your spell slots. Cast the hunger. Cast the black holes. I'm not there for it. wonder if uh, CPU controlled allies and enemies have spell slots. I'm guessing she can cast black hole as many times as she wants. Oh, isn't that tough? You can't do shit now. Yeah, I know. You're slowed. <laughs> isn't that tough? I wonder if maybe... Dolo. Dolo. All right, so Zrel is doing counter spell on me, just to prevent me, just to prevent me from fucking using a uh, Eldritch Blast. Take six damage, Zolo. They do have slots. Chat confirms. Okay. Yeah, let them use up their slots on these warriors. <laughs> these fucking archers. Uh. All right. No time to waste. One more on Mig. Yes, Lazel. And then uh, back behind the door. <laughs> Actually, do this shit. What are you doing, Panther? Oh, yeah, I like that shit. I like that. All right. Uh, Minthara and Gale. Gale can do some shit. Firebolt! This guy says, Ooh, it looks like Archetype. Fuck! Camera? He did some damage? Alright, cool. And then back in. Good job, Gale. Unleash me. Unleash me. She right says. away. Uh, do you have any, like, ranged shit? She's got the beam of light. Ooh, I think I fucked it. Okay, okay. We'll save it next time. Attack of opportunity! Oh, that's probably so annoying! <laughs> he fucking hungered me! You gotta be shit, me game. Alright. Well, at least it'll be easier for us to get out of the way. Cold on five targets. Who are the five targets? I don't think it's worth using a counter spell. Yeah, yeah, let him have it. No idea what's happening. Okay, let's get the fuck out of there. Yep, no more hunger of Hadar. Can you get any shots? Alright. 
Enjoy yourself, game. Looks like we only have two allies left. The hotshot Russian woman who turned into a panther at the beginning of this fight is dead. No, you got, the, you got these two. Okay, a lot of them. I have no idea what's happening in the black. Mist. Oh, it's gone finally. Hell yeah. Nope. Oh yeah, th theirs is gone. Ours is still there. No, we're good. We're good. Do you know what I wonder? If I could uh, bring um, Mig back to life. Ah, oh, seven healing. All right, all my allies are officially dead. Oh, no, one's alive still. Just save me. No, dead. Okay. I'm not walking through this shit. <laughs> you come to me, bro. I'm sick of that shit. I'm sick of it. I'm gonna grease it up. Thank you, camera. Yes. Save that shit. Okay. Saving it. Don't you fucking hunger me. Guiding bolt? I wonder if that's worth a counter spell? I wanna s I want here's the thing, I wanna save counter spell for something nasty. I think we do not use it yet. <laughs> yeah, you fucking put that smoke there. You did that. Cool. The archers are like, oh, what do we do? Oh, oh why couldn't I counter that? Why? <laughs> I guess because we already used our one reaction? I don't know, dude. That sucked. Alrighty. Come on in. Uh -oh. ah! Gamer, you did. 14 damage. All right. Dude, it was a 7 and a 5. It's 12. Okay. <sighs> oh, we're slowed. We're fucking slowed. Allow me to demonstrate. Please do. Light the grease. Lighting the grease doesn't do damage anymore. That used to... Lighting the grease used to slaughter. Honestly, let's just get you out of the way. They're gonna... They're about to fuck us Taking up. Taking up position. bolt. All right, I guess I'll counter spell this time. No, it wasn't that bad last time. All right, so Sonic Backlash, you don't. 22 damage is pretty rough. 
Yeah, I think what happened last time is we got the kill with a psionic backlash. The Absolute will not win this day. Hey, a new ally. <laughs> you fucking black hole, quit that shit. God damn it. How many spell slots do you have? I defense. They're just good at shit. Dola, Dola bro. Light on my feet. Critical hit. They're good. They're good. They're rolling their 20s. Yep. Hitting those 20s. Not necessarily. Okay. All right. All right. I get it. Hi, defense. All right, well, enjoy it. See you, dudes. Yeah, I'd stick with their cantrips, dude. We can't. What sucks is these guys are basic boys, right? It's not even worth using your good shit on these guys. Nice grit, bro. Damn. Why? <laughs> I, I think that's like combat. white burn, dude. Okay. I don't know. We st we want combat, but like everyone Onward. is too tough. I'm sorry. Guiding bolt. On Tally, she can take it. <laughs> Shit. All of my allies are dead. Allies are dead. Black hole is an action, not a spell. That gives the user the ability to cast six black holes on different turns. Damn. Shatter sounds nasty. Yeah, right. Nice try. Still, I think took nine damage from the burning floor, the holy fire. Okay, uh, I feel like we can utilize the Holy Fire. Or are we about to fish? No, look. A huge disadvantage with that shit. Heavy oak doors. No, I'm talking about that. All percent. Okay. Alright. Take it. <laughs> Holy shit. How do you win this fight? How do you win this? There's no fucking way, dude. <laughs> there's absolutely, there's just no way. Like, here's the thing, Chad. It's like, I get like, yeah, sneak around the back. You'll have an advantage. There's, I got nothing. I got nothing. Um. Fuck off. God damn it. I had an attack of opportunity, don't you see? Yeah, I see. I get it. Ignis, bro. Let me strike. No, we're getting out of here. Keep jumping around this shit. Gordius is pretty much dead. Guiding bolt on Gale. Yeah, you'll die. Not on my watch. If you end up reloading a long rest, would probably be a good idea. We did a long rest. We've long rested. Ah. 
I don't think there's a way I win this uh, encounter, bro. Oh, Ch Cheddar's not there. Fuck that damage. I mean, good God. Ay, 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 ay. All right, I'll try to sneak around back. I'll try to just go kill J.K. Simmons in his basement. Because there's no fucking way I win that shit. Here goes nothing. Don't touch the flame. Good job. I wonder if the gods are watching me. I wonder if the gods are watching me. No, god damn it. What are you fucking- why are you doing that? God damn it. <laughs> What's happening? What are you doing? God damn it. Get out. Get out of the flame. Oh, okay. Okie doke. Alrighty. Gordius, that was not clean, bro. What are you supposed to do up here? This fight seems brutal. It's like more, it's more brutal than the rats. The rats is like, okay, if I do this and if I do this and if I do this, we can win this. That shit is like, there's no possible way until you figure out what you're supposed to do otherwise. Are you frightened of the baby? Huh. I wonder what that branch is for. No fucking way. Do not. Do not do that. Gordius. God damn it. I told him to jump here, right? So he's like, oh, so go up to the top and then jump? No. Just jump over the root. Just jump over the root. No. There you go, bro. God damn. Oh, my God. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. We're going in the back way. Let's see, shall we? Where are you, J.K. Simmons? I heard some squishing. Seems like a good moment to talk. Look busy if you can, true soul. I hear the disciple ain't long putting idle hands to work. Oh, we scratch our asses down here while that leggy freak gets rewarded above. It's bollocks. I don't think they have any idea what's happening right now. <laughs> I don't think they know. Bro. Camping supplies. Don't take that cheese. Okay. All right, we gotta. We gotta. Why? 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 What? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, you did. Sure, I did. Yeah, death is close at hand immediately, bro. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fucking ridiculous, bro. If your DM treats you like this, they're not nice. They're not nice. Um, so DK the Destroyer, when I started Act 2, I came straight here. This is all I know of Act 2. This is all I know. Light on my feet. Um, so act two for me has been 
the Dark Realm. Invincible J.K. Simmons in the Dark Realm. And like the worst dungeon you could ever imagine. Worse than any dungeon ever in any Persona game. <laughs> Wasn't I doing the Balthazar stuff? Yeah, that was the dungeon. Can you turn everyone invisible and sneak past? Yeah, I mean, I actually... I went through a door I should not have. Kyle hasn't played Persona 3, I take it. It was like, it was basically like a Persona 3 done go, dude. All right, so here, yeah, if you go through this door, that starts the fight. Got it, got it, got it. So is there a way around? We got a sleeping steel claw. What's up for discussion? I don't think I can talk to animals anymore. Feline eyes the parasite with a glint in her eye. Intent clear. Murder. Glorious murder. The cat huffs, unimpressed. She will do as she pleases. Okay. Uh, yeah, is there any purpose to going this way? There's that door, but basically, yeah. Uh, I can't turn the whole party invisible, chat. Some of these goobies can be invisible. Um... I really think you're just supposed to do that fight. <laughs> I think everything bottlenecks at the throne room. Me too. Uh, okay, so it was nice when we could be the Russian woman and just tell her to use her ice attack instead of turning into a panther. That was nice. I really have no strategy against the onslaught that appears. Black hole slows you down. Most of my uh, characters can attack twice. It makes it so they can barely move and they can't attack twice anymore. Um, advice time, absolutely advice time. Um, and then the fucking hunger cloud is, uh, makes it so we can't see and we take damage every turn. We take like seven damage just on the front of a turn. I don't think there's a strategy that wins this fight. Does anyone have silence? No. I used a spell called Arcane Lock to get a few baddies outside the door, sealed the door with a spell, picked the out ones outside off, then repeated. Do I have access to haste or a potion of speed? We have haste, I think. I misty-stepped my warlock to the rafters and I Eldritch Blast sniped. And nobody ever hit you? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see one good piece of advice. It will require us to save here.
You don't even see, you have zero line of sight at me. Come on now. <laughs> okay, okay game, I'm reloading. Thank you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> when you climb to that thing, don't know the name. There is a wooden platform nearby. That's how I escaped the battle. Um All right, let me let me try let me try how further can I go? The path of chaos first. Decorated with a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. The flask shudders in your hand, then magical energy emanates from its neck as a creature emerges. Huge miss. Not even looking at him. There you go. Okay. Yes. What does the yellow portrait mean? It said temporary enemy. So I think yellow means like third party, basically. I admire these two for really going for this. Breathe deep and move. I am fury. I am death. Swords meet sorcery. He said swords meet sorcery. <laughs> Did that heal? What are you up to? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Quit this shit. Quit this. Okay. <laughs> Understood. He learned in Killer Instinct that means hello, yeah. These two are gonna actually kill it. <laughs> They're gonna kill that thing at like level up 50 times. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is not where I thought this was. So this would kind of lead people in. So basically, here's my problem. I'm scared this thing is going to kill these two guys and then is, we'll be satisfied. I need to lure it into this room here. And I don't know quite how to do that. I wanted to throw it into that room with all the guys. They just see you way before they were supposed to see them. <laughs> yeah, actually, let's look at our loads. <laughs> let's look at our loads. Is there one that's like still in the entrance? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I 
think you can toss it. Chat's saying throw it like a Pokeball. Might need a long rest again. Yeah, let's see. No, this is after the long rest because the Russian woman is not in our party. Um, all right, break it up. Uh, what path lies before me? What path lies before me? Decorated with a grinning face. So you can't throw this it. Cold iron Min Max, a, a second raid today? Stopper. What was Min Max streaming this late? Welcome in. Chat says I can throw it. Uh, throw? There we go. This shit. Maybe I should. Ah. No. Like a poke. This is good. <laughs> trapped inside. Have fun with that shit, bros. Have fun. <laughs> Alright, we just have to hope that the spectator lives, you know? No, no, don't do the panther thing. Do the ice. Okay. All right. Your call. Yeah, I think it's going to die in two turns. I agree with that. Hey, you got that, sh that shot in. Nice. Fun at last. Fun at last. Why are you ignoring the beholder? There you go. I'll strip your bones clean. That attack just sucks, bro. That just sucks. And they're not even attacking. They like have to use all their movement just to like deal with a black hole. That's, that damage is so crazy! That's so crazy! Why would she turn into a panther and just jump right in front of them? Can't believe you've been so no, no, not her! There you go. Yes. Yeah, Jahara's got no shot. Four HP left. Mig is tanking, dude. Dead. Main story character. She's shit. That's the other thing. That's the other thing is like, I feel like the, the way this fight is organized is like, it's set up that crew as like their own party who's really gonna storm this base. They never had a chance. There was no way they were ever gonna. They're shit. They made this like hero character absolute shit. <laughs> Good damage. I like that, dude. Hell yeah. Arrest them. Yeah, your allies are absolute shit in this fight. It's kind of messed up. They're just balanced that way. Good. Mm. 
Normally you would be helping them. I tried, Zeth. I fucking tried. <laughs> Chat, if you want to see, like, what a cool fight with allies is like, look no further than Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Every time you have one of these cool rare fights where it's like, oh, yeah, I got allies by my side. They're fucking awesome. You're happy to have them. <laughs> In this game, they're just absolute shit. <laughs> Lots of enemies dying? I don't think it's like a, maybe a few enemies have died over here who we never deal with anyway. The best I've got is like maybe some of these things using their spell slots up. What are you up to, spectator? Goodness. Two allies left. Oh, you're coming for the door? Okay. Are you faith? I fucking hate these two. I can't even fight that. <laughs> if it was the four of us against that guardian, we'd lose. Um. What do we think, team? You ready to handle some shit? Damn. See how nasty they are? They do crazy damage. They do crazy damage. Guardians are fucked. Did that thing die? It's about to, dude. It's got like two HP left. 17 left. I just read a cheesy way to win this if you're interested. To me, that's going to be the only way. It's so cheap. It's like the fucking strongest creature you can summon in the game, and it too is just demolished by this onslaught of fucking enemies. Crazy. about to level up. All right. What I did to get past it was detach one group member and keep them outside the red zone. Go in with my three, kill as many as I could when my three died. Take the party member who was detached, then regroup and go to camp and res them. Does that work? Reese the door. We're gonna have to. Which way to the nearest library? We have to. Sometimes the only way out is through. Okay, it's, that's not what our current plan is. All right. Ideally, we want to stay split up enough so that one black hole can't grab us all. Dash on Timothy. Yeah, what do you think about that fucking ice smog, bro? It sucks. Casting mirror image on themselves. Oh, that's where you get the three buddies. And then you have super good defense. Yeah, we'll do psionic backlash. It's free damage. The door is open. Oh, I think that killed... Oh, game, come on, bro. I think that killed Zell. I think that psionic backlash did it.
The absolute will not <laughs> You're shit. All allies are shit. If I had to fight her, if I was like, nah, give me all your stuff and fought her, she would not miss that shot. All right, um, we'll be Eldritch Blastin. This guy fell in the grease, great. Dondar. Dondar, baby. All right, so let's get you like on my way. Unleash me. I'm gonna get you here. Step by step. Day by day. Very lucky shot. Yeah, how much does this fucking suck? It sucks, right? Don't you hate that? Lazelle? <laughs> yeah, why don't you just shoot him? 50, 50. Wait, well, I see a 95 in there. Nine. Oh, okay. Fuck you, Timothy. You rolled a one, gamer. I know it. Get over here. Yeah, how's that hunger feel? You glad you did that? Damn, that guy hits like a truck. Don't dash on the grease. Oh man, he got through. All right, Minara. I'm wondering if positioning her wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, so this guy's going to kill the quartermaster soon. I think it's. All right. Dos. Give him a bonk on the head. Good shit. Yep. Inquisitor's might. <laughs> what do you think about that hunger? You didn't have to put that there. You put that there. She's brave. She's a brave quartermaster. Say what you will about her. Have to keep going. Not on a move. Okay, you say so. Path is interrupted. Really? Dolo. Luck of the farm realms. Mortal reminder. Day Victory's assured. Victory's assured? I don't know, bro. I don't know, brother. Igni critical hit. You rolled a one. Critical miss, excuse me. Timothy. Timothy's dead. No, Timothy's fine and just killed the quartermaster. Got it. Okay. All right. 40%. 25%? Yeah, right. Okay, so Timothy's gonna try just being a cheese meister from the top there. No. Don't give him the chance. It's a miss. How about one more? The hit for three damage. No time to waste. <laughs> uh, guiding bolt. I don't think we're doing counter spell yet. Yeah, I don't mind doing it. Now. Okay. It did like 22 damage that time. Guiding bolt was nasty. Oh shit! Don't don't dash on that grease. Oh, very well done. Well played. Hell yeah. 
Timothy is dead. Shield of Faith. Because we know this guy fucking hits, dude. You're actually not looking so good health-wise, dude. Why don't you gold buff? Gold this. Very nice. And then this guy might be too close. Target is too close. All right. So you're going to have to use your cool new weapon granted to you by that absolute goddess. Good! Yes, good, good. What a turn for Gordius, dude. Hell yeah. Go ahead and step into my cyclone of butterflies, dude. 50-50 shot, and he hit it, dude. He hit it. He hit it. Okay, uh... This guy could be a problem. This dorkle. Uh, could absolutely do another, um, one of these things. So we gotta stay split up. Make way. Can you hit the shot? 25% path is in a row. Can't hit that shot. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, shit. She's pretty trapped. Oh, this one, this guy's just on the floor. Good hit. Again. Tough miss. Sometimes you miss those 70% chance shots. <laughs> Dashing through the mist. Please take some damage. No damage, damn. There it is. Uh, Guiding Bolt sucks, so we're not gonna let you do that. Counter spell. Yeah, right, bro. Not on my watch. Okay. I feel like Lazel's, or sorry, uh, Minthara's got more ranged shit, but I don't know what that would be. Void bulb sounds cool. Saved. Now I'm realizing, chat, that I should have learned that spell instead of used the scroll. If we do win this fight, I apologize for what I just did. Charm ya. Saved. She's not very charming. They never fall for that shit. Path is interrupted. Dola, Dola baby. Take that, Dorkle. I speak, they burn. All right, let's do some level two shit on this. Guy. What's the percentage? Fifty-five. We'll take it. Ah. Fuck! Three misses in a row, Scoop. Just All right. Strike. All right. Target outside normal range. Okay. All right, we're gonna get you in. Guess closer range. There we go. 
Crit on the Dorkle. Okay, okay, okay. I think everything that's left in here is this fucking Guardian, which is always really rough. And then the Archers, who are probably going to make their way to us. Lazy Bones, thanks for being a 40-monther. Um, have I read the supposed leaked script of Coyote versus Acme? No. But also, I have seen some debate. Oh, I forgot about this guy. He's not dead yet. Damn. I lived. I almost want to Dorkle you up. Don't bother. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a second Dorkle. My last counter spell. Chat's saying it's not an actual script. Arrest them. Shit. She took that damage because she missed that shot. She paid the price. She paid the price. Uh, she can't risk walking through that grease. So unfortunately, Minthara's gotta like just chill over here. It's like a detailed many paragraph plot, not the script word for word. Chat, you know those those words mean something to me. A script is a script. Ninety five percent chance that no ah uh, shit. Seventy five percent on you. That's gonna hit, no doubt. Don't know. Don't know. Good shit. Oh, the grease! I burned the grease! Oh shit! Oh shit, I burned the grease. Alright. I will ascend. It might be time to rush up and fight him then. I agree actually. Not a great heal, honestly. 50%? 70, we'll take that. Quit the quit that shit. Quit the jiggling. Quit the jiggling. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, I'm always saving holding on to action surge. I think this might be the time. Otherwise, she's just going to take some damage for no reason. And the archers are coming. Okay. Not enough movement. Shit. Okay, so action surge unfortunately does not give you new new movement. So hey, we got we got like a 90% chance of hitting one of these arrows. There's the one. Hey, very lucky. We'll take that, dude. We'll take that. Good shit, Lazo. And you missed! Oh, that's so clutch! Alright, 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 right. let's get you up here too. Let's get you up here too. Uh, I'm actually gonna make you dash. Nope, that's Misty's dead. Fuck. <laughs> Missed what? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That's some damage, bro. Okay. No charm. No charm. What? What hurt you? The butterflies? Yeah, the butterflies exploded and hurt him. 
That's crazy. Donda. Donda, bro. Okay. One last measly archer left. Rough tempest I will raise. <laughs> tempest I will raise. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see the answer. I've been I've been glued in right now. What was uh Minmax streaming so late? Part two of uh the rebirth, I'm guessing now actually. Where'd that guy go? There you are. Big miss. Nice damage, Lazel. Shit. What is she why does that hurt so bad? Because it also does poison. And when the wielder deals damage using this weapon, they gain plus two lightning charges, and we've been doing that on top of all this shit. See how she's like electrified up? I thirst for combat. That bow is good shit. Minthara, can you make it to him? No way. But if you're thirsting, let's get you up there. Let's get you I up seek there. an advantage. Big miss. How about a charm? Don't you find me charming? No. Okay. These boots have seen everything. These boots have seen everything. Interrupt. Shit. Dola! Dola! There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. This is how we do it. <laughs> Shit, dude. Shit. Thank you, spectator. We were saving we were saving spectator, dude. I didn't want to burn spectator this early. You die with nothing on you, bro. Ah. <sighs> Everyone, everyone's dead. Direct me. Direct me. Oh, you had some good shit. Damn. Supply packs? On a successful saving throw against the foe's spell, deal four to seven damage to them. Shit, we might have to finally give Gale some new armor. Increase your strength score by two. Yeah, he doesn't need he doesn't need any more bone armor. And I can give him a staff. I bet he would love this shit. Range spell attack plus one. Oh my gosh. Gale is so excited about what he stole from this dead quartermaster. <laughs> shit, dude, that's not right, Gale. That's not right, Gale. He said, look here. My, my. Oh, he looks like a wizard now, even. Okay. Yep, get this shit on. I love you having three fire spells. Good. A true mage. Is it worth rezzing Jahira? No. She's an absolute fool. She put herself in harm's way. Oh, this armor is worth 400, dude. That's a lot. He did tell us victory was assured. Immediately. You're not wrong. He saw this. He saw this the whole way through. Doctor Strange doing the math. Rotten lemon. Rotten banana. <laughs> My inventory is full. Okay. All right, Lizelle, we need some of your inventory. You would love a spell that picked all this up at once? You know what has that? And I know you know what has that. Uh, Forspoken. She just goes like this, and like uh, it picks up all the shit on the floor in a, like a huge radius. Arrow of Ice. No, thanks. No, I'm only interested in big money items.
Why does it look happy? <laughs> Schwein gehopped. <laughs> Timothy, what do you got, dude? You're so hyped up. What do you even have? Potion of speed, ingredients, and a barbed arrow. You suck. What does this dorkle have? Yeah, it's a butter bun, dude. I would eat that. I would eat that. Okay. Lontarv? Lontarv was hyped up. Oh, Lontarv has shit. 10 armor class is not worth it, unfortunately, but look at that 800 kind value. Soul coins! Yes! I think those are just for the demon who told us to fuck off, but the truth is we're going to um, win her over still. It's not over. Late game, we're going to win her over. She's going to join us. To whom it may concern. Frug. By the way, the stream is over. The stream's over. Once I've cleaned all of this up, we will end it here. Uh, but obviously you can't end it before looting everybody. Frug got his head stuck in a butter barrel. And when his little imp thing tried to help him, they both fell off a ledge into a volcano. I laughed so hard, Zario sent me out of the room. Other than that, you haven't missed much. Though, I'm sure as hell, I've sure as hell missed you. Kisses and hugs. Hello. You take uh, one less piercing damage. You get well, plus one uh, bonus to dexterity saving throws and chips. Yeah, well, we don't want to lower anyone's armor class, do we? Nope. But we like that value, dude. Look at that value. We're gonna be fucking rich after this. We really are. Chat, we find a, if we find a shop. If only that quartermaster didn't die. <laughs> okay. What do you have, Hoppa? You poor Hoppa. You poor Hoppa. Hoppa Anthony, have you anything? You poor Hoppa. Well, shit. That is better than what she's got on. It's finally time to take off Lazelle's iconic crumpy hat damn there's more enemies waiting to fight you oh i know we still gotta kill jk simmons oh i know honestly it's a cool look though meg what have you got mate Ooh, camp supplies though hell yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me four pig heads. That was just one. No value. Shit. <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh, fuck. That's what chat meant by there are more enemies waiting to fight you. All right, it does look like just four. But one of them is the Warden. Okay. Okay, Doc. Shit. Good shot. Good shot. is standing here. Why do you got your crossbow out, dude? Why do you have that? <laughs> it's the last thing he used. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, I think Lazelle's about to get pummeled. Still on my feet. Still on my feet. Who's got a... Somebody's got a spell. It's Minthara. Minthara's got that spell where you can see anybody who's invisible. Need to find a way forward. Yeah. 
Fucking hunger of Hadar. I hate that spell. Oh, I just hate that spell. Used throw on Gordius. They needed 17 to hit. They rolled 18. And Tropic Ward. You have got to be shit. All right, so the good news is we did save after the fight. So if we lose this fucking second phase, we're okay. Oh, God damn it. I hate the hunger, bro. I fucking hate it. Can you actually keep moving? No. got no healing left you're not honestly you're in pretty bad shape we're gonna have to hope that you just don't die all we can do really and i mean triple die like she's gonna run out of hp taking position that was cool she neutralized the hunger of hadar She got that guy to stop focusing. Very nice. There's a lot of corpses to reanimate. Yeah, I think that's a... Uh, Gale's got that. Okay. Uh, lay on hands on yourself, perhaps? No, help out, please. All right. You're lucky. I'm willing to heal some other than yourself. Sure. Speaking of Gale. Oh, Gale's not even in the fight. Got it. 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 <laughs> got it. Good save, bro. Critical miss. You can throw uh, hit ones too, huh? All right, Gale, you want to get in on this? The launch board is set. All right. Gale. Swords meet sorcery. Encumbered by what? By what, Gale? By what, Gale? Gale can't do shit down here, chat. I think all I had to do, I think he rolled for initiative and it's not his turn yet. I think that's actually what just happened. All right, uh, Gordius has to take a big gulp. Ah! And then, um, Path is interrupted. Talk it too close. I got you, dude. Dolo. Dolo. <laughs> yep, sorry, bub. You're probably dead next turn. I will ascend. Ascend for me, please? High defense. Here's the thing. She's been such a good... She's not an archer. Oh, that guy's just got high defense. Um... 55, 50. Damn. That happens. Hey, man, that happens. That happens. But a little this. Big miss, too. Okay. All right, all right, fine. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Ah, 
shit. God, I hate those guardians. All right. Let's get you up here. Swiftly now. Get ill. Uh, shit. I guess he doesn't have reanimate the dead. Well, you don't have any spell three, level three spell slot. Who did we teach reanimate the dead to? Who did we teach that to? Drink to fall into a two-turn slumber. Oh, we would have gotten our spell slots back. Okay, um, Minthara, you might have to fucking attack. Quit groaning, dude. Quit groaning. That's so shit, bro. That's so shit. Um, yeah, just do it again. Missile snaring. Reduce damage from ranged weapon by 1d10, your dexterity modifier. Shit, he used to have something that was really his. Um. Fuck, he's ensnared now. He can't move forward. He used to have something that really increased his dex. His old armor did. Alright, Lizelle, can you even hurt this guy? High defense. Get him. Very nice. What? Why the damage? Oh, the fucking uh, meteor man over there. Okay, okay, that's all right. So, Lazel, you're probably gonna die here. Leave for me. She dies. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fall down the stairs. damage ensnared all right all right so we got menthar with not too much hp left and three fucking heavy hitting enemies gamer i need your help okay so we just don't want to burn our dead buddies Four enemies, dude. Four heavy hitting enemies. Got it. Where'd they all come from? I don't know why they're encrusted with frost. Fuck, that damage is so crazy, dude. Don't have a line of sight. That's bullshit. <laughs> All right. So Gordius has to spend a turn just uh, being alive. Same with Lazelle. She unfortunately does not have a potion. Plus five to initiate. That would have been nice. But I guess she could shove this guy again. Fuck you. So 
Bionic backlash as you die. Yeah, fuck that damage! God damn it, 24, please! Please! <laughs> please! Alright. Um... I guess a witch is... 55% chance this hits. That's the 45. Don't give him the pleasure, dude. That's so frustrating. That was rough, man. That was just rough. Do it next week. I mean, we have to. Like, I, I was, I was pumped to get through this one tough fight. Right? There's these people down there. Um, we did it. But like, we have to like camp out right now, basically. Everybody gets their spell slots back, then they're ready to handle this next fight. The temptation, all right, here's the thing. There's the temptation to go to easy is zero. I'd rather like wallow in this game's systems and hate it for it, than like play an easy version of it. <laughs> Like, here's the thing. We were, we were about to end the stream, right? We were about to end the stream. It was going to be nice, right? And then this thing started. And then, like, a half hour later, it's like, well, they got you. I'm like, okay. All right. You're right. They got me. So, like, in lore, in story, what this party did was they fought some people. And then they just put some logs out there. Burned the logs. Slept in their sleeping bags woke up with all of their health and spell slots back, and then continued into the castle. That's just what Dungeons and Dragons is. That's like, that's the actual game's design. It's not Baldur's Gate 3's fault, that's what it is. <laughs> it's the best Dyak could come up with. And the people inside just stared at these corpses the whole time. Yeah, mercifully. That's a ton of games. It's not infinite wealth. You know what I mean? Infinite wealth, you just walk up to a little cooler. Fills up your entire health. The, f the cooler is free. You just walk up to a cooler, it's got plenty of drinks in there, you just slurp them all down. It's almost like fighting in combat takes a lot out of you. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I think it is worth defending and it makes a lot of sense. I think in the Dungeons and Dragons movie, every two times, every like other, every other time they fight somebody, they should all just roll out the sleeping bags and fall asleep. I think there is something really appealing about that. With Russ leaving Denver and the Giants needing to stop that question, how dare you? The Giants don't need a quarterback. They do like three full rests in the movie. Nightmare? They do. They do full rest in the movie. It's possible to handle a good portion of the army through side quests and such. Stable, I was wondering that. And if that is the case, I kind of like it. Because there were named baddies. Uh, who is the baddie who's like, finally, some time, a time to fight? Lan Tarv. I feel, I feel like you could kill Lan Tarv before having to do this showdown. The warden back there, you know, I feel like I feel like there was a path. Because I kind—I mean, I like the idea. Like, I—I I don't. The thing is, like, I kind of like the idea in a video game where it's like, look, you're an amazing hero. You really are. You can't survive that. You can't. You got to find another way. That I generally kind of like. 
in this case, I don't think there's another way. <laughs> um, here's the game warned me before we went into the realm where we woke up the uh, songstress. It said, hey, look, everything's going to change when you come back from this. Are you ready to go in? So it sounded like if I wanted to whittle away at this army, it should have been before the songstress. But it feels like post songstress, I have uh, made my choice. From what I understand, Heather from the Get Played podcast uh, handled this game very much like Kyle, just dragon smacking to the point where she only had two party members and aggroed everyone she encountered. Still had fun, though. Yeah. This was the choke point of the game for you. Nothing else came close to Act 2's big, last big onslaught. This is an onslaught, dude. Absolute onslaught. That's the thing is, no, I, I don't want to lower the difficulty. And also, no, I don't want to go back and, like, take on quests and level up more. Um, I know we can take down these three chumps. It's actually five chumps. There's two other chumps who showed up at some point. I'm not sure where. <laughs> um, but, unfortunately, they caught me off guards. I do think we have to heal up and get our spell slots back. Let's do that now. Hold on. Let's, let's fucking, let's rest up now. Oh, I can't. You can, you can. All right, so party. Link up on oh, I have the magic Gale. Touch. Oh, I don't know if we can go beyond these green flames. Let's see. Yeah. No, I mean this is that this is what that one person on Reddit was saying. You absolutely can do this. End of the damn day. Yep. Concentration broken. Yeah, I'd say. Okay. Want to select? Full rest. Is Kyle aware you can throw potions to heal multiple people? It's kind of finicky, but it's sweet in a pinch. No, I should try that more. Currently, um, Gordius has all the potions. I should try using them like Pokeballs more. Cool. All right, so this is where we can pick up next week. At the ready. At the ready. Man, we got this shit, too. At the ready. And honestly, I actually think... Coming in this way might not be bad if they're just going to hang out here, you know? Basically, like, they're waiting for us to walk in, and then they're just going to fucking hunger us up, right? Ah, there's nothing. There's nothing that beats the hunger. Yeah. God, that spell sucks. Basically, I would save Gale's reactions for the hunger. Yeah. Is Gale still lugging the armor? Oh, shit. Gale doesn't have his good shit on yet. Gail, get your good shit on. Oh, that save is before he looted. So, Gail, we got some looting to do when we come back, too. All right, remind me about that. This is pre-loot, yep. Yeah, crazy day of this game today, bro. So, like, what continues to be wild to me, like, this game is fun as hell when it's about questing and having a good time. <laughs> when it's about, like, making decisions and running into characters who are like, Hello there. I like the way you look. You know what I mean? Like, great. Great. I'm into it. Um, We never talked to uh, Raphael again, by the way. We killed that guy for him, and he didn't, he didn't even appreciate that. That shit's awesome. Um, it's shocking to me this game was so successful when it's like, click on your passives, press K, go to reactions. Like, are you telling me 30 million people like clicked these fucking boxes? Yeah, right. 
<laughs> I don't like no uh uh no 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 possible way crazy this game is successful successful as it is despite being so obtuse <laughs> water raid max is streaming rebirth he's way too far into rebirth Found a streamer painting a 3D Valorant figure. Seems pretty chill. I, P9, I prefer when it's like, it's a streamer you know and like. Than when you just found somebody at the moment. <laughs> but if you, if you can vouch, if you can vouch, hell yeah. Um, I didn't, I think chat was getting you to do advanced stuff. Yeah, I really honestly lost my patience with chat today. I think it'll be renewed by next Monday. I think I'll be back in there. How do we feel about Karmic Dice? Never. No, 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 no. That's the thing. I'd rather expose this game for being as cheap as it is than accept its, like, little fixes for how, like, upsetting it is, you know? <laughs> Here, so chat, here's what Karmic Dice is. It's just designed to prevent it from giving you bad rolls too many times in a row. Doesn't feel any different to you. Yeah, that's the thing, is when you get too many bad rolls with Karmic Dice on, then it'll get really upset. <laughs> that's not the game being cheap, though. It's just RNG and luck. Yeah. Do you believe we had 5% of our hits be critical misses today? It's for people who don't know that RNG is random. All right. Actually, now that I asked the question, it probably was 5%. No, no, no. I was feeling like it was 10%, but actually, we had a lot of hits. That's the thing, is like the, the critical misses, you're like, oh, shit, now nah, right, game. But it's like, you're not really reacting to the 95% of the times that you do hit, you know? <laughs> exactly. You just notice it more, 100%. Most people are two or three levels higher at this point. I don't imagine it getting easier until you get ahead of that curve. Yeah, that's what was kind of crazy, right? Maybe other people have other quests leading them here, right? But my playthrough of this, it was like, go here, go here, go here. And honestly, don't stray from the path because it's too foggy and you'll die. Then we got into here, right? And it was like, go here. We, we just walked in the House of Healing because there was a door on the way to here, right? What is crazy is this being Act 2 compared to, like, the map of Act 1. Um, there was, like, no reason to explore. Like, reason to explore is, like, go out and find stuff, right? I guess there was no, like, visual cues of, like, hey, it would be, like, there's some cool stuff out here. This this was uh this has been act two for me so far. It's funny there's still some suspicious sounds in the in the ceiling. Who did you talk to in act two before you killed them? No, that was cool with the the spider guy was cool. He had long silver hair and he had a nice lamp and he said, Follow me! And so I just followed him in this whole way. Follow me, he said. And then we came in here and then it turned out that uh they were not cool with Minthara. I actually don't know what happened to that that spider guy. He could still be out there. Hello, Kyle. Go to bed. Thank you. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to. We went way over time. Yeah, it's funny. Like, the game makes me grumpy beyond belief, but I'm compelled to stay in it. You know what I mean? It's one of those. It's absolutely one of those games. I'm fully fucking grumped up. I'm grumped up, but like I'm ready to handle it. This game is an affront to my patience. <laughs> this is an interesting thing in chat. Somebody said they, with their playthrough, they thought that the Moonrise Tower seemed so intimidating. They wanted to explore everything before it. 
they're like, we got to save that for last. And I bet that was a huge advantage. For me, my lover and friend Minthara said, meet me at Moonrise Towers. So there was no other place I'd go to. Show a happy meter. All right, where are we on the happy meter? Just okay. <laughs> this game makes me feel just okay. Just okay. Is Mucho a helpful big buddy when you're feeling a bit grump? Yes. Yeah, he is. Mucho is actually a pretty good uh, grump healer. Was going to cry ever in contention today? No. I mean, like, there if there was, like, some notches below, though, when I was fighting the rats by the feet, the feet that Chad insisted that I go visit, when I was fighting those rats, that seemed unending at the time. I was, I was maybe a couple of notches beneath just okay. Not crying. There were no tears that were about to happen. My emotion wasn't sadness. <laughs> seething. Yeah, it felt like maybe perhaps if there was a seething notch that I was right there. Yeah, that was brutal, dude. Oh, I was so mad. I was so cranky. I'm so, chat, I'm so excited this week to play a game that's got a dodge roll button. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Just pressing circle to dodge attacks. That feels so nice. What's on the schedule for Friday? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, provided that there's no cool uh, shadow drops this week from Xbox, because here's the thing, if Dragon's, if this is a Dragon's Dogma 2 week, that might be a really fun Friday stream. Currently, what is booked, though, is uh, Euphoria 2 at the beginning of the stream on Friday. Talking 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, You can still quit. I don't want it. That's the thing, Snug Mode. I genuinely do not want to quit this game. I'm genuinely and compelled, and I want to go to that city with the automatons. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, however, what I know for sure, whatever is released this week, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to be booting up Outlast Trials and playing that co-op with Michael Huber. Uh, that's, a, that's a horror game. Where I think, like, we gotta, like, trust and communicate to each other, but also avoid probably scary things. Um, just three hours. That's why we're starting that at 9 p.m. I told Huber I don't know if I have the stamina to play that game for eight hours. <laughs> so we're, we're in for three hours at the end of the stream. Didn't lose a bet. Just thought it'd be fun to stream. Um... Then Saturday is a special stream, too. That is the Mahjong stream with my mom. She's going to be right here. She's going to teach us all how to play Mahjong. She's going to play some matches online, battle some scrubs, raise her ranking. And then, once I have observed enough of the way that she plays Mahjong, I'm going to show her like a dragon Mahjong. Yakuza Mahjong. And then hopefully we both, with our powers combined, have enough understanding to really win some hands playing that game. <laughs> yeah, so Capcom announced event for the 7th, right? Um, and then, yeah, there's the Xbox thing. I think there's a decent chance that there's a Dragon's Dogma 2 demo this week. And if that does happen, we'd probably play that instead of Euphoria 2, with a great apologies to Euphoria 2. Your path in this game is so unique, you missed two whole regions. Wait, what? This isn't where Act 2 starts for everybody? That's wild. Maybe we will fin finish this in two weeks then. Best not to think about it. Best not to think about it. I agree. 
there was nothing in my heart other than rescuing Minthara. Actually, it wasn't even rescuing, right? She just told us to meet us. Just told us to meet her here. Um, but then when I found out when she got here that she was imprisoned, there was no other path. What else would we have done? <laughs> this is an excellent question. And then we're going to end the stream. Is it more likely that you become a Mahjong fan or that your mom becomes a Yakuza fan? Talking likelihood? It is much more likely that I learn to love Mahjong. But, yeah, it's I, you, I would say you still got like a 20% chance that I learn to love Mahjong. And maybe like a 6 to 8% chance that my mom learns to love Yakuza. Am I playing Rebirth tonight? That will cheer me up real quick. Maybe a bit. Maybe a bit. God, I gotta tell you, and this is what I was talking about when I was playing Infinite Wealth, and... You know, I love the game. I love the game. I love the game. I was still thinking about FF7 the whole time. The, the, like, the Overworld song has just been in my head, man. I woke up, like, listening to that song in my ears. Taking a shower, hearing that song. So crazy. Like, poor, poor Infinite Wealth. It was trying to make an impact. <laughs> it was, it had a message and it wanted to say something to me. And it was just, I'm sorry, like, it was just like, whoop. Sorry, bro. You're not the one. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You're not the one. Honestly, uh, and we'll do a spoiler talk about it, but like overall thing, I think I like the man who erased his name more than Infinite Wealth. The man who erased his name is just tight, it's compact. Really, I like that story. I like the progression. I like I like everything that's presented. And her cats, please. That emote is so good. Yenem's leave. Damn, that's nice. So appropriate. Sorry, if you're watching the vod, it's Ichiban Kasuga, looking surprised at the camera, and then going like this. <laughs> Just leaning out of the leaning out of the shot. That's that's a nice emo. All right, Chad. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for hanging out today. He's a comfy streamer. Can't can't say that I, this is a comfy stream. <laughs> Here in Brazil, it's past three a.m., but the stream is really worth it. Th as again, Dusan. Thank you. That's as I was wrapping up. I just want to say I appreciate that because I realized I was not on my best manners today. I was not in my best uh, uh, demeanor, and so I truly appreciate chat hanging out and still being supportive even when I turn into a total crank. Uh, Damiani streaming 14 with no mic? No mic, no raid. <laughs> so were we. Yeah, maybe we just all got cranked together. Hey, sometimes, chat, sometimes it's healthy to be cranky. You know what I mean? Not all the time, obviously. You can't be cranky all the time, but also you can't be, like, happy all the time. <laughs> I promise you, chat, it's bad for you to be happy all the time. It was cool. Just embrace the suffering. And uh, yeah, I think that it might be part of like what I find compelling about this playthrough. I'm not giving up on this shit. Adventures are tough sometimes. Yeah. Embrace the suck. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there. Yeah, that's the thing is I, I feel like uh, switching to easy is conceding. I feel like it's like giving up on the system. It's giving up on caring about something being marginally better loot, you know? That's the thing. Like, when, when Gale gets a new piece of armor, and it's like, dang, that's good. You know, that's like, that's the feeling of playing an RPG. I love that shit. I love that shit. And so I feel like playing it on the easy kind of robs it of that purpose. But, uh, we'll get back in there Monday. I feel like, I feel like next week is going to go much, much better. I don't think it's going to be easy to kill J.K. Simmons, but I think, uh, Thorm. I don't think it'll be easy to kill that Thorm, but I feel like, uh, it can't be worse than today. <laughs> There's always a beholder in a bottle, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, that beholder did some damage. I wish it attacked, like, the heroes instead of the, the goofs on the left, but that was still nice. 
All right, thank you so much, chat. It really is appreciated. I, like, this is, it's just such a privilege to be able to stream, and that's why I feel bad when I'm, like, mean and grumpy sometimes. It's like, just to be clear, like, this is a true joy. I really, really am happy to be able to do this stuff. So, uh, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, Friday, Saturday, big streams, and then, yeah, we're playing more of this and next Monday. Thank you all. Have a great week. There will be a new delayed input uh, this Friday morning. See you soon. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoe. It's a robot party. Pet the dog. It's a robot party. Collect the clues. It's a robot party.